PKA 631 with Harley Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Lock and Load, the finest cum pill supplement. You had to use bad words six seconds into the thing. Bad words. Which one? Cum? Yeah. Huh? Uh, settle the fuck down, man. It's, it's cum pills. <laughs> They're great. They're high quality. You're going to love them. Check them out. Code PKA. Uh, you'll hear more about them later. Also brought to you by Death by Gummy Bears, rebranded as the RealDBG.com. RealDBG. Sorry, not the real. RealDBG.com. That's linked below. You'll hear more about them and their exciting new offerings later. Harley, thank you for joining us tonight. You're looking hell yeah. fit as hell. Hell yeah. I'm going to be boxing again. Are you? We, yeah. You, you, I've heard, I took right? another fight. Who are you fighting? I'm, I'm not allowed to say. Not I tried. Trust me. I tried to get the exclusive, but it gets announced a couple days after. So, but they are, they're very muscular and athletic. They can tell back. Me I want to Google this picture. They can okay. back. Oh, you want me to tell you privately? Like it, yes. Privately? Okay. I could do that. Yeah. Where do I put that? And no In one's going to see chat it? chat on the right? Yeah. No one's going to see it. Never no one else is. Yeah. Yeah. hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, right. yeah, oh, this it. area right here where Kyle is yeah, we, the N-word yeah. 50 times. This must be it's, a It's going to say that's Twitter. A copy, that's a copy pasta. It's don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> you say Twitter.com slash home. Right. It's going to say what's happening next to your to avatar. This type person. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jesus. exciting. I don't, I'm not going to overreact or anything because I want to don't want to give any clues. But that's awesome, man. How yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Listen, um, I did that last fight, and I, I realized that like I didn't have to claw my way to any victory. And I watched the other people. Some of them really like they really had a fight, and I know what it's like. Cause people backstage they were crying and stuff. Some of them were crying. Some of the guys won't say who. They just like started bursting out in tears, and it was weird. Why? Uh, YouTubers are not really uh, meant to be doing combat sports. And at Creator Clash 1, a lot of the YouTubers, um, they did the combat sport. And this is what I liked about Creator Clash was they didn't like fully commit to cosplaying as a boxer. As a lot of YouTubers, you know, sometimes YouTubers, I've done this before. You were like, I'm a YouTuber. Well, then I'm also a rapper. Yeah, I'm also an author. I can I'm do whatever everything. I want. Yeah, so sometimes like YouTubers will cosplay as something instead of recognizing that they are a YouTuber doing a thing. I want to think a lot of the guys at Creator Clash, uh, you know, we're we, me too, like you know, we're nerdy guys. Maybe you know, we're not predators that sniff out blood, and you know, um, so I think they were really shocked at how taxing it really can be mentally to go even just five two minute rounds. Um, uh, getting punched in the face uh yeah mm-hmm. mentally and so physically some of them were crying were there winners crying or just yes. losers crying no winner cried um i saw a loser get very angry and i went up to him and i was like hey man you you went in there and you did it and that was really valuable and the winning wasn't even really the point he was like shut up fuck <laughs> He was like kind of angry. Yeah, he was like, cool. dude. I yeah. get that guy though. That guy yeah. just like amped himself up to be in a fight, and he lost. Like he yeah. needs a little bit of time to be like, God, fucking damn it! Yeah, it like, wasn't I- a dancing competition. No offense, Woody, but if you'd lost that, you probably wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like go home to people bruised after the yeah, like, lose a dance. <laughs> right. like, like if you'd lost the dancing competition, you don't go home to Jack and you're like, you still think of me the same, right? But if you get beat up, <laughs> if you get beat up and like she was watching, you might be like, just so you know, I could have taken him five years. You're like Tony Soprano all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, if that rug wasn't there and after my surgery, <laughs> like, like, like you're making shit up all of a sudden. Fight Dude, I mean, listen. Like you don't want to lose a fight in front of people. No, well, that's what I was getting to. I challenged Dr. Disrespect because I did want to lose a fight in front of people. And I mm. was like, who would be suitable to come and beat me up in front of everyone? <laughs> Who's going to fuck? What am I going to? Who am I going to? Who am I going to? Who? Well, if someone came in here and beat me up, like they got to be a special. I disagree. So- I disagree. I think you're on to something. But I think Dr. Disrespect's the wrong way. Like, like first of all, I you shouldn't take even be talking because. I'm literally not throwing my hat into the ring. I don't want anybody beating me up. I don't want that. But I'm a sideline. If I guy. was gonna get beaten by somebody, man, if it were just like a half of a professional athlete, that'd be such a good excuse to fall back on, right? But yeah. if a doc beats you up, it's like yeah, still he's a just big a gamer. Guy everything. It's a gamer yeah. in a wig. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you think? <laughs> what, what makes you think you couldn't take him? He's never done a boxing match. You've well, got very two- athletic. 
now that we're now we're this far away from me calling him out there was two elements to that call out one um was i realized that like you know if he did beat me but this was like an ex d1 athlete so cardio oh. and breath work is something that's difficult for a lot of people he's already got that two he's taller than me so like he will have the reach um and that's really valuable in boxing but then the other parts were like i don't think he's gonna do it like yeah. my clout's not up. This isn't 2014 sauce boss calling him out. It's like 2023 being like, hey, dude, dude. so like it doesn't really hit the same. And I recognize that. So I'm like, he probably won't even uh, respond. He yeah. did. He's like, I won't. So that was that. But I did. I did like the idea of the doc like beating the shit out of me in front of like tens of thousands of people. And that's a, I'm like, that's something I could jerk off to later. Me oh, too. God, for real, for real. You're like a, uh, you're just an entertainer pills. at heart. The so Taylor, you're you fine. can also jerk off to that. Absolutely, yeah. I could jerk off. I have a true mas- jerking I can, off to that. I can if I respect someone enough, I can masturbate to that. I respect Harley. I mean, so, I could theoretically. The third time today would be rough, but no, I'm so comfortable with my I'm sexuality. With I'm so comfortable <laughs> with my sexuality. I could literally jerk off a nut to sucking you off, Woody. And and that's not gay at all, or in the slightest <laughs> bit. And I'm just comfortable, and I recognize it's like a a mere thought. It's just a thought. A thought can't make you. Gay. Everyone thinks about that kind of stuff constantly. Do you know what's interesting about 2023? Real side note before I get back to the boxing thing. Okay. Um, what's really interesting about 2023 uh, is like in this day and age, you could be like, "Yo, guys, uh, I sucked a dick. Didn't like it. I'm not gay." And everyone will be like, he's not gay. He knows he's not gay. He's not a gay man. Or like, That's true, actually. Yeah. He knows he's not, he's not a gay, gay. Man. When I grew up, if I was like, suck the dick, turned out I didn't like that. Like, you suck the dick, man. <laughs> even if you were like, even if you were like, yo, I actually touched that guy's nice dick behind me. Uh, he bumped into me in my the back of my knuckle. <laughs> Everyone's like, gay, 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 gay. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, but like Hunch, now, it's Hunch like came on this podcast. It's totally different now. You're right. To back up what you're saying, like 10, 12 years ago, and he was like, "Gay sex doesn't make you gay," and we're like, "What? Huh? Gay sex is exactly what makes you gay. Yeah. <laughs> Once you do it, you're branded gay forever. You can't undo it. Once Prisons aren't you- full of gay guys." <laughs> if it's seven years yeah. old you touch penises with your best friend <laughs> you are permanently gay now i know tell your wife tell your kids you're gay you can't undo this nowadays like you said exactly it, it's like the desire to have sex with men that makes you gay not having had sex with men honestly not even not the even desire, the desire to have sex with men i don't even think so you know why i'm gonna get crazy right here i know there's some fat fuck pka fan who's listening right now who's like eh, he's wrong and that guy's probably <laughs> actually gay but mm. the truth is i think <laughs> you're gay we don't have any fat fans it really comes down to this not anymore <laughs> trust me i've been looking at all their ankles all skinny ankles yeah. everywhere. <laughs> everywhere you look um i'll tell you right now Woody, why are you making that face, Woody? I don't understand why you're looking at their ankles. I'm very confused. Because that's what you say. You said if your ankle was thick, that means that you're about to become fat or you're like a fat person. You check the ankles out first. You never, you don't remember saying that? Pretty fat. Yeah. On the yeah. Girls. You remember okay. that now? Yeah. Woody yeah. does don't have make, like, don't make me do this, Woody. Woody, Woody has a, <laughs> has a today, blood pound. When I'm in the middle of my, <laughs> when I'm, when I'm in the middle of coming out on the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carry on. <laughs> you're only gay if you love a man. If Wait, love- loving a man makes you gay? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't think so. First of all, that's gay. the hilarious clip. Wait, loving a man makes you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. I think you can love guys and not be gay. It's really? lusting guys that makes you gay. Yeah, because like no, you no, love no, your no, dad. No no, 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 no. Lusting guys. This is going to sound like I do this all the time. I wonder what's not. I've never had gay sex. Not place, that it man. matters. Um, but like you can lust for things and it like really doesn't mean anything. You can lust for uh, uh, a thousand gummy bears in a freezer Ziploc bag with mayonnaise warmed up in the microwave for four seconds. Uh-oh. You could lust for that. Yes. You could lust. You could lust for like a, a, a fake, fake little uh, pop pocket pussy type thing that looks like it's from an alien. The yeah. lust is not impactful. Actually, I what's impactful? What's impactful? You're using that. Well, you're right, but hear, hear me out. Hear me out. I could, I could like catch me on the right day, on the right day, the right, the right cocktail of drugs. Yeah, you could suck me off, Woody. Hell yeah, Again? and that wouldn't even be gay. What's mm-hmm. gay to me is if I lay down in bed with you, each of us on our pillow, face to face. 
And I was like, on your lips. And I was like, <laughs> or you, you said like, I about? love you. Yeah, and I was like, I love you. What are you thinking about? Dude, this and is I really good. I kissed gay. you again. That's that's actual. That that's gay. being homosexual. That's when you are in love with a man. Everything else, bro. We're animals, man. We can fuck a. We're fucking men, bro. We can fuck a, the hole in one at the golf course, bro. I'm we can yeah. fuck whatever we want. Just the You're hole, winning baby. Me over. Gosh darn it. it, it in some ways, having sex with men seems more manly. Yeah, I mean, I right? that, there's a tougher. hole. There's a whole segment cut from my last year's documentary that I did with Sam where I'm like extensively talking about like how I wasn't really mad enough to come here and, and fight with him in the parking lots right away. I was like, but I am mad enough to fuck him. And I bet you he's not mad enough to fuck me, which I don't know. Maybe he is. But I was like, that would be the most manliest thing someone can do is like fuck a person and be like, I don't even have feelings, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you oh, you were, that's, that's you the were epitome just a of manhood. Ziploc bag of fucking gummy bears to me. The, the epitome of manhood what? is Harley forcing <laughs> Sam I to blow him. Like that's, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. I was sixty nine. We were sixty nine. Dude, his wow, ass has got to smell awful. Like just from the photos he posts online of himself, He's, he seems like a sweaty man. That wouldn't be that'd be hard to be gay, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I was actually um, really caught up with his smell when I when I first met up with him. I was really like, I was like, what's he gonna smell like? And I'm back in the day, then the '90s. Someone would be like, what are you gay? And I'd be like, why? Because I want to know what a man smells like. That's not gay. It's gay if you want to love love them. Yeah, it's it would be gay okay. if like you smelled him and it like made you want to have sex with him. Definitely. I really think the desire mm. to fuck a guy is is. Yeah, the way Taylor said it did make it sound like more to what your point was, Woody. Say that again. Oh, it's already (laughs) gone, man. Like, I don't know. If if you smell a man and it it makes you want to to fuck them, that, yeah, I'll accept that as gay too. Wanting to, (laughs) lusting after a man. Because, like, if you're gay and you see a, a nice, sexy piece of ass, a nice male ass at the grocery store, you don't have to be like, oh, I want to be his friend and like then develop that into love. And then I'm going to meet his parents and then we're going to go on a, an Aruba vacation. You that would he doesn't that gay guy doesn't have to do that to be gay. <laughs> to be gay, He just has to look over and go, hell yeah, man. Nice. That, that's, I think, that listen, is fucking the point hard. is the point is, I think we were a little quick to pull the trigger on what was gay and what wasn't. You know how many times <laughs> I've been out there tugging, tugging mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. watching a great video. And it's just like, you know, it's just someone like slamming someone else. And then the angle changes and that other person has a dick. And I'm like, wish I didn't see that, but I ain't going to stop now. Yeah. No? <laughs> We're already into the video and I'm not yeah, going back on the hunt. As it's not bitter, the, bigger than mine, like, I'm like let's, go. let's wrap this up yeah. real quick. You just scroll up, just like hide the bottom part of the video player. You You're guys, like, you guys had that. You guys had that. Am I? Is this weird? Am I might be weird now because I'm talking about a specific person. But you had that. You had that sexy person on once. Kyle was vibing with them a bit. I was watching that PK, and I don't watch Whoa, every PK. We talking about Finster? Finster. Finster, and I was yeah. like, "Hey, bro, oh, me too." He's been on a couple times. Finster's yeah. a yeah. handsome gentleman. Yeah. Finster is a, a real interesting um, example of like I don't know. The new workforce is what, I, I, <laughs> you know, here's a, here's a straight millennials here's ruined a, sexuality. Here's, just, here, know, like, like, here's a straight cis, like man, like, like regular looking dude, like a bro who plays Minecraft, like, right? Had been doing it for years, just a Minecraft bro. And somebody was like, bro, you looking kind of cute, man. How much would it take for you to throw a little dress on? And it was like, Shit, man! I, I made like eight thousand dollars today wearing that dress. Maybe, maybe <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> maybe tomorrow we pop the dress back on again. Maybe we dip into the eight. Maybe we're gonna, the maybe we're gonna do. We're gonna do some pretty streams every uh, day forever now. <laughs> every day forever now. <laughs> this is the new. That's me. what it became. Finn got sissy hypnoed by the fucking um uh the donuts by the That's almighty doll. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I like Finn a lot. How Jewish um, of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah. Very Jewish. He's, uh, How trust. Jewish of him to change the core of his very being for a couple of bucks. <laughs> a couple hundred thousand million bucks, maybe. Like somebody was trying to offer him like, I don't know, three three hundred grand or something to get the breast implants, but when you think about it, it's just not enough money, I guess. Yeah. When you're already like doing really well, um, being half a girl. 
<laughs> or, or or whatever he is. <laughs> not at all. You remember he got the money anyway. Hot. Yeah, Dude. but being half a girl. He's not half a girl. Wait, that guy's not gay? Not no, no, no. He's got a, no. He's got a girlfriend. He, he likes guys. Not even interested. Not even yeah. interested anymore. <laughs> yeah, I flirted with him, and he said, Woody, you're married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit it back, bro. All right. <laughs> Come on. We're just friends having fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, that's, it's so funny. Like, I'll see, like, random pics of finster pop up on like it just any forum you go to like mm -hmm. there will be like if you go to like poll on 4chan or whatever like he was saying he mentioned on the show that i went over to poll this is a couple weeks ago now but there was literally exactly what he said a picture of him in a thread like and the, the captions just like you're gay if you wouldn't like or something like that and it's That's like true. and then there's like people arguing in the comments like it's a dude i swear it's a dude and they're like no it's not it's not a dude <laughs> He can't be, or she can't be a dude. It's too hot. And so, yeah, and it's. You know, I remember, like, like he's fooling. I remember the first time I found Finster, or not. I guess found like. Yeah. I think he donated to me or something. You were typing slowly with your left hand, if I recall. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking. What is it when you can uh, when you can uh, uh, when you only type what? It would be ambidextrous if you could Addicted use either as well as the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sex addict. <laughs> it's, a, it's a disgusting piece of shit. That's yeah, what they, the, the, the doctor keeps saying. Um, no, like, like he, he, dona he donated or, or, or maybe like um, or, they, or like rated me or something. That's what it was. He like rated me with like three or four thousand people or something. And they were like, yeah, it's Finster. She's really hot. Check her out. And like I click and I was like, oh. That is a really hot person. And then they immediately are like, it's dude. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I, and I didn't understand. I thought it was a trans person. I like like I was I, <laughs> like I was being so careful not to like call this woman a man on Twitch because yeah. I know how Twitch is. Like, yeah, like, like shut down right away. <laughs> it's like shit. There's like four or five thousand people watching live. Let's let's try not to uh like dead name the person who sent them or whatever the fuck. <laughs> that's actually funny though that they try they that's exactly what i was talking about they're trying to be like gotcha you're gay yeah, yeah. i was yeah. like no oh, I don't why care. bro why we we had because i thought last that month. was a hot girl exactly yeah we had fenced on last month that's what i said i was like i was like yeah yeah y'all look at him dude is hot like like we all know dude is hot and those of you mm -hmm. who don't think that dude is hot are fucking liars and you're so and you're you're that guy that I went to school with that would yell <laughs> faggot at the artistic kid when he walked away down the hall like Jesus yeah. Christ I mean I, I think every straight up, guy can way. admit that Finn is very attractive I, I, Finn, I pulled right? up uh, I yeah, pulled yeah. up this athlete that I that I oh actually my. am very uh inspired by Okay this athlete and I think it's relevant because uh I guess having sex with this person would make you straight is that a woman? Damn. Yes. Does, that, does that person have a vagina? Yes, born, born and everything. So, um, what is their fucking zoom in juice regimen? Right, oh, that person. How much gear oh. are they on? <laughs> and and how does <laughs> how does how do they identify? I don't want to misgender him, but it says no, women's that's, bodybuilding. That's women. Hashtag women. This is like literally an IFBB female pro. We have gotten to the realm where the female pros, I guess, technology has gotten to a place where fucking some of these females can come in and roll on some of these dudes. Yeah, but she has way more tea than I do. I'm sure. Are, are that's a lady. Uh, that's a lady yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just do any uh, supplement or not supplements, any gear you want for bodybuilding, right? Unless it's a natural. Yeah. Well, if you want us, to, if you want us to care about it, you'll do gear. I like that she misspelled. <laughs> she misspelled motivation, dumb woman. Well, yeah, you <laughs> tell her that to her <laughs> face. <laughs> That's yeah, how you can they, tell it's a girl. She's gonna be out of breath after the first block. Like, like there's no way she's got any cardio. <laughs> she flexes too hard. She goes unconscious. Like, what's her blood pressure at? There's no. Oh, that's not dangerous. Helpful. I would yeah, like those. to hear Derek. Has Derek covered that lady? I'm gonna send that picture to him um, later and and see if he's seen that and if he'll that's like cover sick. that. Stuff. If she's in a thumbnail, I'm absolutely clicking it. Because I don't I know, don't... like, I know that like what some of the side effects of women doing lots of tea can be, but I don't know what the long term like effects like are gonna be cancer. for. Were you talking well, about the clitoral growth? That, that sounds like I, I, everything causes cancer. I right? think I like, think tea yeah the clitoral like, growth. With I the feel deepening like boys. I feel like testosterone is not even the thing. Body there. hair. That's like even the big deal. I feel like it is. She's probably taking a million things that are gonna make her just that could make someone drop dead. Like even I, before you she's really taking get... a lot. Of, oh no, for sure, for sure she is. But then she's got to be taking a lot of other stuff. 
that are probably uh, just as, like more dangerous than like uh, taking however much testosterone would be too much. Do you know what I mean? I like, saw, I feel like there's I, a lot. Like, you look at Liver King was taking a quarter million dollars a year in steroids. Well, that's, that's crazy. He, was, he wasn't take. That's because some of the stuff he, he was getting everything pharmaceutically, right? A lot of people use underground labs. I that lady probably is um because like what doctor mm -hmm. is prescribing her testosterone you know what i mean like <laughs> like so um i, cool, I would be a cool in, like, one the, uh, yes. a real rad doc he's <laughs> <laughs> back to him back to muscles is in the house and, like, <laughs> some fucking, er, er, and he like Just, uh, sirens and stuff a terrified a dentist <laughs> 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 i'll give you whatever you want please put me down <laughs> yeah i can't no. keep it it's like when poor Robert Patrick's ordering all that stuff in the Sopranos for his store. I'm like, I can't keep... At some point, they're going to know it's fraud! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who polices doctors for before, their prescriptions? You know, Nobody. A lot of people... Like, a lot of them get away with it. I would like, imagine. That's like, why if you're the, a podiatrist just prescribing tea out the wazoo, can you get away with that? Listen to this. On, on, get on that level like, of what you can get away with, apparently, there was a doctor in a particular state um uh for a particular amount of money not that i know listen i'm fucking weird i've been i got vaccinated and then boosted like five times so <laughs> I, I, i'm not talking about me i'm fucking government bootlicker over here um <laughs> but for a couple bucks you could uh pay this guy because you would go to the u.s and if you wanted to go back to canada you had to prove that you tested for covid and if you did get if you were covid positive you would uh be held for uh two weeks and you'd have to pay for your hotel or whatever before you can you know what i mean yeah um, so this guy would just like uh you'd go in and for like 75 or 100 bucks per person this guy allegedly would just like write you up that you tested and you were positive and apparently he had made like over 800k in the span of six months just signing these papers off for someone damn and all that I means thought about he, also, I was like, no one's gonna like. No, that means no that he cost. Jealous. He cost a Marriott tens of millions. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, Marriott. So fuck it's, you, Marriott. What if that's what it was? It was a personal vendetta against <laughs> the a, against the Marriott. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Matt. We we roll with yeah, like, I don't have a dog in this fight, but I'll be baby. damned if you're going to stay at a Hilton for two weeks. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> La Quinta only, bro. Out here, we keep it La Quinta. You've got to have your like your hand on the wheel when those moments come. Like like I remember that that guy who 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 sold like millions of those Trayvon Martin pistol targets right after the shooting, <laughs> and he made a fortune because it was such a politicized thing. You know, there's that photo of Trayvon with the hoodie all like they darken him up two or three shades to make him look the way he's supposed to because you know they got to go back from the lightened up angel version. They almost put a halo on it and want. And uh, <laughs> I remember those they, they put a fucking they put it's just him with like a 10 spot ring, you know, like 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 a, yeah. like a dark the first board. photos on the news of that story. I remember being like, God, that kid is this kid eight. Like, yeah. <laughs> they shot an eight year old Puerto Rican. Oh my goodness, those I sons did. of bitches. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, That's the, not like, even the one I'm thinking of the. Uh, yeah, the Target thing. People get rich off of tasteless, boorish nonsense. Like, how many people got to be multi multimillionaires by selling pro and anti Trump stuff at the same time? Tons of the people. The Proud Boys guy does that. Like, like I saw in that Andrew Cowley. I saw that too. Yeah, I You've saw that. You've got to watch that documentary. Like, he it's goes and hangs talk. out with the guy who runs the Proud Boys, and he's got it's like fancy, but he's got the big t shirt machine, like the fancy one, and uh, and he's like, I'm not gonna say that I make anti-trump stuff too but hey look you gotta pay the bills you know what i mean and whatever <laughs> sells sells and it's like dude that is this that's how you do it when you're it, that's what the u.s government's been doing let, let, let's look at who's the best at making money it's our government they they, they blow things up uh, and then they rebuild it right like, like you gotta get you gotta get that yeah. kind of grind with stuff. money they take from us or they'll put us in jail with money they take <laughs> from us or they'll put us in jail yeah it's kind of a Damn, they are better at it than us. Fuck. Yes, they're better at it than anyone. See, the thing that helps them so well, much is that they have almost like, the anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I was slow to get Kyle, that. 
careful. Faceless. <laughs> Woody's been on a. It's okay, Harley's here. I, I, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm allowed. I was wondering when we'd get there. By the way, I was thinking. In you my need head. to throw some. Here, if, I, if, if I were a member of the tribe, I would seriously have like some stuff behind me to indicative of that. Just, just, just like look, not like I, I don't need the Get core. Yeah, down. I should I, wear like a thing on my arm, eh? Yeah. Let me say this. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any tattoos, but one I saw once that I thought looked slick. Have you ever seen knock around guys with Vin Diesel? Mm -hmm. He a plays a half. Ago. He plays the half Italian, half Jewish, like tough guy. And so he's, he's got, got a pizza bagel. David. Oh. He's got a star <laughs> David. <laughs> Pizza bagel. <laughs> wow. <That's perfect. laughs> that's yeah, perfect. That's fucking perfect. Pizza bagel. I don't see the Italian part of this. I just see the the Jewish star. Well, there's no like Jewish part of the tattoo. Oh, I thought you meant it was like a fusion tattoo. No, he's just I got the star of David, that. it looks like. He just has yeah, the yeah. star of David. Yeah. He looks anyway. pretty tough in that. Yeah, he's kind of flexing though. Yeah, well, I he's feel flexing. Like... He's flexing. That's his angle, and he's also standing on an apple box. <laughs> yeah, that man. That man across from him is legitimate large man. If you remember, he's the guy who shoves uh, poor um, Jim Carrey into that bathroom stall for that for that mouth fucking. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's a good movie though. I don't know why this is well, a little guys, movie actually. Called? If you want, this knock around, ruin, guys. This might ruin Vin Diesel scenes for you, but the next time you catch Vin Diesel in movies and like he's standing with other people and they're all the same height, look where his <laughs> arms end. They'll usually have him cross his arms or do something, but there are times where his arms are there and he's like they're all the same height, but his arms are like up there because he's mm -hmm. standing on something. Yeah, Literally. is he is he not is he short? Yeah, he's shorter than most of his co-stars. He, he he has movies with like other giant dudes, like The Rock. I think he's five seven. He's like the only celebrity I've ever what? looked them up, and their height is not listed in that little side Wikipedia thing. Mm -hmm. First time that's ever happened. You Damn. sneaky bee, Vin. I'm God bless him, his... love him. When we filmed with Arnold Schwarzenegger, he wouldn't. Uh, we needed it for something. Uh, they wouldn't inform us of his height and weight. And I was like, oh yeah, like some of these guys like value that. Um, you oh come on you value that you step on a plane and you measure everybody up you're like all right we're good it's green code green Call <laughs> now who remembers it. things we said for previous yeah. shows Harley huh oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't care yeah, about the yeah, height okay. thing but I wouldn't I wouldn't want my weight public like I, yeah. I mean I'd like I mean let's keep it floating at least so I've got a shot someday actually I would just I would just make my stats keep public the way like it. Tom Cruise and Vin Diesel do it'd be like yeah I'm six five eighty pounds. <laughs> I've actually you know what I've been doing. What are you I've an been, aluminum I've saying, rod? I've been saying mid thirties lately. People ask my age. I'm like mid thirties. I for some reason, that, for some reason thirty seven hits really hard. And like and like thirty five. Like I'm like kind of like COVID took those years for me. So I kind of want to mm. still be like, bro. I'm still thirty five. Dude, you're doing I, it wrong. You got it backwards. Just got to be forty for the, like the last ten years. Fifty. Right, and then they're pushing like, you're good 50. pushing fifty. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe I'll be I'm forty for, hard though. Maybe I'll be I forty for hard. ten like years now. Away now, but except but like I've the, been saying it for years. <laughs> oh, hang on. You're about to. Do you have anything planned for the big fiftieth uh, life anniversary? No. No. Good. Good. I don't believe in celebrating birthdays. I think it's horse shit. It's to, it, it's a silly thing. Didn't they start doing birthdays oh. because the birth rate was so low that like, I mean, not low, but like uh, the survival rate was so low that it was like a huge deal that you'd made it to two and then three. It was like, oh, look at Johnny. <laughs> he might make it to seven. You're going to read one day, boy. Like, yeah, I think it was, I think that was the deal. But like at this point, most of us make it at this point, all of us are going to keep making it unless we do something stupid. That's so, how I think all that. Stop counting. There, there's I mean, no it's, way. it's interesting. I'm convinced like, I've had... die based on decision making. <laughs> yeah, that's what birthday parties are about, Taylor. Come on, I just I just wrote that bit of history for you. <laughs> now, 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 I can't it disprove your... it. But <laughs> no, you can't. No, I can't. It's, it's, Neither... it's some... Down the Zach, line, birthday, birthday parties are fun. I'm, I'm sure if Zach Google's enough, he could find something that supports it, just like I did with all that Holocaust stuff. Yeah, dude, you can just keep googling and googling and googling, and then sometimes, and then you can, and if you don't find it, you just make it up. That's you know, right. I, oh, I, 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 I You'll find it. <laughs> I had a lot of uh, exposure to um, Chinese culture over the last couple of years, uh, oh, more than I did before. And <laughs> the, what I found was funny were some of the differences. Like when you turn 13 as a Jew, 
They're like, you get your bar mitzvah, and they're like, "Wow, well, mm-hmm. you're a man now. Mm-hmm. Get to yeah. work." Uh, I noticed <laughs> in, in Chinese culture, a hundred days is the celebration. Yeah, at a hundred days. days, they're like, "Yep, you did it. Get your ass out there now. Make a hundred days old. Hundred days. Get your ass out there. It's like American you're a president. Human, you got contribute. You did it. Make something happen it. right there." I've heard all these different landmarks, but none of them match up with my family, right? Some people say 13 years old, 100 days I've never heard of. I've heard people saying you're a man when you hit puberty. Growing up, it was always when you're financially independent. When you're financially independent, that's what makes not you Not even. Not I'm financially sex. independent, and I'm still, like, fucking eating cereal at 4 a.m. playing Modern Warfare 2, and I'm like, this can't be being a man, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, this can't be it. Wait, you like, say I'm, that. You say that like that's any different than like some people that would consider like the manliest men, like like Lo- Lois and Clark on that fucking adventure out west, mapping the fucking continent. You don't think one night they stayed up late and played chess while they had some brandy? It's the same fucking thing. You're just yeah. as manly if you stay up late, play some goddamn You're video games. Just that manly sounds manly so much like. manlier than Modern Warfare Two and Serious. Brandy though. and chess with yeah, your with does. your homeboy Clark. <laughs> well, those <laughs> savages died poorly today, didn't they, old boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, they screamed like <laughs> Many of them were babes. <laughs> oh, oh, good I'm year, saying. good year. You, shake, you know how you Bring know Brandy is around for another jolly. <laughs> another uh, funny Brandy's thing about the uh, like shit. Oh, you said Brandy's classy because it tastes like shit. Yeah, Brandy's. Dis- Have you ever had Brandy? I've only had yeah. it once, so I'm judging an and entire it class like of shit. beverages. No, so am I. Horror. I like um. So whatever uh, Grand Marnier is. Um, I, I, I've always enjoyed that for like sipping. I remember, uh, my, my, uh, I used to think it was classy when I was 19. I had that like 25 year old roommate who was a bar back and, and he was Polish and he would sip that shit and like, like make a whole show of it, like swirling it in the glass and, and so it, uh, like, ah, yes, me too. Yes. <laughs> What's a bar me back? Too. Swishing your 40. Yeah. I, I don't uh, know exactly what he did. I, it, it seemed like he just drank a lot. I think that's what a bar back does because <laughs> he was. A full time alcoholic. <laughs> it is common in that industry, but yeah, Woody, a bar back is like a just running back, who, like, except for he drinks. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he tackles unruly customers. He just yeah. he just like picks up like empty glasses, so like the bartender doesn't. The bartender just takes all the orders, and the bar back will be like, "Oh, your cup's empty. You're 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 done with your your fucking potato skins." He's the assistant oh. bartender. No, yeah. assistant to the bartender. To the bartender. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> Another thing that I noticed about Chinese culture that was uh, pretty interesting was I started seeing this Chinese doctor. Um, oh, herbalist? here and there, yeah, like extra from like different from my real doctor. So when you said uh, you're yeah. seeing the doctor, you're not fucking her. That was it my was a him. assumption. It oh, was a him. So yes. Still stand. Oh, no, 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 long no. way. I, I, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, yeah. I would go <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It was interesting. I, I, I uh, would get an appointment, and when I first met him, barely spoke English. She made me stick my tongue out, and I stuck it out, and he was like, Ugh. <laughs> and then, like, literally, he did that. He did that, um, and um, <laughs> he would, like, point at, at, at things. Too he would, short. like, touch me. He would, like, touch me, like, on my... Uh, <laughs> he would touch me like on my foot and I'd be like, ow. <laughs> no, I think it's because I have a topographical tongue. You guys Wait, with what? It, it's like bumpy and stuff it's like, yeah, it's like uh it looks like uh i don't want to stick it out because uh that doc just made me self-conscious it. no i won't i've got uh, uh, also so did sam mind. i i stuck it out for sam i told him this story he's like let me see your tongue i stuck it out and he's like that's disgusting that time <laughs> 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 what is it coated with like a yellow bacteria or something no yeah, no not at all it's perfect the color's fine it's just like it's one of those tongues that are not smooth like it has like like it has like a uh, cracks on it it looks oh. like the dry land in the desert i've never almost. seen a tongue i don't like show me <laughs> oh I so like your it. tongue's like the beginning of a, I'm a still conditioner commercial oh oh god uh, no, it's I'm looking kind of great I, I, guys I, I, it's not I, that great normally yeah, that's that's not not great. Harley, I well, like me. Uh, i've been eating sand <laughs> it, it looks yeah. like a fairly standard cup. human tongue but it's not gay wait maybe those little extra papillae on your tongue 
Results what from the you... loss of tiny hair like projections. Oh, that's it. Yeah, right. that's my no, time. No, no, take that away, please. I'm begging you. Oh, I, I appreciate yeah. you, it. That looks like, 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 like you licked a cold pole. Kyle's making me feel bad hard. now. Kyle's making me no, feel bad. No, your tongue was leave. fine. Mine tongue looks leave. similar to your tongue sometimes. <laughs> Mine's got, I got coffee tongue right now. It looks like I've been eating doo doo, but like, I want to hear about Woody's PC debacle because I know you don't know this, Harley, but, but, so I've been gaming Tarkov wiped. I know you don't play that stupid game. I see you playing Kyle a lot. Hope you're having fun with that. Uh, but Woody has been wanting to join us on the Tarkov wipe, and it's a real time-sensitive thing, as you can imagine. The game's reset. <laughs> His fucking PC has been melted down for three weeks now, like one thing after another. And he just on. got it back from the PC repair shop today. I was shocked when you sent me that photo. You had the PC in the back seat, and you didn't buckle her up. Did you buckle up the computer? Yes! I did actually yeah, I reach just back when, I, hit, when you... I went to stoplight <laughs> sometimes to hold it. Yeah, I would have buckled it up. I buckle things up all the time. I'm wild for that. I guess <laughs> the so. first time I, I I break, I would like it's I would the feel law. It fall forward. So it's the law. <laughs> I know that there was an interim status report where the guy's like, your GPU is broken, your this is broken, your other, your power supply is broken. All these things are broken that made it look like I took it to somebody who wasn't very good. But when it's all said and done, I'm kind of happy. Now I still question exactly what happened, but he's like, your power supply is bad. And when you told me that GPU was brand new, I started plugging it in other computers and it didn't work in those until I got a 1200 watt power supply. Now it's a 4080, mm. which is power hungry, but I would have guessed it would have worked with the lesser power supplies anyway. Mm. Apparently not. So once he put a 1200 watt power supply in there, the GPU works, the motherboard works, the RAM works, everything started working just fine. So my theory as to what really happened on the original computer is the GPU went bad. And then I upgraded GPUs because I'm not smart and I needed to correspondingly upgrade the power supply. But Wait, why was that not smart to upgrade your GPU? Because the new one required a bigger power supply, which I didn't upgrade. Oh, along okay. With the GPU. Cause you didn't upgrade the power supply too. And then I ran into all sorts of other problems along the way. I wasn't able to diagnose it myself. I took it to a guy. It seemed like he put 12 hours into the thing and he would tell me, he's like, this thing kicked my ass. It was really hard to get this going and to fix it. And you know, when I told and him, you're like, like yeah, yeah. What's the damage? I'm sure <laughs> it was so hard. <laughs> so he me. charged me 175 for the labor, which didn't seem outrageous to me, knowing nope. how many different days I got and like, specialized. And I, I, and I think that's good to get your computer back to life. Yeah. And $200 for the 1200 watt power supply. So altogether mm -hmm. 375 and your it's, computer's working. Yeah, you're on it yeah, right now. It's right? in the kitchen right oh. now. But uh, oh. the thing is, I got it an hour ago, and I was like, I could try to get everything cooking before the show, or I could just play it safe, which is what I did, and do it to later. The, the so photo computer, you sent... Your computer's uh, still not plugged in? Woody sent I, us a photo. We plugged it in at the of... shop, and I saw it boot. I'm sorry. But you're not playing Tarkov? Kyle, fuck this not old yet. retard, bro. Take me, <laughs> take me. I'm ready, bro. I've been training in Modern Warfare DMZ, bro. I've been I, playing I, with foot pedals this whole time. <laughs> I brought it home like an hour and 15 minutes ago. I had to call my dad. It's his birthday. And I had to uh, eat dinner before the show. And I was like, I, this is a lot to get done. Before. The, the picture you sent us you of you like you smiling in the car looked like you were so happy. <laughs> like just like Woody sent us a photo of him like driving and the picture of him driving with the the computer in the back and like it's one of those smiles where like his eyes are like lit up as well you can tell it's not fake and you literally looked like someone who won like a radio contest <laughs> and you, and you got a computer but no it's you just like at like all right day 28 maybe i can play that game that's already you know Ugh. way too far past everyone time. else is level 20 to 40 <laughs> I'm I'm in at zero. you said you know, your dad fair, you called him to wish him happy birthday does your like does he say i love you do you say i love you to him and does he um, say I love you back? Thank you. Love you. Halfway. <laughs> I said I loved him and he didn't return it. <laughs> okay, no, no, I want I have that in my family too, not with my dad, but my grandfather. <laughs> what did he say? Anything? Did he say like I appreciate that, son. <laughs> I, I, Good luck I think, in your endeavors. This I think he said it was. Whatever it was as we be. were saying goodbye. So I was like, "I love you, Dad. Bye." And he's like, "Bye." <laughs> yeah, no, this happened. Uh, yeah, my keep it I real, swear. son. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I say to my grab, I'll be like, he'll call. I'll call him. I'll be like, yeah. He's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, love you. And he's like, yeah, bye. <laughs> and I'm like, I think it's I'll hard for him. 
and I it's think hard he, for me too. I think he cringes really? when I say yeah. it to him. What are y'all afraid of? Dude, it is you, not hard no, for no, me I think it's a generation. I think it's a generation thing. My dad is about to be 70 years old, and I say, Dad, I love you so much. You are my favorite person. And he's like, Well, hot world. dog, son, I love you too. Come that's exactly lap, what he now. says. Well, hot dog, son. He should hit it back, Han. Well, he should hit it if you let me get my banjo dad i love you you're among my favorite people he should say you're also top five around here yeah Yeah, (laughs) just leave it there or or just i know (laughs) yeah so kyle you say i love you there he goes what happened this there he had to call his dad see he's (laughs) he's he's gotta be like dad oh you won't believe him they don't believe here (laughs) (laughs) yeah so kyle when you say i love you to your dad he says Mm -hmm. i love you that's how it is with my dad as well every time we my dad too every time i part company or hang up the phone with um a loved one i tell them i love them and they tell me they love me because you never know when it's the last time what about grandfather though like is he dead I uh yeah, my grandparents have been have been Aww, there for a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> about- Grandpa's dead. How about, oh, dad, Kyle. Kyle. How, about- How about Grandpa Irvin? Is he still I'm- knocking around? I'm six feet tall, but twelve feet taller than your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so fucking mean. It's great. <laughs> no, seriously. Rest in peace to them. Yeah, no, seriously, peace, no, disrespect, no disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was, no, but would they say I love you back to you? Because it's my grand. My yeah. dad says it. My grandfather doesn't. Yeah, when my grandmother was dying, that was the last thing she said to me. She was all jaundiced up, and she had turned like almost orange because her liver had shut down from the cancer. And uh, and you know the surgeries and stuff because she had fought for so long, but that was the I last joke, thing she told me. My she, joke is she, terrible now. Okay, she was <laughs> she almost she, the she looked like a bird. She was like eighty pounds by then. But her, her her little mouth was all stretched out and parched, and she said, "I love you, Kyle. I love you. Wow, you're my number one grandson." It was her Did only you? grandson, so <laughs> I always what tell about Colin your, he's my favorite what about grandfather. Son? Though I say my it every day, <laughs> my grandmother held it down. She said it. She always said it until she died. Also, but it's the grandfather that was the one that was like, "Shut up, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> it was funny you mentioned grandpa because, like, my like, there's been plenty of stories about my my country farmer grandpa on this show, and like, my grandma is Miss like, "I love you, I love you." Like me and my dad, obviously. Every time I hang up the phone with my brothers or like my brothers leave my house or anything, love you, like always with my grandpa. Like it's so ingrained in me to like say I love you at the end of like a phone call with family. But he's the only one that like isn't 100 percent because like I'll be like, you know, all right. See you later, grandpa. I love you. And he'll be like, mm hmm. Just I kind feel of like, bad. A, mm-hmm, or like a, see you later. Bit? No, it's him. It's he's from that generation mm-hmm. of like and like he didn't have like fucking running water as a kid. He didn't have a lot yeah. of stuff. And so, yeah. like for him, he was in he was, the he was wars. Telling, we were actually we were down. Those men at, couldn't. I don't think those men could, had that luxury. I don't no, think they had the luxury exactly. of being like soft yeah. enough to tell mm-hmm. their sons they love him. Now, like mm-hmm. maybe our dads, like 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 maybe they don't have quite as much excuse. But unfortunately, they were raised by those guys who didn't have a choice. And it's only us that are like, ah, yeah, you can suck a dick and tell your kids you love them too. Yeah. <laughs> like he'll he'll tell stories about like what his dad was like to him cuz like he was just like a kid mm-hmm. working on a farm and he was like this is just last time I was there like a couple weekends ago he was talking about stories and he's like yeah I was 11 years old or so we're putting fence posts in on my fuck grand or daddy's property and I was railing one in and missed took all the skin plumb off the top of my hand and I my my father he was you know 50 yards that way I said Son of a bitch. We hold my hand. And he looked up. He was a Christian man. He said, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> and he walked over there and he said, I'll tell, I'll give you something to say son of a bitch about. And he, he plumb near took my head off. He beat the shit out of me. And I was like, Jesus, Jesus Christ, God. grandpa. And he's like, right. and my grandma was like, yep, that is true. He, his father was very rough on him. Well, he he objected to your cursing with what the hell? Isn't that like, yeah. So he, he objected to son of a, a bitch. child. The, yeah, like he would like my grandpa got smacked around like he he didn't say bad bad word like that's the level of like his household it was like 
tear up your hand, but you say son of a bitch, like that's not flying in this Christian household, fella. That yeah. blows me but, away that he could say what the hell. It's like son of a bitch. The fuck kind of language you use it? Yeah. Is, is Actually, the, the way the way my grandpa hell. said it is he's like, he came over there and he said, What the hell are you doing saying son of a bitch? Except he didn't say hell and he didn't say bitch. And because like he was uh-huh. one of those guys who's like, I'll kill you and your whole family, you son of a gun. Like, <laughs> like a, uh, you rascal. Oh god, he, he means it. He said son of a gun. He said son of a gun. So Taylor, your grandfather had no running water? No, for a long time they my, my grandma didn't either. They lived guys, in like very rural southern Missouri. We would do it. Uh, Jackie and I had a conversation a couple weeks ago, and it turned into a pour off uh, about our parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like my father was so poor. You know, like it, they lived in the they, they had like fire damage in their house and they got a settlement. It, it was like townhouses, and the mm-hmm. one next to it caught on fire. And rather than repair the house, they just lived with like scarred, burnt walls and uh, paint that was like peeling and falling off from the heat yeah. damage because they needed the settlement to, mm. to survive and buy food and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, his father ran away when he was 10. But prior to that, he was this drunk who would beat them. There is this funny family story they tell where my my grandfather threw my aunt into the wall. And she landed in between the two studs and sort of sat there, like made a chair out of it. And they all love this. (laughs) (laughs) This is all hilarious. (laughs) And she still fucking gets scared when I raise my hand. (laughs) (laughs) And Jackie's like, like, oh. Did they have they had water, they had hot water? My, my dad came from a cold water flat. Like he didn't have warm water. He my parents a... were killed before I was born. <laughs> so it caught my attention when Taylor's like, my grandparents didn't have any water. What do they have? A river? How do you survive without right. water? They uh, they had a spigot, and so they'd have to walk down to the farm area where near like the chicken coop, and then Would pump water say? into a bucket, and then take it over. I and think I've got it. I think I got to say I win the poor off, though, because it sounds Ooh. like both of these, uh, all these groups of people came from nuclear families where there's a dad and a mom, right? Like, like even if he's a piece of shit, he lives Well, he there, ran right? away when they was 10, so... Okay, all right, that's different. That's true, that's true. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the hard part... Like, told me about, uh, about how uh, they would use shucked corn cobs to wipe their ass. Well, that's common practice because yeah. they, yeah, yeah, it was a common thing back oh, then. Oh, they wipe their ass, hoity toity. <laughs> yeah, with, with a shucked corn cob. <laughs> with their they didn't know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I wasn't penetrating, I was wiping. I yeah. swear, we all. This is just shoving up your ass. <laughs> you know, you said, you guys said son yeah, of a gun earlier. Clean. You know, son of a gun's kind of like rougher of an insult than son of a bitch, the How's origin. That? Because it was like if you were on a Navy, uh, British Navy warship back in the day, uh, sometimes they let women on the ship Mm -hmm. and any child born on the ship and they didn't know who the father was. They Mm. just called the kid a son of a gun. So it's like pretty like it's just like it's kind of like a bastard. I like that. Long form. Yeah. So it is kind of like not that good. (laughs) It's kind of an insult. Do you you know the the originations uh, originations of any other um of those old sayings because i always heard the one from boondock saints about the rule of thumb you know that yeah, i, I heard that from boondock yeah. saints also yeah I, I don't know that if that's true. made up yeah i choose to believe what 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 i was told by <laughs> oh, that wait, that's not true, that lesbian one? meat worker no, apparently it's not oh well, it was actually never type. believe it or not it was actually never legal <laughs> to savagely beat your wife in the united states like it's, you, you can't what? legally just don't beat tell the shit out of people. don't tell my wife wow. yeah. that in my I, family I that, yeah. we've been calling like my nieces and nephews and my me and what like son of a monkey it's just been a thing that we said all this time and it was like a curse word replacement like whatever and then i used it on a black guest like a year ago. Well, yeah, I remember Harley, Harley, I, another we don't have PKA a lot of moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he says a black guest. Like, like, oh, which one? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, oh, Wolf. Oh, right. Because yeah. I, I was afraid that you said something racially insensitive to Adrian Peterson. <laughs> Glad you didn't do that. <laughs> was that another one? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> What is batting a thousand? <laughs> Does that happen to you, Kyle? I'm, every time there's a black guest, I'm like, when, I'm like, when's it gonna happen tonight? When is it gonna happen tonight? <laughs> what are you doing that? 
was like, I'll get oh. random DMs from people sometimes. And they'll be like, yo, Woody said something Aaron racist Fo- on PKA <laughs> Aaron today. Not Adrian Peterson. Yeah, not Adrian Aaron Peterson. Foster. The Arian Foster uh, yeah, yeah, of course, N-word. Of Oh, no, people, God. people will hit me up sometimes. Remember- They'll be like, Woody said something racist on PKA oh, today. I like, I'll just get a DM. Never, it's never on purpose. No, you it's know. just a DM from a, like a person with no profile picture or anything. <laughs> okay. I remember what I said instead in front of Arian Foster. That a guy wrote Wings or made a video saying he would help him on his weight loss journey. Oh, so you're going to say the racist thing again. Wings, okay, go ahead. Wings rejected it. I'm going to censor it. And uh, <laughs> Wings rejected his help. And he, and he was like, I think he said like, Anyway, in his like, why are you doing this? Why aren't you cool to me? He dropped the N word and I quoted him and I think and uh, it turns out even in the context of a quote, you can't say that word. Actually, you're you're very, very close. And, OK. And I, and I know you mean to be. However, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all true. However, so far. <laughs> yeah. However, I, our difference. <laughs> it's only after further review, I think, that we found out that even the black man in his video had never used the N word. Woody that's, had added the N word in his memory. That's all and true. So, and so, <laughs> and so, what he was, he thought he was quoting an N word, <laughs> but the black man didn't even say it. And he, 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 my window's open and it's land. I got to read. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's wide open and it's right there. And, 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 and I'm gonna let you a little secret. Rashad next door is a black man. <laughs> Rashad, as you say, doesn't care. Yeah. 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 That word, believe it or not. I, Dude, I remember after- else. Rashad's car got yoinked yesterday, and I watched it happen. I, like, like they, oh, they pulled the yeah, they pulled the fucking um um uh, um rollback up, and I, I could hear like the hydraulic like lift and the and the winch going and everything, and it makes a uncomfortable noise when you winch a car that doesn't want to be winched. When yeah. you're when you're and I, I'm like looking out the window and like like even the guys I was streaming to, they, I, I was like, can y'all hear that? That's my neighbor's car getting fucking repoed right now. <laughs> so he's in a bad mood. He wouldn't like any of that. Dude, nonsense. like, like I, like I, I saw him outside one time and he, he was he was like, uh, he was like, hey, do you, do you play any video games? I'm, I play Battlefield. And I was like, video games? No, no. Battlefield. <laughs> 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 I, don't know. Video no, games. To me. I want him on my squad. I'm trying to get the Nova shot on. Well, I gotta keep my. Be like, we can play with my friend Harley. He plays Battlefield. You can play with my friend Woody. <laughs> you're gonna hate him. You're gonna hate him. You're gonna hate him, dude. After, dude, I can still remember. Woody's gonna now. give you a call sign right away, and you're not gonna like it. Stop calling me that. All right. Uh, all right. No, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a soft A. How about this? Oh, no. Woody's like, all right, guys, I'm back into Tarkov. I thought, all we'd right, do a theme. Bitch, I'm back in. <laughs> let's do, uh, let's do the boys. I'll be. Uh, uh, how about you be Black Noir, Rashad? Let's just kick off with that. And uh, no, let's, let's, I gotta keep my god. I keep seeing my goddamn neighbor's name. It's the fucking window is open. Your <laughs> what's name? Your what's name? So name. hot. Like, I'm, I'm using. I've got neighbor. two. I've got. Rashad. I got two like gaming PCs going, so it puts out a tremendous amount of heat in this room. Like like it's a tremendous amount of heat. It you mm. know I, I I think I've got a thousand watts and one yeah, at eight hundred the other, and they're both grinding right now, doing their doing their shit. And it's, do you ever uh, think about buying a home? I don't know if it's a good idea financially. Like I'm yeah, but... I was so I was gonna do that this year, but obviously the market so w- was so funky, and it seems like it's uh, it's gonna like fall off the cliff. And so honestly, like what I've been doing is waiting on the market to fall off that cliff. So mm-hmm. God, I don't want to throw. Nah, I go like, to Texas. No, because I don't want to throw like that weed? a half million dollars at something. And mm-hmm. then next year, that half million dollar house could have been a $750,000 house. It's like, man, because the difference is huge. Like, I, Look, I, I don't there's first world problems here. Mm-hmm. But the difference between a quarter million dollar house and like a $400,000 house really isn't a ton. But when you go from 400 to like six or 700, it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Y'all added like another fucking house and made everything nicer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's a big step up. But um, Texas, so. Texas is really crazy, and I don't imagine that the 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 prices estate- would drop there because it's like I can't believe how big these houses are for the amount that the people yeah. pay, uh, like are paying. What did you mean by? Plus, crazy? you could get guns again. 
I'm not sure about that. What do you mean, Texas? What do you is mean? Crazy? Oh, Texas yeah. is like I've seen like seven hundred thousand dollar houses that are would cost five million in Canada. Easily. Exactly, exactly. Uh, because all right, so what well, you're starting Canada, with the yeah. piece of land that you're sitting on, right? Like, so I grew up in that little. You've been there, little Franklin County, Georgia, and um, so property there, like where my dad is, like when I was growing up, that land was five thousand dollars an acre. It's still only like ten thousand dollars an acre or something like that but if you if you buy property right there on the lake it's a quarter million dollars and they don't even cut it into acres anymore they cut it into like quarters and halves of acres mm -hmm. it it's the same thing you go out to texas and they're like yeah we got plenty of land like like what do you five it's probably five ten fifteen thousand dollars an acre it's not like building a house <clears throat> right in the suburbs somewhere where like the piece of property that i'm sitting on right now god knows I, I, yeah, I bet this it gets this, really cheap. I, I was watching a YouTuber. Now, this isn't where you'd want to live because it doesn't have utilities and everything's 40 minute drive away. But it was $287 an acre. Yeah. $287 like that is an acre is a little over free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, um, it, it, it at that point it, it becomes what kind of utilities can we expect out here? What kind of um internet capabilities? Electricity, Where's the cost? The cost. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the Costco. Costco. Yeah, yeah, the store. Yeah. Literally, I see a place and I'm like, you could have nothing. You got a Costco and a Walmart. And I'm like, let's go, bro. This is a viable location to begin a life. Yeah. yeah. When you live on the East Coast here, you don't even realize how remote places can be, like even in America. Now, I've gone on all these motorcycle trips now, so my eyes are open to it. I went on a trip. This wasn't a bike trip. But anyway, last year, and I got strep throat. I couldn't see a doctor until Monday. It started on Friday. Like I was really mm. suffering. It was hard to breathe. Oh, yeah, it was you hard were. to eat. I was I was really, really having a hard time. And like really no doctors in like 90 minutes? That sucks. That super sucks. Um, I go on these long trips and it's like you can't buy a GoPro within 200 miles of this spot. That doesn't happen here. I don't know how many yeah. GoPros are in Raleigh. There must be a hundred. Do you ever there's someone it? ready to go pick you up a GoPro and bring it to you? where you live right now i think you're right oh yeah. yeah for sure yeah does it do you ever process that like man if i hurt myself here i'm on my own and it's going to be like a helicopter or i'm going to have to tough it out for miles because i remember we were we were in the middle of nowhere in new mexico on uh your blm land we had driven off of a lonely road for an hour and a half but what you got to keep in mind is it's not that fast hour and a half down a road. It's like off road mm -hmm. driving through canyons and like over washed out riverbeds and stuff. We are in the wilderness, four by four only shit. And we were shooting that minigun off the top of that hill and the round exploded on like on the in inside of my um, um, thigh, like where your femoral artery is. And I didn't know if I thought I would, might be shot. It burned and it hurt bad, and I had seen the flash and the explosion. But I, we finished shooting, and said the thing, and then I immediately jerked my pants down. There's like two, like two women there, and like all my friends, and I like jerked my pants down, fucking butt naked. And there's a cigar burn on the inside of my thigh where that round had exploded and just burnt the shit out of me, but not. Can you help me understand you. the mechanic of the injury, <laughs> like a. A bullet seemed to hit you, but it didn't hit you so, hard. I don't understand. Keep in mind, it's it's a minigun I'm shooting, so it has that big belt that's being fed by an electric motor that's powered by a 12 volt car battery. It's spooling up, so it's forcing those through that belt at an incredibly fast rate, 4,500 per minute, and one of them exploded in the belt against my thigh. So I don't know what part of it <clears throat> hit me or what part of it burned me at all. It was almost dark when we shot it, you know, for effect. Mm -hmm. So I just saw an explosion happen to me next to my thigh and had the big nasty burn on my inner thigh. A but, round went and, off in the belt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Or, it, or like burst like a, you know, I doubt, don't think like, oh, the bullet took off like it came out of a gun. It's more like the. Needs a barrel for that. Yeah. Yeah. It sort of blew up like a little mini 308 caliber hand grenade, um, I guess, huh. or something like that. But in that moment, I was real scared because there was no getting to help if you were bleeding. 
you know, it was going to be hours. It was going to be like mm -hmm. a solid two and a half hours to get to like the guy who has like the thing that clamps your fucking artery <laughs> off. That, that 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 guy with the clampy forcep thing, like like yeah, he's two and a half hours away, and he's asleep or probably or, <laughs> yeah yeah you know yeah. My last trip was like that. I was going through Death Valley and BLM land in Nevada and California. And uh, it's like, I don't think there's another human within 80 miles of me right now. Mm. And it's, and with the land itself, like, I don't think I, I talk about it on the show and I, it blows my mind that I think you could have changed the year by half a million years. It could be 500,000 years ago and there'd be no difference. Like you just wouldn't even notice the time change. This place is yeah. so untouched by people. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. I mean, um, the U.S. is huge. You talked about how scary it is to be 80 miles, no people near you, and that that thought going through your mind. You know what's scary though is to is to have that thought, and then hear someone off in the woods, and maybe or maybe hear someone do. Make, if you heard someone go, la, 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 Ricola, <laughs> you would reply back with a Ricola because that's Probably. funny shit. And you know, that's a jovial man who's in his 30s to 50s. Because <laughs> <laughs> he remembers those cough drop he commercials. Knows, he remembers the cough drop commercials <laughs> and he's taking advantage of the Mountain Canyon's acoustics. But if you heard, <laughs> you'd be like, why? I don't think I'm gonna pack up. Let's just rev on the fuck home. <laughs> like, what if, what like, if you just heard like echoing of like? <laughs> you know what oh. I heard? Like like little like the, giggles, sexy? like those Asian scare. Oh, no, is, not sexy spooky. This oh, is why spooky. I got into guns. I used to go off roading, and because I live far away, I'd be the I'd camp there the night before, whereas other people would drive up there that morning. Cool. Yeah. I'm camping in the woods by myself in Kentucky. And I think I'm totally alone and no one's supposed to be here. And by the way, there's no running water. There's no reason for anyone to be here. It's supposed to be just me. I think I'm all alone. And I hear a guy say, Hey, there's a tent there. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> How many are out there? What are their intentions? Yeah. Why are they here? What is that? I, I can't win this. So, so I said, Hey, everybody, look, I heard somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Get your guns. Uh, hey, Cletus, this clever. looks like one of them city slicker things. <laughs> a, a nice no, REI. Back. I wonder no, if there's Taylor. a wealthy failure right there. <laughs> no, from inside the tent, you yell, Hey, everybody, get your knives. I hear some people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, formation. <laughs> Back pattern A. Uh, it, it, it happened more than once. Another time, a stick broke. Why did a stick broke? What's big enough in the woods to be breaking sticks? Is right, it a so human? I, Is it a cat? Yeah. I've, Coyote? I've, I've spent a lot of time in the woods. Like, okay. For three or four years in a row, I spent every morning and every evening of the fall, right? like every day of deer season, I would go morning and, uh, and evening, like three hours each. And you'll hear so many things that are weird. And it, it's it's like you said, it's like, what broke stick? Yeah. I'm armed. I'm ready to go. Like, come on, stick breaker. Step out. <laughs> Break my stick. I can <laughs> Break come your on. broken stick. <laughs> come on. We, we break all kinds of sticks stick. up in here. I break some back. It's like, it's like what the fuck is break? Like, but um, I think that it's usually just like weight of a limb actually like a limb collapsing on itself. Like, like some really rotten stuff is all I can figure. And obviously acorns and shit falling. But um, I've never heard anything in the woods that I couldn't eventually kind of wrap my head around what that must be. There's some weird birds down here that make squawking noise. It's like, like, like it's, it can sound like a screech. It can, it can be weird. And I guess there's bobcats. We, I saw that one on our little trip. And I, and I know that those make a scary screech, but I've never heard one. I've only seen one once. In but, Kentucky, there's... I don't know my cats that well. Bobcats, mountain lions, wildcats or whatever. But it, there are those. Okay. Yeah. Um, bobcats are <sighs> one of those about 35 pounds and they have like that bobbed tail, you know, that, that like, like little, yeah. and they like scream. Yeah. Um, mountain pounds, lions. Take it. So, so this is one of those where like mountain lion, whether you say mountain lion, cougar, puma, or like two or three other things, you're essentially talking about the same thing, but it's that big fucking predatory cat that kills people. The one that looks like a miniature lioness. 
um, the, the the ones that they have in like Southern California. Yeah, the big boy over there. Um, they have those in Southern California and in the Southwest, and uh, plenty of it down like south of the border. And those will fucking kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like What's look, it's got it's got traps. It's, it's my fucking dog. She won't shut the fuck up. She's just yeah, yeah, like yeah. You. She doesn't like that you're talking about all these cats. Wait, Zach, I didn't see all the cat stats. There were cat <laughs> stats. Yeah, there were cat <laughs> stats. Put the cat stats back up. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching videos of mountain lions scream now. This would be upset. Do your best mountain lion scream. Ah, fuck. Hold on. I said scream. What are you? Are you pregnant? I'm trying to. Okay. <laughs> a quick Google search says Kentucky has lots of bobcats, and the cougars used to live there, but they've been gone for a hundred years. Wow. Oh, you're you're an animal impressionist. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Let me, let me try and do him if he was Asian. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, they, they'd use L. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the lion will absolutely fuck you up. A cat that weighs 160 pounds can kill That's any so person. Scary. 160 yeah. pound cat like have Any you ever been person? a yeah it's all muscle it'll, it'll catch you by surprise yeah i want to grab our biggest person right like a brock lesnar i'm gonna go kill i'm gonna get i'm gonna he's gonna go <laughs> shut that dog up <laughs> I, I i hope he comes back with the giant cat <laughs> yeah i mean i don't think that it's taking brock Lesnar. all right it's gonna take brock lesnar because like I the way that, that they, they come at was you owning a tiger when he was owning a tiger i was like i guess the tiger might know better that he could probably knock it out. <laughs> no, if 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 you if you tried to pick the best fight, if what's his name, Tyson Fury, mm -hmm. if he like threw a big bare-handed punch at like a tiger's jaw, like number one, he might break his hand because that's not going to give because it's for an sure that's animal. a thick ass bone, and like, right? It would be so insignificant to the tiger that it would take a second for the tiger to register that an attempted attack was made and then it would kill Tyson Fury. You don't think like you don't think like there's an angle or a place you hit it and it's going to shake the brain up chance. a little bit. No chance no the brain gets no up chance that, that a tiger is getting knocked out by. <laughs> so we are talking about like an animal that could be like up to like 600 yeah. or 700 pounds, right? Tigers are the best one to pick because like if a full grown lion like walks by a tiger, it's like, I don't want any of that. Like, oh my God, that's way more intense than I am. Thank yeah, God. Lions Asia, are like and I'm in Africa. No, thank lions you. Lions are like 250 pounds or 300 pounds. And like tigers are like more than double that. But tigers oh, yeah. are always malnourished though. Tigers always have their hanging bodies because they're never like, they don't get enough calories for what they really need to be at their ultimate existence. Tigers, they're kind of like always hungry. I think lions hmm. exist like that too. But if you had a fed tiger, yeah, yeah I guess. Uh, no, I don't know what I'd rather fight: out. a hungry tiger or a fed one. Actually, <laughs> they both yeah, present I want, problems. I want it stuffed to the gills. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> couldn't, couldn't, I want it to, if it kills me, to kind of like pick at my chest and be like, "Oh, you don't need this." Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> Why are you feeding rot. me turkey and milk? Shut up, go to sleep. Yeah, it's like ah, oh, this guy's fucking salty. <laughs> There's a lot of sodium in this guy. He's unbelievable blood pressure. But yeah, no, you, uh, no boxer could knock out a tiger. Oh no. my God. Were we doing that? Harley asked and I had to defend well, the, the lion's the main. Tigers. Apparently the lion's mane helps the lion in, uh, in uh, attack defense scenarios, not against the tiger though, just in general, apparently the lion's mane does that. And so tests were done. If that could mean anything for humans with beards, if it does anything, and they made like uh, this, like epoxy jaw, like uh, recreation, because apparently that's like, like that's like, uh, you know, obviously where you hit someone, you hit them in the jaw, mm -hmm. and like that's where our beards could be. Um, and they set it up in this scenario where, like, the moment that a jaw fails, like where it breaks, um, and then they where it's like a hundred percent of the time the jaw will break, and they put like a beard there, and forty a, a beard made of like various hairs from like sheep um and it was like the jaw broke 45 percent of the time if there was a beard there really i'm sorry i'm sorry well, they, they they went so far okay as to as to create i know a gelatin head with a bone jaw and then they went so far as to measure the exact amount of newtons required to just barely break it and then 
They said, all right, we got to get the beard. Should we go to a barber and get some human hair to put in here? No, 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 no. Get some sheep's wool. In fact, the person that I, when I was reading it and they said, obviously they can't use real human hair while I was reading it. I was like, why? But okay. Anyways, yeah. Why continue. not? Obviously. Yeah. I, that's what they, they said that Sweep even like, that shit up. but I agree with you. I was like, well, why? You can use my hair if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> look at my do? sink. You'll be good. Just ask. <laughs> Hear me out. You're entering a slap contest, right? This is a problem. Someone's going to be hitting it's you disgusting. in the face. You grow a bushy beard that helps you a little. But what if you packed that beard with wax to the point that it became some sort of impact absorbing stress ball? Comb has to pass through the beard. Those are those are the rules of the game. Everyone really knows that would it? Yeah, that is. Yeah, a cool. I, I counter. Not everyone knows that. Yes. Wait, Wait, what was it? Everyone in my now? house knows the rules. Of, <laughs> All of, the of slap. Yeah. Everyone here knows the rules of Slappy McBeard off. <laughs> Home must cleanly pass through with an even stroke. One even stroke. Any thicker than that, then you clearly applied some sort of uh, schmutz to that. Yeah. To that thing. <laughs> no, and no, you are disqualified from Slappy McBeard off. Well, fuck, I'll never make That's it. That's what happened to my now. uncle. He's not allowed anymore. Banished. Hey, you got anything to say about that, Harley? <laughs> about his, his dead <laughs> uncle? <laughs> Please, man knows about no, that's too close. <laughs> and also my close deepest sympathies and condolences for that horrible experience with your grandmother. I could only imagine what it was actually like. I was doing a silly joke before. <laughs> I didn't realize oh, I mean... there was actual suffering involved. <laughs> nah, none of that happened. She's still alive. <laughs> okay. I'm a Jew. I was lying. I didn't care about anything except money. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I was. That was actually all true, though. Okay, I take it back. I am actually. I'm not like the other ones. So <laughs> see how they are. Shifty as ever. <laughs> right, right, Kyle. It's them who's shifty. Yeah. <laughs> no, that did happen. That was sad. Um, yeah. My uncle too. Cancer. I don't know why your me. family can't be cancer like we do, Kyle. We gotta. Get I don't know, man. Thing. Look, look. I'm a one-time time cha- cancer. You're at least champion. a two-time champion. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're going for three. I can feel it. I'm working on it. I, I got my, dynasty. Jackie said the back of my neck is sunburnt. I'm already working on the three P. Dude, it, UGA, <laughs> here's what we can look forward to in the in, in this fucking year. All right, mm-hmm. a three P from UGA and more cancer on Woody. I guarantee <laughs> fucking T. Every night I pray to the dark. This is Lord. gonna replay when my biopsy comes back, <laughs> and it'll be so fucking funny. It will be. It's just it you're just be. doubling up cancer. Kyle's number of s- survival stories. Like this is like more. Take have... the cancer from my riddled <laughs> body and throw it upon <laughs> that man. <laughs> Wishing cancer. On... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I want my cancer to leave. That's yeah, all okay. I. See. But don't just leave. Go on to him. I'm just saying it's got to go somewhere. For a bit, for a show. I'm just saying if it's got to go somewhere, go to somewhere where where, to someone who's so resilient, clearly. Like, like, go somewhere where we can get three minutes out of it. (laughs) My mom just beat cancer. Oh my God. It's in the family. You guys just dominate cancer. That's good. That's, oh, hello. That is good news. Little dog here. I um, mean, th- that's good. Do you do you want to say what kind or or what was going on? I, it was breast cancer, and oh, uh, never fun. Uh, she had surgery the about a week ago, and she's doing great. Good. good. So, I'm glad good. to hear that. We just smack cancer around like the bitch it is in this family. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. So, I, I, I'm just. I'm. I'm so glad that so far my cancer has been like the 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 bitch mate cancer. Because, mm-hmm. like, my mom had the scary kind. She had, like, some big old, like, egg-sized tumor or something. And, like, they, uh, and, you know, my uncle, he had brain cancer. And then my grandmother, I think it was started That's in scary. her liver, but then it got, like, everywhere. So, you know, you never know what kind's coming yeah. for you next. But it's coming. Now, mm-hmm. I mean, we'll all get cancer eventually, <clears throat> God willing. What kills people? Uh, cancer, uh, carbs, uh, guns. Um, <laughs> you want a list or, like? I'm just like, like, what causes old people to actually die? There's cancer, but what does the cancer do? Stop the heart, heart from failure. beating? I think it's heart failure a lot of times. And um, I think what it really is, and, and people don't like to talk about it, it's you ever like drink some trying. water, it goes down the wrong tube, and you're like, cool, that was <laughs> rough there for a minute. Yeah. I bet that kills like a million old people every year and nobody talks about it. It was like, yeah, it went yeah. down the wrong tube. No, she had a stroke. Because <laughs> it's yeah. so embarrassing to say, well, she's having some diet right and it went down the wrong tube and that was it for granny. Yep, she, 
She made it through the Depression, World War II. <laughs> she was a, a nurse in Nam. Did you know that, Timmy? But it went down the wrong tube. <laughs> yeah, you I just get so fragile that. when you get because, like, like if Frail. like Kyle, like if you or I or any of us, like if we slipped while we were shoveling our driveways. Like if we didn't break something, it would be like, oh, your thought would be, this is embarrassing. Oh, I just slid down my driveway. People are watching. If you were like a 78 year old, like overweight yeah. guy, that could kill you. Like just not even a heart attack, just slipping. And when's the last time you fell hard? Like, like when you didn't get right up Saturday. Uh <laughs> right, we'll get back to you. What happened? His answers to this. What happened on Saturday? What you? <laughs> we're gonna get back. I would dirt. Oh no, I'm sorry. I thought you said to, for me to get back. Uh, last time I fell hard was literally shoveling my driveway about three years ago, and I hit my ass so hard Oof. on the concrete it was brutal. Oof. I felt like an that, idiot. Those are. Did your feet like describe how your feet like slipped out? Like what? Did they both go the same direction? Well, my forward? my driveway is a little bit like slanted down, like at a, at a decent angle, and so I had like I was facing this way, so I had one foot higher than the other on a slant, oh. and I was trying to get it, and then my lower foot gave out, and trying to recover, I did almost like a little splits, and then like fell yeah. down. Yeah, what really part of your ass hit? What part of you hit the ground? The whole part, the, oh. and every bit of my ass hit the ground. I yeah. was, I tried to like, but I kept my my neck was rigid because I'm a young virile man. But if I was an older guy, I wouldn't have had that neck and like torso rigidity, and I could have smacked my head. Is your ass still deformed from a bunk bed accident? Forever it more. is, yeah, forever more. <laughs> yeah, now what my, my be- well, I was at a bachelor party for a wedding that didn't even end up panning out, and <laughs> I. I used to, when I was young, I used to roll out of beds all the time when I was sleeping. Like I just, I move, I still do. I move around a lot in my sleep and I hadn't done that in, you know, many, many years. Cause I didn't sleep in bunk beds cause I was fucking, you know, 28 at the time. And I got to the, the house we were staying at on the Lake of the Ozarks and I got there a little late. And so there was nothing available except for the top bunk. So I took that. And on the second night I rolled so hard into the barrier and these were not, you know, five-year-old bunk, bunk beds. These, this is probably seven and a half feet tall. Like I'm very high. And the 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 safety bar was wooden and it wasn't screwed in i realized it was just nailed in and so i rolled into it and knocked it out and then fell seven and a half feet people woke up it was in the middle of the night and they were like i thought someone was like shooting a gun because the board i landed on top of it so hard into the ground and the board that fell flat dented into the muscle in my upper right ass and uh i still have a permanent indentation in my not not on the ass cheek. It's almost like lower back, upper ass, kind of there. Like you, you, no part of it is being sat on ever, no matter what position I'm sitting in. But like, yeah, it's just my beautiful. Like now, if I like get a great pump in my ass from uh, mm-hmm. from doing you know hip thrusts or whatever, I have to look at my left side because that's my good cheek. I can't look at my right side because that's my bad cheek, and it fills me with a lot of you know dread seeing it because it's like <laughs> God, this is ugly and I hate it, and people are going to. There's see no my ass. Patreon goal where you share it with the audience. I, w- I thought you were gonna say there's a goal where I could they be like refill my ass. <laughs> there could in be multiple That's ways. another one. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, a you tier can raise goal money for the operation ass. to 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 fill your ass and then never do it. Yeah. What it, the, genuinely? I was just stupid. Like, what, I should have gone to the hospital. I should have went to a doctor because he could have like restitched it together. Like, but there's just a dent in the muscle. Like, there's a separation of the muscle. Like, I can stick my finger back there, like, and feel. It hurts, so I don't do it. But yeah, it, ass is ruined forever. You don't realize like how much as a guy, you're like, damn, I kind of want to have a nice ass. And then yeah, I know I realized that me, like in the last year or so. Yeah, I used to I never have feel a nice that butt. way. I, I like can't. skipped out on leg days and stuff, and like working out my ass. Mm-hmm. I was just like, what's the point? Like you know, and then, like now I'm like, oh, my posterior chain was weak. Mm-hmm. But having said that, it's just an ugly flat ass. So now when I go to the gym like late, no one's there. That's when I start doing the glute bridge humps and the kickbacks yeah. and the uh, the hip adductor and abductor. Like I'm doing all that when no one's there. I'm like, now it's time for that real ass fucking workout. And I'm like, eh, yeah, eh, eh, like humping in the corner of the gym, which I would never do when people are there because I'm like just so big. Yeah, it's weird. And then I'm like looking around to make sure no one's looking at me, and I end up making eye contact with every single person. (laughs) Nightmare, just nightmare fuel for me. I work out in a home gym, and some of my exercises are so fucking gay. I'm really happy to have a home gym. Like I'm doing dead bugs and fucking Mm. like dog peeing on thing exercises. (laughs) Dog, that's a great exercise. Dog pee. Those inner thighs must be on fire. (laughs) It's my warm up. 
And uh, it's mostly for lower back. Like, that's the idea. I have a couple exercises I do just preventative lower back mm-hmm. issues. That seems smart. That seems to be the thing that gets everybody later in life. What's it Tell called? The big your, five. The big three. Tell me about your fall, Woody, because at your age, oh, yes. at, you never know when um, the, the fall Grim Reaper is coming. <laughs> when it, you never know when it's going to be the fall. So on a dirt bike, <laughs> I'm not great at dirt biking. If I'm a blue belt at dirt biking, I'm a black belt at downhills. Just like it doesn't matter. Six foot drops, whatever. Like I'm, I'm good at that. I, whatever. That, that's just what's up. And uh, I saw this downhill and I was like, you know what? I think I can do this, even though it was really hard. What I didn't anticipate was how V-shaped the bottom of it was. I thought it'd be mm-hmm. more U-shaped. And, you know, I made it down the hill well. And then just there was no uphill. It was like a greater than 90 degree angle. And the front tire just sort of stopped and right in place. I went over the handlebars and landed flat on my back and uh, stayed there for a bit. So that was the last good fall I had. The, how how long I, were you laying there? Were you laying there out of exhaustion or were you thinking like, oh, no, like I could be hurt? Like a systems check. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. like all right, yeah, let's give this give this a few seconds and see what's up. Was part of you like, oh, where's the pain going to go? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just sort of had to collect my thoughts. I don't think I hit my head hard, but there is like uh, like I don't also know everything that happened in this. Like, like, how did I get here? It was one of those. That's so, that's you no know fun. the deal. Glad you're good. I mean, yeah. I I don't even worry about you falling now. I feel like you're building an immunity. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Eventually, that's you'll be able to take every falls, day. But... I take small falls and drink snake venom. <laughs> oh, speaking about <laughs> speaking of people who used to fall for a living, Robbie Knievel died the other day. Evil son of Evil Knievel. I remember watching oh. him jump the Snake River Canyon when I was a young man, and thinking this just isn't cool anymore his dad was supposed to be a badass actually i think what happened was it got windy and he called it off and this is in the time when like what this is long before live streams the internet any of that horse shit this was on fox fox was like tonight at 7 p.m <laughs> robbie knievel jumps the snake river canyon after that the x files and whatever the fuck and uh all right i'll put you down hang on chill 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 fucking gremlin <laughs> and uh um yeah i think they got windy and he fucking called it off and even then like like as a young man i knew enough about his father that i i think i was like i don't think his dad would have called it off i think he'd have they'd have been like mr evil sir uh <laughs> 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 <Mr. Evil. laughs> the, the wind engineer is telling me it's no good sir no good <laughs> 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 and I think he'd have done it. He'd be like, fuck it. Like, I'll just go faster. Like, like you know, the people yeah. are here. The cameras are rolling. Like, I think he just, he just gone. Uh, that's awful. Th- he, he's a, he's a daredevil and he died of pancreatic cancer. Like yeah. the How worst kind of cancer. 60. Can I just say that the fact that he didn't go out doing increasingly more dangerous stunts is, well, it's just, it's just selfish. Mm hmm. He should have it's been a 60-year-old MMA fighter. Just Let me tell you go. guys something. If I got terminal, I get a terminal disease, y'all hear about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all hear in a good it. way, in a good way. Like, like, yeah, that's not like how I think happy, happy things. Doctors like, Kyle, you have six you months to live. And Kyle replies, nah, I'm thinking four. Yeah, <laughs> I, I knew what you meant, but I know what they thought was like you sending like a almost smiling, jokey video of you like, here I go, like off the bridge or something. Yeah, uh, or something. No, like, when he was know. just like, I'm if I had something terminal, y'all are going to hear about it. I was like, it's going to be on the news. He's going to get the <laughs> dragon's breath shotgun again. He's going to get the fucking minigun out. It's going to yeah. make wild. a wish. Give this 37 year old man his YouTube channel back. That's all he wants. For oh, his that's how year. you I, I, you took it that way that what he was saying. I, I thought he was going to a scarier place. No, <laughs> I, no, I took it. No, no, no. I took it. You went on a spree. Uh, yeah, like but old school Robbie GTA evil. frenzy style. <laughs> no, I thought he was baby. doing something overly dangerous. Kyle, you, you... yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that's that was the joke. That's kind of what I was jokingly implying. Yeah. No, I um, said murder. But if yeah, that's what you said. Robbie Knievel, however, like his whole bag was stunts and jumping shit and like getting paid for it. Like he had the the contacts, the connection, and the apparati to like get a fucking rocket ship and go to space. Like, yeah. that's how I'd have went out. I'd have said, mm-hmm. shoot me into the fucking moon. 
I want you to crash me into the moon. Elon Musk would have been on board. I'm going to, I want like, like, like paint the ship with the evil Knievel colors, right? The fucking red, white, and blue baby. I like all this. right. And, and, and Robbie Knievel is going to jump space. He jumps from earth to the fucking moon and he's whole thing. I want to crash right in the moon. That's how I want to go out. And I, that's how I would love to go out. If you told me, Kyle, you have terminal butthole cancer and it's, mm -hmm. it's just going to eat you right up. And I would, I would say, but we will shoot you at the moon if you want. I would say yes, yes. Shoot me at the moon. Yes, for research, or <laughs> something for, <laughs> for, for NASA. We at need those, to know. No, like there's moon Nazis who are who who are sensitive, who are vulnerable. Moon space Nazis who are vulnerable to my specific butthole cancer. And if they fire me at, at such a speed as to vaporize that butthole cancer. It's like, you know how you eat? And you get to come back. Yeah. You know how you eat another, your own kind's <laughs> brain? You eat your own kind's brain, you get the prions in you, and you get yep. that mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. This is very, very much like this. This is hand in hand with that. I, I would just <laughs> love that. That would work. Would, would you want to die on impact on the moon or would you want to land on the moon and then die of asphyxiation after I want to kind of look around the moon? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, if I'm given the option, I would like to land on the moon and then kind of, die on my own time i want to be bloodied and beaten and like broken and i want to kind of look through like Cheat. blood <laughs> I, I want to be like look through like blood like covered eyeballs and see like a red earth and i want that to be like the end of season one for me and yeah. then... <laughs> i mean it seems like you must be an ancillary character if you're no 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 season one and it goes black right it goes red because of the blood in my eyes mm -hmm. and then and then you just see text on the screen one thousand years later and i'm waking up that's how season two begins that's how it begins i thought it was going to begin with like <gasps> what a horrible dream like those no those that shit happens. shows no, what's the name of happened. the show that did that i feel like that's the kind of knowledge you would oh have. well no you got to go back to like the 90s tv shows like like yeah. not specifically quantum leap but tv shows from that cut from that same cloth to to get an to get episodes where they actually just wake up um, now, I will say this, in, in the Star Trek universe, the final episode of Star Trek Enterprise reveals that everything we've seen, the past five seasons, I believe, of this TV show, was a different Star Trek character from a different Star Trek TV show watching a hologram, watching a holographic projection, and like, like, like watching the historical records. I don't records. like that. Because he's a, he's a couple hundred years ahead, right? So it's yeah. William Riker goes, that was a... That was great to see how things were back then. Well, back to fucking green bitches and running yeah. shit. And he just like walks off the holodeck and you're like, bro, I don't know if I like that. Like, <laughs> like wait, so you have... nothing was at stake? <laughs> well, it was all at stake, but they like kind of like back then. Yeah, that's that seems like, like they fourth... fumbled it. Of course they fumbled it. Yeah, yeah. But but no, that's the only example that I can think of where at the end they kind of pull the rug out that, oh, yeah, like this was I mean, it, kind of didn't happen the way they you love using their show to set up their next one yeah we'll like see the like they did it in it reverse like here that. though this was reversed though this was like Riker had been canceled for years right like he had they that uniform didn't fit and uh <laughs> 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 and uh you know he was wearing the old school uniform it didn't even make sense but um I like the new Star Trek like like if if so, if I wanted to tell somebody these days who want like if they were like hey I kind of want to get into Star Trek. I, I just think the uniforms look cool. And I know that like women oh, are really Discovery? into Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, no, absolutely not. Stay away from that. Stay away from that woke ass shit. Unless you're a lady or, or, you know, another. Um, but, but I if you want to watch it, no to no Star to. Trek Discovery, I would say Dang. that's more for ladies and others. So you're saying Picard? Oh, that's for that's just a slap in the face to all of them <laughs> as, as Star Trek fans. That's what that is bottom two Star Treks ever. Maybe bottom Star Trek ever is Picard. It might be worse than Discovery because you take such beloved characters and like rub dirt and and doo doo on their face. <laughs> it's like if all right, how, it's like if they did dirt Lord of the doo -doo. Rings. It's like if they're like we're making Lord of the Rings two. Um, Re Return of the King Part Two, and the like. I don't know. Arwen just gets like dirty dicked by some like goblins or something at the beginning. It's don't even. Uh, it's literally. It would actually be like if Lord of the Rings came it's... back, and you got to see Frodo's life, and everyone's like, "Fuck you, Frodo! Can't believe what you did after the ring." And he's like, <laughs> they, looks at the camera. Picard... He's like, "You don't know what I did after the ring, do you?" 
It was I, pretty I bad. I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't want to get into like a whole nerdy thing here, but That's like stupid. Captain, like like. Patrick Stewart, you've probably seen like memes of him as Captain Picard. And like the way he played that character was very serious. He played, he didn't think of it as a silly role. He played, he's a dramatically trained actor. So he played it seriously and he played it. He's sort of like this space diplomat who thinks and talks his way out of things. And, 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 and he comes to the table with reason. Literally a superhero, as far as superhero as a regular human could be. Yeah. He, Not he's, counting he's, Batman, a, but yeah. he's, he's, your, he's the negotiator. Like, like he's the smartest guy in the room. I think a hundred percent. I tell time. people he literally he's the type of guy that could sit down with like Yoda and Palpatine and yeah. negotiate a truce between the Jedi and the Sith. For sure. For and sure. And he's just a guy, but he literally is like, there's some things you guys should talk about. Yeah. So so then they have him in this new show, and it's okay that, that Patrick Stewart is a is a very old man. He's you know pushing 90 mm-hmm. or whatever. You can work around that. Put him in that goddamn chair and have him pr- pr- point forward and have him outthink some fucking uh, aliens. Instead, they got him like limping, jogging upstairs with thirty cuts, and th- I think they had him on a toilet with his pants down. And it's like, like, get out of here. So, so none of that. But if you want to watch good Star Trek, it's it's Brave New Worlds. There's a, there's this new show that's got Captain Pike. I've talked about it before. That is an amazing show. That is so good. It's brand new Star Trek with young, new actors for the most part, and it's spectacular. I love it. I have a question about it, Kyle. Yes. All right, so there are two kinds of Star Treks, according to me. One is uh, Star Trek Next Generation, like you pointed out, and that, to me, is office worker Star Trek, right? Where what they're really looking for are people who are good at calculus, people who make good decisions, people who are diplomats, etc. Then there's the movie Star Trek, my favorite, where they're like, look, we got a problem that we need solving. Anyone here good at base jumping motocross with hand-to-hand combat skills? That's the kind (laughs) of Star Trek that I like. I like it when when fucking Captain Kirk hops on a dirt bike to create a diversion, right? Which one is this? This is a good uh, mixture of the two. And uh, I think the captain is a very interesting mixture of former captains, right? Like, like he's definitely a thinking guy, and it seems like he's more into delegating and, like, having his team go out and do shit. Um, mm. And his hair is just so fucking on point. Um, it's, it's, it's a thing of beauty. Show me Captain Pike's hair, please. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, I've told you about this. This is the guy who knows his future and knows he's going to get his face melted and be in a wheelchair, and all he's going to be, he's going to communicate with beeps and boops. He's like mm-hmm. R2-D2 with an ugly face. He knows that's coming, but he's going to allow it to happen because he knows how many people are going to live. He knows their names. He knows the names of the children who will live. Mm. And uh, and he kind of like lives with that day to day. But that's like 10 years from, oh, my God, look God at that. Damn. That's he's a man. Got, I got to check this. Now, now, now show, hero. show me that smoke show with a beard. Show me. Google this. Captain Pike with beard. Naked. Now, you're going to. You're gonna, well, he's shirtless. Don't worry. <laughs> this is uh, this is called uh, this is Star Trek: Strange New Worlds, right? Strange new. Thank you, Strange New Worlds. I said, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch this yeah. one, but I've heard great things. And I even watched like there's actually quite a few more Star Treks, like what you're talking about, Woody. They've mm-hmm. kind of expanded into more because, um, oh, that's great. Mm. Could not. Yeah, what they did like when I first got Star <laughs> Trek, like I saw the trailer for the J.J. Abrams movie where the kid was like playing beastie boys and like driving in the old yeah. school car and yeah. the fast car, like the cop super uh, bike reaches up to him and oh, the kid's bike. like so fast in the car, <laughs> like shifting gears and he jumps out and the, and the cops like, what's your name? And he's like, my name's James Kirk. And James Tiberius like, oh. Kirk. Yeah, I was like, this is sick. Cool. I'll mm-hmm. check it out. JJ Abrams gets things excited, you know, uh, gets me excited mm-hmm. for things. Doesn't always see it to the end. Um, yeah. But, I thought I saw that. I was like, oh, Star Trek's cool. I'm going to go check out Star Trek. I'm ready in my life to watch a mature space show, whatever it may be. No idea what it was. I put on Star Trek, the original series mm. and tried. I tried. This is I the oldest it. one. With the oldest one. Yeah. And this, it. it just was not for me. I couldn't do, do it. it. <laughs> Everything about it to me sucked at the time. Mm-hmm. Then I went to Next Generation and I actually couldn't do it. I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't like Next Generation. And then my my buddy was, I told him, I was like, I didn't like Next Generation. He's like, yeah, you have to start when Riker has a beard. If you're watching before Riker has the beard, you're there too early. So hmm. it's literally season three is where it finds its footing. 
Um, mm. And now if you anyone ever wanted to watch any of you fucking losers listening to this podcast right now, you want to watch it. <laughs> but there's um, not fat. Go to. Uh, yeah, you fit fucking. You know what? You're not fat. But you were always skinny. You're weak and you're <laughs> oh, you're deadlifting a bunch. That whatever it doesn't matter, you little fucking pushover. You're still a skinny fucking weakling loser. You make yeah. me sick. You're a bitch, and I don't care if you don't like what I'm with on your podcast, dribbly you watery fucking... cum loads. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so true. This, this next generation, I got to. I, I use a watch list. Guy listening at home, use the watch list. Watch the best episodes, the best order if you want. Then you'll go back and watch a whole bunch. But I always loved Armok and Gen- Gelada Tanagra. But long story short, that was a whole type of Star Trek. When the walls fell. And then next and then and Voyager and Deep Space, they're kind of like <laughs> No, he's it. right. <laughs> Temba. Temba, his arm's wife. <laughs> oh, Temba, what's his the arms next part? Uh, uh, it, it was like something. His Shaka, when closed. the walls fell, Temba his yeah. arms wide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's oh. a great episode. But but then the other <laughs> ones are kind of like that too. And then the Star Trek movies, like I really like the ones with Picard. But you could still go watch Wrath of Khan because that one's old Star Trek. But what's so cool about it is like the whole thing's filmed in like one fucking room, and somehow it's an, an amazing movie. It's a cheap ass fucking movie, Wrath of Khan. But I like it. Yes. Rathacon uses a lot of shots from the movie before. Oh, uh, does they, it? They, 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 um, actually, no. It's the it's the other one. It's um, it's the next one. Search for Spock reuses some Rathacon shots. Um, oh yeah. And, okay. and, but, I didn't but, watch. I never saw. I only watched Wrath of Khan during pandemic because I couldn't deal with old school Star Trek. And yeah, I like the J.J. Abrams movies. They were like fun, but not like how Star Trek is. Star Trek is like what's fun is like when when like something happens in Next Generation and you kind of like pause it or you finish it after. And you're like, huh, what would I do? And like, yeah, sometimes a scenario mm-hmm. happens. and You're like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see what Picard's going to do because you like and you admire how he thinks and how he approaches problems and problem solving. Yeah. Now they're a bit more action oriented. They like like discoveries like discovery is like a whole bunch of action scenes and like high stakes yeah. stuff that it's like there's not even a philosophical question. So it's like the philosophical Star Trek and then the action Star Trek and I don't know where Strange New Worlds is at but I watched Star Trek Prodigy um, yep, which was yeah and I watched the first episode. I meant to go back but I was like well, the animated was fun. thing right? Yeah yeah. I was like, that was fun. It wasn't philosophical Star Trek. No, it was so, like the other one, but it was kind of fun. Star Trek is one of my areas of study. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, the original That's TV show is, is, is sort of unwatchable, in my opinion. It's worth going back if you admire things like the filming locations outside Los Angeles and noticing that that's hey I've seen Little House on Prairie Little House on the Prairie they just put aluminum foil on the rocks like mm. I've been there like we shot my stupid YouTube video out there everything shot out there on those fucking rocks they just throw aluminum foil on it so it's almost unwatchable um the one I mentioned Strange New Worlds I believe um they bring the Gorn back who is that laughable enemy from 1969 that man in the green rubber suit the Gorn are the scariest fucking thing in this new show. Like they mm. use human bodies to like, they like put their eggs in them. It, it sounds like they rape people with their egg, with egg sacs or something. They sort of dance around exactly what they're going to do to these people. But like, there's one person who was like the, the only survivor from a Gorn attack. And she's got like PTSD and she gets all shaky when they deal with them. And anytime they deal with them, it's just life or death. It's not like, I don't know. Ah, oh, well, fire the phasers. It's like, run <laughs> into the sun. Fly into the sun. They literally <laughs> fly into the sun. <laughs> like, deeper. It's like one of those submarine movies where they got to go deeper. They're doing yeah. that, but with the fucking sun because the Gorn are after them. It's that scary. And um, no, I like that one a lot. Next Generation, yet, like you said, very philosophical. The Drumhead is one of the better episodes. That's when they bring <laughs> aboard this like Federation prosecutor and she's looking for fucking malfeasance there's like an accident aboard and the invest and, and just oh it was an accident isn't good enough she's like oh conspiracy is afoot and she like infects the security officer she's got she's like wharf i need you to be in charge of this investigation there are saboteurs afoot and, and all of a sudden it gets very militarized and picard's being squeezed out because she's got and she's called three admirals and they're gonna have a big like military like tribunal or whatever and and she's over there all hoity-toity and Picard just walks in front of him. No. 
and just fucking lays it out there, just lays it down, brings up these historical references and fucking points fingers and hurts feelings. And when it's done, she's a jabbering mess. And and all the admirals <laughs> walk out of the room without look. She's disgraced. Everybody Which walks out. Is this next, next generation? Yeah. The next generation, okay. yeah. And and um, Worf is like an Urukai, by the way. So if you put yes. him in charge of security, that's cool. But now imagine your Urukai is like trying to lead everything. Yeah, he himself. apologizes to Picard after that one. He he he's he's he apologizes. Oh yeah, because he's a half. He's a half elf, half Urukai. It's true. He apologizes. <laughs> twi- he apologizes another <laughs> time. Uh, when I data had data. It. Yeah, when data has to take command, uh, it, it, and um um and and uh, he, he like speaks out of turn in front of the crew, and and data takes him in the back. And he, he's like. If you can't oh, yeah. perform your duties, I'm gonna relieve you of your uh, of, of of them. You know, he's like, well, what have I done wrong? He's like, you question my orders in front of the crew. You'd never uh, question Captain Picard's orders in front of the crew. Not like that, you wouldn't. And he's like, God damn it, you're right, Data. I'm sorry. <laughs> Data's, Data's like, like a break. That's like a breakout character. Data, Data goes, I hope this hasn't ruined our friendship, Mister Worf. And Data goes, <laughs> It is I. Who endangered our friendship? And <laughs> yeah, like yeah, they grow, yeah. they like grow out so hard that you know that they've coalesced so much now that uh. when they go back out into that room, <laughs> oh, 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 we're all working now. I love that <laughs> shit. I ass. love things like that. <laughs> I'll never forget. I don't know if how much you guys like playing the game Metal Gear Solid. You know that game back in the day. It's like, yeah, yeah. There's like a Metal Gear Solid, the one on PlayStation One. You're like, you play a solid snake. You're this military badass dude. And you end up meeting a, a nerd, like a super nerd. This guy whose name is Otacon, which is like based on anime and stuff. And he's the nerdiest guy, Hal. He's like so lame and snake so cool with the gun and the bandana. And at the end of the game, you, you, you pretty much like normally save that character. That guy gets like you, you save with him. He helped you defeat Metal Gear Rex and you get off and you're good. Metal Gear 2, you don't play a snake, but snake is in the game. And at one point, like Hal has to do something and you you see like this is snake and Hal seeing each other for the first time since the first game. And snake's so cool. And Hal's like, I can't do it. I don't know if I could do it. And like snake's like, hey, believe in yourself. And Hal's like, "Okay, I'll do it. And it's so weird because it's PS2 with shitty PS2 graphics. (laughs) But then they go and they do this handshake. That's this like next level. Yeah. And it's like so weird seeing this like nerdy guy do it, but he's doing it with Snake. He so knows it's so handshake. fucking legit. He knows the handshake and they do it. And in like 2002 or whatever, 2001, like even a movie wouldn't hit this beat so hard. And the video game doesn't. I remember being like 17, being like, yo, Otacon's fucking cool now. now. Like, <laughs> he's friends with you, Snake. He They're knows friends. the handshake. <laughs> what's what's slightly a similar moment? It's a it's a game trailer. It's the game trailer for Escape from Tarkov. There's this moment, and this is one of their early trade uh, uh, ones where essentially you got Russia versus the U.S. Like that's what it boils down to. And like there's Russians and U.S. soldiers fighting it out with machine guns mm-hmm. in like a shower. Like like there's like tile divider walls and stuff, and shit's blowing up everywhere. And like everybody gets wasted. And then like there's like two survivors who at the end are like pointing their guns at each other. But then on the outside, you hear <laughs> it's the fucking scavengers. It's the fucking locals who are the third party in the game that everybody has to worry about. And the Russian kind of looks at the American and goes, and the American goes, yeah. And like throws him his fucking AK and they oh, fucking that cock kid. that shit and like like tap him on the shoulder and they fucking advance, like stacked up, all tactical and shit. To go get the scabs and, and the music is like dun, dun, and then like kind of zooms out and shows you the larger world of tarkov that this one little fight was a part of and you're is like, that the original trailer fight. for it i'm not 100 percent sure about that but it's like the original one i saw yeah it's it's good shit um it's uh tarkov is is a big part of my life right now <laughs> been killing it in solos right still no, oh. nobody but you it's I, sick. They're in the showers and they got the guns at each other. And you hear the guys upstairs. They're like, blah, 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 blah. and he looks at yeah. him, he's like, and he talks to this guy. Yeah, and it's sick. It is cool. It's, I love it's, that. It's shit. like we're at war here, but we're not scum like those cocksuckers. Let's let's yeah. get out of here alive, bro. Because like like the other thing is like they're not. It's essentially kind of like a little bit what was what's going on there now. I bet you've got the Wagner Group, which is like mercenaries, and uh, which is what the Bear are. The Bear are essentially the Wagner Group. <laughs> There's a funny comment on this, by the way. Someone said it would have been more realistic if they wiggled at each other. 
Like, would I guess oh, like, yeah. we'll do that? Yeah. Like with the aim or like aiming? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do in game. Like, 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 um, and it's, 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 uh, it's, it's faster than like hitting a key and like giving somebody a hand signal. You just give them the little wiggle. Uh, I, just I wiggle at people. With, well, I coordinate with people like, like, I, like sometimes I'll be in the game and I'll meet another player scab and I'll be like, dude, there's players right over there. I'm going to flank around. And like, we'll be long out of like earshot because you have to be to avoid. So I'll give him the wiggle from on top of the hill and I'll look down there in the valley. He, <laughs> he's wiggling he back. Wiggle. And he's, or he'll give me, give me one of these with his gun. That's what I like. <laughs> it's good shit. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound fun. The, Let the me know next time you're doing fun. it. I feel, I feel like, like, dude, just doing DMZ, which is like uh, Baby's first Tarkov, <laughs> has like got me comfortable with just going out and losing everything I built up right. to get. <laughs> so it, so them's fighting words first of all you know you, maybe you don't understand what you're talking about um woody's <laughs> about to get back into tarkov maybe a little bit i know one of my good friends Mitty. he just like got his his hands had to have a surgery with pins in it and stuff now he's able to game again and he's picked tarkov to kind of like pick up and i think he's seeing it as like hand rehab to some extent um I and i have been playing like eight ten hours a day minimum for three weeks almost now so i'm real far ahead and i mostly like to play with myself but for you two gentlemen i would absolutely yeah, team up and we could play together and uh and get some squads together and have some fun because i absolutely love the game and i have all the keys that y'all are going to need for your quests anyway but like you, you're not going to want to have to deal with that i i i'm, you, I'm uh, the fucking key master of i'm not bad to play 40 with you levels i don't make noise oh, of course not time yeah, to be quiet and yeah i play with yeah. people who just like non-stop move and shit it's like you're giving away our what do you call this room? genre by the way you guys it's an extraction shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Extraction. You know that I think uh, I saw a video about it and I, I totally agree that this is the like the end of battle royales, um, it has which been is for true because yeah, because like uh, like I see how many people play DMZ or like want to play DMZ in my close circle versus Warzone, and it just kind of offers way more. There's like way more Warzone is like you go in and like you could throw your whole life away and that could be that. Like I've I've gone in on DMZ, which I'm sure is like a lot. And I was playing with Tarkov friends, but they were like, yo, we're going in stealth. We're doing our mission and we're leaving. We went in and we were quiet the entire time, did everything we did. We didn't even see a single person. And the mission took like two times as long as it could have if we were running gunned. But we didn't see a single person. Nothing bad happened. No one shot. We got out and we're like, way to go, boys. We're going home to dinner to our families. Dude, that- yeah. And it wasn't even about there was no one shot. No was that anything. DMZ? Well, was Victor. Yeah, we that were like DMZ? lying down and Tarkov? stuff, and like wait, letting so, people go by and not even picking the fights that don't need to happen. So Tarkov's one of those games that uh, you can play it however you like. You can play it as a survival game. You don't need a gun. You can go in there with a knife and play it as a, as a stealth survival game where your your whole mission make up a mission for yourself. My mission is to get food for the United Nations. I wear my United Nations uniform. I use my knife and my flares and my stun grenades, and I'm in and out with as much food as I can get every time. Dude, that's you can make so up some, you can, boring. <laughs> you can role play that shit if you want. What I like to do is role play a little bit in the aspect that I'm very focused on the missions. There is a the game has a story just like any like an RPG does. It's just that at this RPG, there happens to be a bunch of a, it's a multiplayer RPG. Is what it is if you think about it, yeah. because there's other people existing in in that continuous fucking world. That that just keeps resetting every time you go in and out of Could it. Could you decide your goal is and to be? They're like... all trying to like. Go, they, we all have RPG characters. We're trying to get our strength up, our our, our crafting up, our metabolisms. For God's sake, we're all uh, just trying to do it in the same fucking world. So it means we're butting heads and fighting each other and killing each other. Can you choose to like be the the toughest, like a known scav? Do all the scavs look the same, or could you be like, "Yeah, I'm a scav player, and I wear a red hat, and people know." I think you're when random, they see the red they hat you a, scav. I think they give you that a, guy an AI the build. Scavs look like ten different ways. So, oh, never mind. All the same, no, but you can't see what scav like is some so pattern. You're you gonna be a, a Russian in a bubble jacket type vibe or something. But there's not like a group of people out there who are like, "We're the fucking the scav team. Like we're just the best no. at this, and we fuck you up, and we don't even do the missions. We just like raid you and steal your stuff." Yeah, that's not how it works. Now, m- most people just play the game as a shooter and like go in there and frag out, honestly. And and they're, the real reason to do the quest for a lot of people is because they get you, it, they make it easier to acquire the bullets, the weapons, and the armor that you want. They they make the they give you quicker access, more access, and easier access. Um, whereas if you just go in there at level one, 
you have what you're given to begin with, which is okay. You've got a nice little supply there. None of it's really like armor piercing per se, which is important, mm -hmm. but that's it. Now you go and go out in that world and find yourself some good ammo, find yourself some good guns. Like, like it's, it's up to you, you know, to, to, to get shit done. But if you go through all the, the, at, at this point, like I buy everything for an incredibly reduced price. If you wanted to build a good AK 47, your pistol grip, um, the RK three, I think is the best one. That would cost you sixty five or seventy thousand rubles. Mm -hmm. It cost me nine thousand rubles, and and like that, and just multiply that times every part that's on a machine gun, and all of a sudden my gun costs me like one hundred and fifty thousand, and it's a badass motherfucker. Yours just cost you three hundred eighty thousand rubles. If you'd lose this, you're gonna cry. Yeah. I'll just make another one and another one and another one. I saved a preset. I click three buttons and another one just shits out onto my fucking screen. And I've got so much money, I don't notice that it's gone. You know, it's it's a it's a different experience if you treat it um, like an RPG, I think, mm -hmm. and like run through those quests because makes sense. You need XP to get levels, and you need levels to get traders, and you need traders to get all that shit I was talking about. Yeah, and if you're any closer to Kappa, then yeah, every every day you're closer to Kappa. Every day. <laughs> do you do you have a, a do you know like the achievement bar? Like, are you like halfway there, or do you not even know? Oh, it, see, it's hard to to. I have a lot to go. I have a lot okay. to go. There are some quests that, that 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 take you know. Have you done Shooter Born in Heaven? I got What's two that? of them. There's two, a quest two in the of game. The maps or two of the kills. Two of the kills. <laughs> what does that oh. mean? <laughs> All right. So, so Shooter Born a... in Heaven, you have to get. I think it's headshots from a hundred meters, which is pretty far in game, and Not you have to get more. three kills on maybe four or five different maps. I think it might be five now. And uh, it is hard just to get good opportunities to shoot people at 100 meters in the head. Mm -hmm. I do shady shit, like leaving my backpack in the middle of the road and then <laughs> shooting you while you leave it. <laughs> smart. I mean, that's or, smart. Or I might like kill that. a guy <laughs> and not loot him and then just wait for someone else to loot that guy so that I get an opportunity to shoot him while he stands still. Like, that's the so sort of stuff you harder. have to do. And you're waiting, like, time, I imagine. That sounds like, like I'm out of date. Yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Um, they made it harder. <laughs> now it's not 100 meters anymore. Uh, it's 125 meters. Uh, <laughs> and it's three headshots on um, most of the maps, not interchange anymore, thank God. But now Lighthouse, because that's in the map uh, in the game. So it's, uh, you know, you, you just got to snipe. You know, you've got to put some time and effort into putting yourself into positions where there will be targets at 125 meters to begin with. Um, and, and that takes some doing, but there's pla think, known places to do it on all of the maps where people are going to have to go and do something like open a door with a key. You go 125 meters from that door. You lay down, you get yourself some juice, literally. And in like, real life character. and in game. And, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you, you, and, game. and you sit there on your phone listening in case somebody sneaks up on you and you're just watching that little window on your screen waiting for somebody to like start going up that spiral staircase and start turning that door. And you're like, oh, 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 God, fucking don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you try to hit your shot. That's Please don't be 40 do. minutes for nothing. I did something stupid last time I went for Kappa, which is like, I think it was, you need to get headshots with a bolt action gun from 50 meters. And you need to get, at the time it was a hundred with any gun from a hundred meters. I was like, Oh, I, these kills will count as two. If I do it with one, eye closed and one arm behind my back. And that just made it, I shouldn't have done it that way. It made it too. Hard. It can be difficult to synergize your quests appropriately to, to, to balance um, getting as many quests simultaneously with making it attainable. Cause sometimes it's like, Hey, wear this and that use that gun and it's like, damn, every time I die, I have to go buy eight different fucking things because they've got me dancing the silly tightrope. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Tarkov is a very in-depth game. Um, would love to have both of you to play, all three of you to play with me sometime. Absolutely. There's no reason Taylor couldn't play Escape from Tarkov in a very casual kind of way. And I would love yeah. that. We could all go in with fucking silly kits. And like we could go to Factory, for example, where if we go five deep, there's only one other human that's allowed on that map. We swarm his ass. Now we own the whole map, and we fight AI together as a as a fun little squad. We could, it would be, like, it, I would I would have fun playing. I just, I mean, with the new PC, I got to play a game super demanding just to have fun with it. But like, dark time. I never I never want to get into. Mm. I don't want to be a reason that people lose loot. Like that's like. Oh I, no, we wouldn't play with you with our loot. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> to. I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, you shouldn't. No. I'll cause. What I'll, it, I'll, I'll accidentally cause what, a problem. 
what it really comes down to is like if somebody loses their loot they lost their own fucking loot right like, yeah. like i got no if you're a grown-ass man you're bitching about loot at this point i got no patience for you i've, I've gained and lost so much fucking loot that i don't i don't fucking care it's it, like, gained like and I, lost I, a thousand fortunes and talk now, <laughs> it's it's it i really ha you know and it's not even the money there, there is some etiquette to tarkov though i watched a video today and there's like three guys playing together and one guy opens a, a, an expensive door the other guy runs in and starts looting the shit and he goes whoa whoa, whoa that's my room and he's like for you know he's, he's like free stuff he's like grabbing it and he goes bam fucking kills him <laughs> kills his buddy <laughs> or whatever and, and he goes dude i don't play that shit tarkov etiquette and there's a third guy there it's from his perspective he's a streamer and he's just like oh oh no and the and he goes it's tarkov etiquette dude what are you thinking and the other guys i don't know about that horse shit man he's like oh really Maybe I won't dump your gear. This is my fucking rig now. <laughs> He's like, he goes, fuck you. I'm taking all your shit. And it's like, damn, a friendship just broke up. <laughs> it did, yeah. Like, like these, these guys went to high school together. together. <laughs> like, like, that's it. Like, like, and I totally get everything that, that happened in that moment because I have strong feelings on who was right. Wait, I, I'm sorry, Kyle. Which side were you saying was, was incorrect? Listen, like, like some, like, there's going to be a lot of instances soon where I'm going to open a door for Woody and he needs to go in there to get a quest item. This is an item that is only there if he has the quest. Mm -hmm. Like, like he'll be able to see it, but I won't. It's kind of like ghost. Yeah. And, uh, and so I, I have that, I have that rare key. You can't even buy this motherfucker. You got to find it. And I let him in there. Well, he's not going to go start searching the PCs, rifling through those dead bodies pockets. No, no, no. I get that gear because I invested the time, energy, and sometimes lots of like in-game money into acquiring this key. Part of that is a little bit by little bit every time I turn it, because there's only 40 turns on this bitch. Uh -huh. I get some value every time I turn yeah. it out of the room so that this all makes sense as a, you know, in my head. Because it even, always has to be adding to a profit. If makes Kyle sense. was even further along in his progression to the point where money means nothing to him, he might gift it. He might say, Woody there's a safe over there. It's yours because I'm so wealthy. And I know that, yeah. you know, you're a level four, you don't have shit, but that's the etiquette. Like, like it's for me to give, not for him to take. Yeah. It's like he came to my house. Makes sense. Right. Like, 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 cause you grinded. I, I actually like, it'd be fine if you popped in my refrigerator, but, but I guess like, but there are friendships where it's not exactly cool to pop into your refrigerator. You know what I mean? Like there are people, you know, that if you would have them in your home, but you certainly wouldn't, You'd, you'd be like taken aback if they pulled open your fridge yeah. and maybe grabbed like that fresca that you'd been saving or some <laughs> shit. We've yeah. all got like that one like fancy soda in the back or oh that sparkling. Yeah. They water. take one of my glass bottled sodas like oh it's help yourself. It's like a protein dickhead. snack that was like five dollars or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, they're they're fucking. Those are individually. <laughs> I, that's yeah. one of the funniest <laughs> things I've looked. Look, some there are jokes and th that are funny and they have to be crafted. I saw this great video of Jerry Seinfeld talking about how he writes jokes and he shows his notepads to you got to find this video and oh, see how fun. he like crafts jokes. A lot of it to him seemed to be like, that's five funny words. <laughs> like just getting yeah. those five <laughs> funny words together. Well, I mean, Jerry but, Seinfeld stand up. <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, but yeah, well, I think yeah. in, 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 like, but he's yeah, talking about yeah. like writing screenplays. Like he's talking about screenplay mm. writing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, um, but 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 I had that instance where somebody was regaling me with a bit of a tale of how they all went on one of it. So so we've got like a gaming Discord, right? Um, I say you know the PKA Discord, but we I game in it. So that to me it's that. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess some we've all kind of got a tight knit group. These guys go on trips together in real life now. A lot of them do. And like they invited this one guy on the trip they didn't know very well, and they were talking about how he was like scarfing down the fucking. Um, um the 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 what's what's like little moon Debbie's? pies <laughs> and, and the, yeah the moon pies and the guy was like i had bought those moon pies those were my moon pies <laughs> he's like there's 12 in a box and and after he ate the fourth one i said hey dude they're individually wrapped for a reason <laughs> 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 and i just thought like that's such a good like like there's no retort to that you no. have to be like you just sit there with moon pie on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just avoid eye contact and finish your moon it's pie like... and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's and like, have you ever had a moon pie? 
the very idea of a second. Like <laughs> it, is, it is the most dense Wait, I have to pull three this forms up. of sugar. Your mouth yeah. would be so dry. Look, look up a moon pie. It's like the kind of snack that like truckers get at gas stations when their blood sugar's low and you need when you I need like, when you need okay. four hundred calories That's of sugar right pie. just now. So as a okay, because in Canada, they are Zach, can we have a moon pie picture? I'd, I'd oh, like it was a moon pie it. when you hang hey, on. Let me guess. Let me guess. In Canada, a moon pie is when you come on a girl's ass. <laughs> no, that's pretty good though. Uh, man's ass. That's what no, I call it's it man's here. Ass. <laughs> I thought you were yeah, talking about a half moon because that's what we sell in Canada. You guys know half moons? No, I haven't heard of that. You could fuck. That's when crush. those girls wear those pants where they Ooh. like. Okay, yeah. this is a half moon in Canada. You see this oh. item? You see yes. this item? Yeah, Only look at half of it, and now take the chocolate off of it. Oh, that's that that's your fucking health care system and, yeah. and work. <laughs> yeah, that's what gosh. that's that's what y'all pay for in exchange. Y'all no. get so, half the cookie and they take the chocolate. No, 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 no but but actually though, but actually I it I, looks oh my God, 48, a thousand yeah. times better than that. I, than I'm what? So fuck you. Up, no, we spent the first twenty minutes of the show trying to figure out what gay is. Canadian moon pies are gay. Yeah. I mean our you moon haven't pies pulled it up bad. yet. You have to see it. You told us what it was. No, no, no. Yeah, it's ours, but worse. I could tell. I could tell that those don't have the like, like this. The half moon's a Twinkie. It's a flattened hey, Twinkie. Yeah. Taylor, do you know what a Canadian moon pie is? No. <laughs> it's, it's it's when you come in a guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Now you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, hey, comment. Leave in the comments that Harley is gay. Harley's gay. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. Everyone knows he's gay. He's the gayest man in Canada. Finster, get out Very of my Very few dreams. people are that well known. He's the tallest Jew and the gayest Canadian. No, the, um, the banana, the banana moon pie. Look, no, that's yeah. no, 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 Wait, no, that's I pulled up let, me, let me finish. Link. Pull it up. Let me finish now. Look, that banana moon pie, one of my favorite childhood treats. Okay, love those fucking things. I will say this: it's like a Popeye's biscuit. This thing. That inside cookie, but if they they call it that, it is not a cookie. It's all but it powder. is a substance <laughs> that the cookie, if you will, of this is a substance that you have never put in your mouth before. Okay, it, it's crumbly and yet spongy. It's mm -hmm. it's it's tough and yet it sort of melts in your mouth like 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 cream or nougat or something like that. It's bizarre. They are not good. I do not recommend them. Um, I haven't had one since I was young. Don't have a moon pie. I don't know anything you about know, a moon, all these half moon. All, all these things, by the way, all of these, like you know, these types of things, like uh, uh, snowballs and ho hos. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, all of those treats oh, are a billion times better in Canada. I'm not trying to defend my country's honor, like when you guys are making fun of being like, no, wait, the snacks are good. No, but <laughs> I, I, I promise you guys, um, I don't eat Swiss rolls in the USA or snowballs or anything that like hostess makes or whatever in the USA, they're yeah. so drastically different in Canada. It's crazy. Yeah. And I think, I think our half moons exist. Cause what you're right. You might be right. Like per individually wrapped food, like the calorie or sugar might be so high that we can only yeah. do the half. Let me moons. ask you this. Do y'all do the Reese's with four cups in the fucking slider? We did get that. The, the, it's like a, it has a fourth cup, what, right? With what like do you a mean yellow you did band. get that? You it make it sound like three. it's the iPhone 14. Like, yeah, we got that. Yeah, like we last just... year. Dude, Reese's is the most, like, no one is innovating in get fat food like Reese's is. They mm -hmm. have come out with fucking, like, I don't know, but big fat ones, problem, quad though. ones. You need giant but ones, it's a tall problem. ones, pretzel ones, potato chip Reese's. But you know what? Yeah, I have an issue with it. I love Reese's Pieces. I've but always I, loved Reese's, Reese's pieces. pieces, Reese's peanut butter cups. That's, that's, you want a here's movie the problem. Trivia? Here's the you problem. Want I want Reese's pieces. I don't necessarily always want Reese's pieces with the peanut in it. And now I can only find Reese's pieces with the peanut in it. Just There's no in. the old school Reese's pieces at any of my corner I didn't stores. Know they had Reese's pieces. You got to order Reese's from the, with the Halloween peanut inside of it. Supply store. They oh, have I've never them. had them. Um, um, you know, uh, again, I like, like this piece of trivia he's about to give you guys. Yes, I so, want to hear. Uh, do you know the trivia already? No, I no. Do. I wanted you it's to the, ask. It's and the then ET I trivia. To you know, it's the ET trivia. Yeah. Oh, is Steve. it about Re walkie talkies? Steven, it's about how a Jew saved Reese's. Steven Spielberg wanted M&Ms. All right. He wanted M&Ms because that's his favorite candy. 
And uh, they were like, no, nah, we don't, we don't, that's, we're good. We don't want it in your weird fucking alien movie. And Reese's Pieces was like, yeah, hook us up. Let's do it. I bet, I bet aliens would love a nice peanut buttery treat. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that really <laughs> saved the the whole brand. It was that it iconic so scene where they're putting I... it down and he's following the, oh, the candy and yeah. eating it. Oh. Uh, Reese's Pieces, actually, Reese's was going bankrupt that year. Mm-hmm. They were like, they oh had been God. in the red for like a decade and it was over. And then sales went up like eight thousand percent after the movie, and it never went down after that. Like, yeah, they, now it like now it's cool. in the movie. It has to be in the fucking movie theater now. Like like you know, every time you go to the movie, that's where you get it, Harley. If you actually wanted it, um, hmm. every time you go to the movie theater, that's that's just quintessential. I, no, but it's Reese's piece candy. with the peanut in it at, at, in Canada. I don't understand at what you the mean, movie like theater. Peanut- like actual hard like, like a full nuts? peanut like, like imagine the, like, like a, imagine peanut a, M&M. a peanut m M&M, m but it's a reese's pieces but it's a peanut i've never M&M. had that okay so that's all that we have really here go to the movie how does it differ from a candy? peanut m M&M? m is he still rolling in youtube money <laughs> it has how- <laughs> it has the peanut butter still it, it is a full reese's pieces oh but it's like a big one it's a ball like with a peanut inside of it. Okay, I'll so they that. take a they take a peanut and then they cover it with peanut butter and then they wrap that in chocolate and then they put that candy coating on the top so it doesn't melt. And you don't want that. I'm not saying I don't want that. I love it. I had just enough, also though. that's had yeah, your that's everywhere. That's all you can get. And I'm what you're looking at is, a Canadian. I, one. I thought it said peanut I've arachnid. Never seen this. I was not only that. <laughs> yeah, not only that I see it too. Another way to what say peanut say? in French is cacahuète. And so you should be happy that they didn't put cacahuète. Is that French for peanut? A yeah, yes. Arashid. Arashid. Or so is cacahuete. Is it really? Yeah, so is cacahuete. You're not taking oh. that in. Cacahuete. And cacahuete. tired is fatty gay. So fatty tired gay, is cacahuete. fat and gay, and peanut is cacahuete. Trust me, this is the shit we laughed at when we were trying to learn the language. Uh-huh. I mean, the French is hilarious. I don't think we you have ever, any French listeners, so we can really go in on them. You ever see a Frenchman just beaten terribly just for being one? Like, 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 is there, are there hate groups? <laughs> what I'm saying there, that like, what, like, like, are there guys at the bar, like, like, you know, maybe rough guys to begin with, but if they heard like someone with that silly accent, would they like maybe target him? Like the rough guys him? at the bar are yeah. French. The Hell's Angels are they are like oh. all French? Like you Shit. like look up the mm. Hell's Angels. Like mm. most iconic members are the Frenchest Canadians ever. Like the most. Are they intimidating okay. with their French accents? The most. The number one guy. His name was Mom. That's wow. almost so hardcore. It's like <laughs> right? he, he doesn't even need. He's like literally. Like yes, his, I name, love his name was yeah. Mom, and like he controlled. Like he just like was all all over the news when shit went down. Damn, mm, I yeah. didn't know about the huge French biker problem in Canada. Me and if you go either, far, if you go far out west, it's actually uh, there was uh, a lot of brown gang members back in the day, like uh, no like East East Indian, and uh, oh. that, that that helped a lot of like. Uh, that helped in like in a strange way like empower some of the brown kids growing up around me because they were like we could move like gangsters too give me like a like a give me like a bugsy type gangster who's trying to knock over a few banks but he's indian he's like from new delhi oh fuck (laughs) you could he's gonna oh yeah fuck no let me help you out a little bit let me help you out a little bit let me help you out just i'm gonna help you a little bit while you think about the the indian accent those flat foots are never gonna catch him um he's uh yeah yeah he, get get getting the, getting the wheels bad yeah the, co- the yes, coppers those, they, they, they flat feet uh, in uh, vancouver is not here uh, they have no chance at uh coming back at us we are too tough we are the two toughest gangs in vancouver oi where, where what the fuck how do i get to mugsy not You're mugsy sort of going that across the midwest player. like knocking over banks no, Kansas not- city missouri hey stick it up Stick it up. <laughs> you, you give me. You you, you will do. You know you will do the necessary and fill the bag <laughs> with all of the coins and monies. <laughs> Now yeah. let us get out of here, fellow criminals. <laughs> you have a quick, have to you agree have a like this video. You have a quick video. Hey, no, do you need? To, oh, do I need shoulder. to repeat myself before you fill the bag with money? <laughs> <laughs> This hey, you exact- are there. This get is on exactly your ass. Why they get your fucking to- ass on the ground. <laughs> this is exactly why they looked up to this guy because of the <laughs> accent you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could you could like pull that. it up. It's a 15 second clip. Woody, trust me, it's not going to claim the podcast. It's a little. All right, we'll clip. see. <laughs> Try it. Harley assures us there's no problems. <laughs> Try- Woody, he knows them. 
Oh, I'll tell it. them. I'll tell them. He knows big tech. <laughs> Just want these guys to know you got another thing coming, bitch. I'm still around. He wasn't around long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that guy was fucking that's cool as hell. You, is why that mom? He, he was like, little, no, that's not mom. That's Bindi Joe Howell. But he You'd see him in, in like long. interviews, and you're like, this is crazy, brother. Like rolling up to this like hardcore like street gangster, uh, like live in the Canadian news. They're like, what do you got to say? He's like, I'm still around, bitch. Like that shit kind of like uh, kind of hit hard back in the day. We it's funny what's like he hard was in come Canada. And... <laughs> <laughs> the Man, they're called is like the this... parking stot kings, and they just steal your spots. <laughs> they, 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 they bully you. They'll come up to you and go, ah, you are overweight. Oh, oh my oh, God. I, I got such a question I want to ask you guys after you do your ad read. Oh, after yeah. The ad reads, and after that ad read, I want to talk about my Super Bowl ad idea. Okay. After your Super Bowl ad jot, idea, jot that I have down in the, the memory book so we know. Okay. It's already it's in the so memory book. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. This episode of PKA is brought to you by, well, not got lock and load first. Lock and load. Mm. Code PKA. Code oh, is shit. the premium, premium cum supplement that is going to help you bust more than you ever imagined. Uh, your partners will love it. Y your friends will love it acquaintances people you don't even know tell them tell them that you're improving yourself in a way go up to people at the bank and tell them you're taking comp lock and load code pk coaches it is it, it actually works if it didn't work we would have saved money and sold a bunch of bullshit tablets in a tiny little container and said take one a day t -he. but no you got to take you got to muscle eight of these down you're gonna have to skip breakfast you're gonna be losing nine. weight too so nine nine yeah <laughs> five in the five morning, in the four, morning at night. four at night almost <laughs> almost made it you know you, you got to take the nine if you want the full impact folks so lock and load check it out code pka code jizz and of course those codes work for every product on Derek's site pre-workouts proteins uh the weight loss supplements whatever you're needing at the moment take advantage of our discount code pka code jizz and also the return the much awaited return of death by gummy bears of death by gummy bears the absolute knock you on your ass gummy bear for all people who want to get truly fucked up. Happy New Year's from Death by Gummy Bears. We're excited to announce that our hardest hitting Delta 8 product is back on the market after a temporary hiatus due to a little government oversight. You've probably been to their site and saw that their products are all out of stock. Well, here's why. And I'm reading this ad as they sent it. The fucking government once again tried to rule by overreach. The big G government just hates seeing us having a little fun. They've got Death by Gummer Bears has gone through a major facelift and rebrand. They are now the real DBG rather than Death by Gummy Bears because there were a lot of copycats when they had to go down because of that overreach that were advertising under their name, buying up properties and convincing people that they're low quality it was actually Death by Gummy Bears. Not the case, folks. Not the case, folks. Don't believe it for a second. To celebrate the new year, or their new website is realdbg.com. That's linked below. Realdbg, like Death by Gummy Bears, .com. To celebrate the new year and rebranding, we are offering a special promotion for 2023. A 23% discount. That's a big discount, folks. For all offers placed for the rest of January, just visit realdbg.com and make sure you enter promo code PKA23 for your 23% discount. Don't miss out. This is a limited time offer. And remember, start with half and don't eat more than one. So the fucking government, guys. We, you guys, <laughs> you guys couldn't use Death by Gummy Bears because... Apparently, the government, the fucking government, see, the fucking government. I love when I got the read from them, I'm like, this is so fucking funny. Like, this is, it's clearly some guy like the fucking government. And someone went in and was like, let's tamp it down a little bit. You know, <laughs> like, We're leaving the fucking in there. But yeah, this is this is ridiculous. They the government, their bullshit overreach. They said, get this. They said, you can't put that many drugs in a little gummy bear. Where? Where? You can't make a mind altering <laughs> substance that tiny with that strong. Where? We're a bitch government. That's our government, folks. The government, <laughs> that's our government, folks. Our government went to death by gummy bears. They told them, believe me. They told them, they said, you cannot get fucked up to this extent. Now, in the America I live, you are free to get as fucked as you want on on online orderable drugs. And the fact that the government would attempt to step in and not only say, you can't do this, but shut it down. It is despicable. 
realdbg.com promo code PKA23. Support another government-hating institution like Death by Gummy Bears. It's great when you can get two wonderful things, hating the government and high as shit all in one. So check out realdbg.com and, and use promo code PKA23. I'm losing my voice. I actually had uh, maybe the, the fucking Woody when I first tried a death by gummy, right? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> now I've had enough of these, honestly, that I've built up a bit of a tolerance. But yeah. but when I first tried my first death by gummy, I ate what I thought was a third of it. Some might argue it was closer to a half, 30, 40 percent of a gummy. And I was fucked up. And I'm like, these are irresponsibly affected <laughs> this is crazy they're so, so you... strong <laughs> 100 milligrams is in this it was it, they're so strong the <laughs> government was like these gummy bears are too strong man and death by gummy bears said fuck you <laughs> and then we were rebranding and selling our strongest gummy bears so, again i don't even take these is wacky show. weed still did that url change it uh, if you're they, new they to this of, shit, yeah, they kind of have a wacky the weeds banners. brand. I'm not wonky sure. weeds. Yeah, wonky oh, weeds. Oh, thank you, thank That's you. Still around. I yeah. appreciate that. Uh, if you're new to it, the wonky weeds is, is is the one for you. If you're a pro, then death by gummies is the one for you. But the yeah. government wasn't totally wrong when they're like, <laughs> bro, are you serious? <laughs> <'Cause> that's what's <laughs> up. It is. It is. I mean, but also, like, come on, the packaging, it has, like, red warnings on it, like, warning, this isn't a snack, idiot, like, <laughs> you will, you'll think that you're, you can vibrate oh, yeah. through walls and, and, like, see through time if you take too many of these. Warning, it high dosage, consume with caution is, like, the primary thing written on here, that and yeah. the dosage, So that's Do not just operate bad heavy idea. equipment or motor vehicle after consumption. Uh, I will before. add, like, people that, like, Woody said, if you're a pro, you can do it. Even if 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 you are a self-described pro, start with half. Just start with half. Still, worst case scenario is you pop the other half and half in like forty-five minutes. Like, you start with half because it's not the same tolerance. I, I haven't said this in a few weeks. It's for people who don't know, like HHC, all Delta, all. It's not the same exact tolerance as weed. So, like mm. my buddy who smokes a shit ton of dabs, weed, oil all the time. He came over to my house and he took two of these when I told him <laughs> when I told him not to. And he literally like after he told me, he was like, I just took two of those things. And I'm like, oh, no, like you're fucking with what me. A right? dumb like, and I, I told him, I'm like, start with one. He's like, I can I smoke a ton of weed. And I was what like, no, idiot. it's not the same, man. He melted into the couch. And he was like, he, he like texted his wife. Right, and he's like, he like the right thing, hey, actually. I'm going to have to hang out at Taylor's for like hours longer. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he Ubered home. <laughs> I had to get his car. The that's next good, day though. I'm proud of that. That's oh, how proud powerful him, the say. destruction of uh, or the, these death by gummy bears are. So start with half. Start with yeah. half. They're very strong. Uh, code PKA23 for 23% off. Is it real DBG.com? The cum pills and the gummy bears? Yes, sir. I, I, our sponsors fit our audience at this point. We, we're really killing it. It's great because I can look over there on the free sponsorship table and it's like, I got all the workout things. I got drugs. Like, that's, oh, yeah, it's great. What else do we need? What else do we? I think we should just find more drug companies. <laughs> uh, sex more, toys. But different drugs. Obviously not weed because you can't, you know, can't cross pollinate there. Sex yeah. toys. Yeah. No, I'm thinking more like if we judged. could get man, if we could get sponsored by like by like diet Pepsi. <laughs> just to, just get a bunch of things he said to my you ass. should sell Woody's ass Coke as a fleshlight zero. mold. I'm not a Coke Zero. Who's, you don't want your fast ass? To... Woody's. Oh, we can sell all of our Each buttholes of you, yeah, as fleshlights. Like, yeah, so people could fuck I... you and come in you. <clears throat> if y'all, I kind of want Taylor's, but not as a fleshlight. I, I need the entire rump. To get the <laughs> the famous upper <laughs> left <laughs> upper right cheek part of it. That's what you get. You like you can That's buy like those like, put your like middle fake asses there. that you can beat yeah, off yeah, with, and, it's and it's just my dent. dented awful ass. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, you'll uh, no one likes it. Yeah, you'll do that if 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 the money were raised, right? Uh, how would we how, take how a do mold? You, how do you take a mold of your butthole? So what we would do is we would contact very, one of very the... carefully. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so you have to be you have to be like fully shaved back there, but but don't worry. There's a there's a lady that does that. It's fun, and uh, and and we would have to get in touch with one of those companies that actually does this, usually for porn stars. Okay. Um, but but I remember one time this was a bit on Howard Stern that went like so many steps that it was like all right. 
it's gonna happen now <laughs> you know and it's like when when the shit at the fan the guy was like no because what they were trying to do was to get um eric the midget who was a uh a midget with like in a wheel a, a, a wheelchair bound midget they were trying to make a full body <laughs> <laughs> i said yeah i put that together they were trying to make a uh like a, a full body like sex doll of him and they had gotten to the point where it's like all right we're gonna pay you this much money this company it was the real doll people this is dave from real doll he's here oh you're gonna go with Dave to the. He, they've like, yes, I. We're going to do this, that, and the other. We're gonna measure you. We're gonna take moldings and castings, and was his and we're gonna brain get... all there, Eric the midget? Yes. Uh, okay, he's, okay. He's he's like, no, no, I will <laughs> not do it because no, he wants to be a serious actor. And through his connections with the show, mm -hmm. I don't remember which ones, but he got on a few like, you know, those like action shows on TNT. I can't think of the names of them, but. I don't know, like, like, like some action here, some like secret agent running around. Like he got in the background of a few shows, maybe Law and Order or something because of his affiliations with the mm -hmm. show. So, and he thought, and because of that, he's like, ah, I'm Eric the actor now. Are you no, you can, I'm a serious actor. You can't make a sex doll of me, but, but, but you know better than that. So, what was the amount of money that you would need, do you think, mm -hmm. to, to, to go through the whole molding process? Let's just say we're going to fly you in to San Diego. Um, we're gonna call it a, a four day weekend. Okay, there'll be a you know you're gonna get molded. Uh, we're gonna need a full rear end. Okay, and I believe the fans would prefer Taylor if you had a vagina and a rectum. You for for the dolls' sake. I we'll, don't have a vagina. We will pick one for you. Actually, well, this they, is barely will, real anymore. Well, it's you, you can mold. Vagina, that's gay. I'm, you can mold my dick. I'm good with like you oh. can pop my dick in a mold. Oh, I see. I'm trying to avoid that because I want to be part of the mold team, and 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 I thought we'd there'd be a lot of imagination. Used I'm only to... doing it if you have to handle the mold of my. <laughs> <laughs> well, publicly, <laughs> you've stumbled right into my plot. <laughs> I have a. <laughs> I like. I like reveal this is a green screen <laughs> i have a, I have a I have, there's like guys back there being molded right now you know it's like fuck he called my bluff <laughs> i don't know the process I mean, honestly, for taking a rectum mold but can you throw in a colonoscopy while you're back there because i'm getting it's, older it's just gonna tear everything out like when you pour molten silver in an ant uh, anthill <laughs> like it's just, you just pull all that right. you what do you used to have just... polyps but now you're fine i oh. mean but actually i would need mm. final right of refusal because i don't know what my butthole looks like and if it's like just an absolute travesty of a butthole and it's very unappealing looking then it would cost more money are you worried I'd, about the anus the, the the exterior part of your butthole or the canal that i'd be fucking oh my god he's clearly I'm worried more, about the ap yeah. exterior appearance yeah, the of exterior his appearance of my butthole because the inside mm. would just be uh, rubber anyway it's not like they're they're like I'm searching up into my to be textured just like you I want it to be ribbed. It would, it would ruin ribbed. the fantasy otherwise. Ribbed. I, I want there to be or, or or like ribs with like little 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 dots along the ribs. You know, when you buy like a Stoya the Destroyer fleshlight, is it the same as her vagina? Stoya yes, inside? they mold her. No, not on the inside. You no, get that... the exterior. Everyone gets the same inside. Well, you, That's you not pick, true. Like... Yes, it is. It has it's a, not though. No, this is a. I'm, I'll, I'll go to the mats on this. When you, the different fleshlights have different insides, but the inside is not based on the person. They're they're one of like three or four options you can choose from, I believe. Yeah, it's just it, like ribbed for for texture and stuff. Like there's okay. Here's here. You probably they didn't like this. fill her up like one of those silver ants. Th this is hilarious. Like, like I don't know if well, you can show this because it's uh, but it's on Amazon. <laughs> it, <laughs> Woody, Alex, well, I want my money back. <laughs> look, look at the photo, Woody. The, the, the in, that is not what the inside of a pussy looks like with all of its geometric. I have and... been lied to. Oh Bye. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> you, that's the actual story of the story. Yeah, if I had known what it looked like exactly, then I would have known that's not. Yeah, that's not <laughs> that she's not an eight bit. <laughs> yeah, and, and getting two of those canals are wasted on me. Yeah, you're I mean, getting like the appearance oh, of her butt. vagina, and the yeah they they take like a, a whole mold of like the outside of her vagina very carefully, and it looks exactly like it like. But that's as far as it, it, the, the 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 reality goes in the mold. So, are, are there people? Do you think that have, or I guess there must be, if they're doing this, who are like about to beat off 
for the evening and they're like, whom I'm going to fuck Stoya instead of Trisha. That yeah. Trisha, that slut. I'm going. No, it like if you spend enough time on Reddit, you'll see like people's collections sometimes of like crazy shit. And sometimes they'll be like, yeah, I got a big pile of toys. It is. Whoa, what is that? How many of those do you have? Oh, um, oh, who buys more than one? Because <laughs> <laughs> they'll have like, they'll have like. How multiple... can it be any different? <laughs> no, I have yeah, exactly. almost have multiple... every Leatherman you can buy. People do that mm. with the flashlights too. They they, they just like collect collectibles. You... Yeah. What is Not the Pokemon thing? You gotta collect you gotta catch them, them all. Them catch, them them catch them all. It'll be yeah. like the whole ad. They'll have like the full like. It's. It looks like you butchered a human, right? Because you've got like a little of their lower back, their whole ass, and I've then like, and then like six or eight inches of thigh, and then just you've got uh, it's that's lopped off too. So you've got it. So it's just, there's no head, no arms. It's just it's just ass and holes. That's what they, <laughs> like like. And the point and the best part is like I can't believe there aren't women's groups who are like, look what they've boiled Dude, us down. It's to. the opposite. I mean, so I, have, I have a minute right. amount of internet expertise on this. There's a subreddit called Chick Flicks, and I think it ends with like three X's, but whatever, you'll find it. And if you're a guy, you are not allowed to post in this thing. You can subscribe, but you are view only in this. And the girls trade their favorite porn videos back and forth. Guys fucking just basically pussies and asses like you know rubber ones are one of their more popular videos girls go bonkers to watch guys fuck that stuff at least these girls mm. do i see i just checked what they have there and the top post of this month is respectful gangbang m m m m m m m f that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the the foof is that hair that you end up on your tongue at the end of the night. You're not sure where it yeah. came from. <laughs> uh, she's a blonde. Oh. How many no. M's were there? Five? Like five, mm. six. Or uh, <laughs> Respectful gangbang. Do you mind if I come on your tits, m'lady? <laughs> like, <what do> you... <laughs> they all have fedoras. Let's see. Let's see how what's respectful about this. Are people wearing top hats? And this is <laughs> this is so far from respectful. <laughs> Dogfart.com. BBC slut <laughs> Vanessa Vega squirts during gangbang. That's <laughs> this is Dude, you got to Taylor. Taylor, after seeing that, do you wonder what her last bang gangbang was like? <laughs> yeah. Like how bad Porn was the star last barely one? escapes with life after Russian <laughs> pulls out knife and demands blood sacrifice. Like what else could Yeah, this isn't respectful. But it does have lead up, which I imagine this is 50 minutes long. <laughs> God. Do women not have jobs? What's happening? No, they don't. Who's, who's beating off for 50 minutes? <laughs> I think what I think when you buy 50 minutes of that video. You're going to like, you're only going to watch it all the way through like once. You know what I mean? Like, like you're going to press play, jerk off, come, and however far you got in, that's where you stop it. At. And next time, oh, I remember where we were. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo had just entered the scene. I remember now. Oh. Caliente. Let's go. <laughs> Eric, the pool boy. We just got introduced to him. I wonder if he's going to oh, come into play fuck. later. <laughs> yeah, Check off of... pool boy. God yeah. damn it, Eric. That's way too much chlorine. I think that's a saltwater pool. Whoa, now look, his dick's hanging out the bottom of his shorts and, and people are noticing. <laughs> oh, the horror. <laughs> respectful porn. Yeah. Respectful gangbang. That's so fun. I skipped through it. That was like indifferentiable. Like if they had titled that like brutal gangbang, you'd be like, yeah, <laughs> sure. Like, <laughs> like it's, Where did it's Harley like, go? Did he, I'll be right back. He wrote. It's like not, yeah, 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 yeah. not like spitting on her face. Harley's, is respectful. Harley's grandmother was a midget. And so when I brought up, when I brought up little people, it was, yeah. it was hurtful for him. And he needed to take a moment to think about that. A little quiet time for him. I noticed a little the time. three of us all talked about the poor off, and the Jewish guy remains totally quiet. He, he didn't just play. didn't want to make us feel bad because of how hard he had it coming up. <laughs> no, there was only two refrigerators in my upstairs kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was an ice box, but that doesn't count. 
<laughs> and I would never steal poor Valor. These are my grandparents. It's not like I inherited like, oh, no water. Oh, <laughs> I know. No, I, know. I, I didn't too. steal that shit. That's one of the <laughs> like, like I, I went to a house one time and I uh, that's how I knew that like these were rich people because they had appliances I'd never heard of. <laughs> they, had, they, had, they had shit I'd never seen. But like, like, I don't know, like one of the things like I saw was um not ne- not exactly how I described it, Turn but it. um um like, like their oven was a double wide double tall oven. it was like what are you a fucking chef like, nah, just, you know why not and the refrigerator was one of those built into the cabinet uh refrigerators that's uh, like like who makes this it like, like what, what model yeah. is this <laughs> like but, you know what i, I mean who makes and, it who's the company i'm thinking of with all the built-in refrigerators they're really expensive train yeah Mm-mm. I don't know. But there were two of those. Nancy Pelosi. But then, <laughs> but then I wanted some ice, and they're like, "No, no, no! The ice box is right over there." And there's like a, you go over on the cabinet, or not the cabinet, but the um, the counter, which was incredibly long. The ca- you could, the counter must have been eight, ten steps long down this long wall where where the double sto- stove was. But you lifted the counter up, and there's just like an ice machine there that makes that nice little tiny, uh, like mm. like uh, ice that everybody loves from restaurants that's just continuously making it underneath the counter you just fucking scoop your glass and i was like why do you have this like 1800 hundred dollar ice machine just for just in case we need some tiny pebble ice yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah these are the kitchen items that impress me oh. when the like burners are not on top of the oven part i don't know my baking things but you know when it's like the oven is built into the cabinet but the cooktop is somewhere else that's impressive to me mm. when the refrigerator is built into the cabinetry and you have to kind of spot the exactly. big doors. Yeah, I'm impressed rich. by that. When instead of a trash can, you have a trash compactor built into the cabinets. Yeah. I like that. I think that, that might be old school rich though. I've I don't never think seen that. Oh, am I out of date on that? I think okay. that, that, that's like the fanciest beeper kind of situation at this point. I think I, I could be wrong because I've, I've just never seen a trash. Yeah, I've never compactor. seen that. Like mm. I remember we had one like in 88, yeah, but <laughs> I'm pulling back the, the 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 memory banks. What well, else? We is had wood paneling and wallpaper too. <laughs> what else is impressive in a kitchen? What, what would make you say like, oh, these this is a good one? Um, oh, I, steel, I like a it. water steamer. Have you seen I, those? The the things that that, that get me would be uh, you got to have a wine cooler because that's just easy. But but I want a centralized stove with the like centralized venting right above it, like it's a oh. like fucking hibachi restaurant, and like there I. You know, you could be like Emerald Lagasse and have like six of your friends sit around you and prepare on that on that top. That thing is cool. I've seen some like YouTube chefs with um, what's it? Something it doesn't matter. I, I've seen some cool situations like that. But again, like like the refrigerator, refrigerator. Oh, that's one of my pet peeves. What? I really don't Did like when people say, "Yeah, I dropped the re." I I uh, that uh, that's upsetting. Is for me. fridge okay? Yes, it's it's perfect. Fridge is my preferred and fridge, refrigerator. Refrigerator is second and. Refrigerator is. Did I say that? I meant to say refrigerator. Oh, I don't know. No, oh. I said refrigerator. Who says refrigerator? Is that a like southern do. thing? Wings uh-huh. says refrigerator, and people like wings say refrigerator. Let's just leave it at that. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> okay. Fat people. Yeah. No. No. Oh. <laughs> people who like need to save a syllable every once in a while they're making so many visits and mentioning yeah you know what I'm well, i use many word when few <laughs> words <laughs> <laughs> people who don't use the r in library that one brand let's go to the to library me. nah i can't my legs hurt call the ambulance yeah <laughs> I, I went to school with a girl who said ambulance and she never got it right no. ambulance <laughs> oh no she said ambulance Oh, so so I'm referencing the video where um the uh, epic guy. beard man fucking KOs that oh, motherfucker yeah. <laughs> over that Stacy Adams spit shine. That's a good. That's a deep reference. I'm laying down for you right now. It's a <laughs> Stacy Adams spit shiny one. How much to shine him, Stacy Adams? <laughs> 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 and dude just kept coming and like this was this guy was just waiting. Right? Then his shirt said, "I'm a motherfucker." His yeah. He was, this muscled up. This is a, this is old school internet. So like the the Gen Z people might not know this. So go back and grab this this of internet old uh, epic beard old, man will help. You epic find beard it. man. <laughs> His shirt says, "I am a motherfucker," and he's he beats the shit out of that man. He like and a six five Vietnam vet. Maybe? They made a Does Danny Trejo right? movie about him. 
Yeah. And then they yeah. made a sequel that's even more ridiculous. Where, where he <laughs> like badass. He, he, it's called badass. And he and, ba and they make it so that he like stops some gang violence on the bus or some shit. But then hmm. he's like, you know what? Maybe I'll just make a thing of this and like start cleaning <laughs> up the whole neighborhood or whatever. <laughs> yeah, with Danny Trejo. I weird. like it when two people get into a fight and they both think that it's obvious they will win it. Like that's mm. I love that. When one guy is a little like, oh, well, I got to save face. That's no fun to watch, you know, yeah. or when one guy's like, well, I always I never back down. So <laughs> I hope for the best. I mean, the, the guy nice. that he beats up on the bus, like remember in the end and he like, beat up guys like sitting there on the bus and his face is bleeding, bleeding, but not in a dripping way in like a constant stream of blood way. Mm -hmm. And like and now like. All the people who were formerly, were there people on the bus yelling like "kick his ass" like about the guy like "kick that old man's ass"? Which like first yes. of all, like get your life together, screaming, encouraging fights on the bus with elderly people, and so it was great to see that piece of shit who was going after an elderly guy get absolutely shit canned. It, it seemed like the people rooting for the younger guy were doing it along race lines because the younger guy was mm. kind of trying to bully the big white old guy. Yeah, well he was, and then the the old guy was like, "Yeah, fuck you, I'm, I'm Vietnam Tom." Apparently, you want based my, on uh, what's his name. Do you want my Super Bowl uh, commercial idea, or do you want um, a, a question about a uh, 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 thing from movies? Both. Both. Which, Super Bowl lead. All right, so here's what I want. This is the new Snickers commercial, all right? You got Michael Richards, Kanye uh. West. <laughs> <laughs> you're not yourself when I you're like hungry. You're uh -huh. not yourself when you're hungry. And Michael Richards is going to forgive Kanye for all that shit he said. And Kanye is going to, but they're going to become each other. They're going to switch. Like, like when they eat the black Snickers, and white face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. They're going to like oh. be there. But Kanye is going to be like being his They'll change clothes. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So no, they'll, just, know, they'll just like switch place. You know, you've seen the commercials. You know, you're not yourself when you're hungry. You eat the Snickers. Yeah, but how Kanye would you acts split? like Michael Richards when he's not having a Snickers, and Michael Richards acts like Kanye when he's not having a Snickers. Yeah, I said the clothes mm -hmm. thing because that's how I know they switch I like bodies. That. You know, like like. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. a very good idea. I like, or you, you could even rip it off even further and just have a literally like start it with a Hitler speech where it's like, I do shine us on the side and hold the seed and hold it, and then like someone walks up and is like, my Führer. Gives him a Snickers and then he bites it and it's like Kanye snaps out of it. <laughs> he's like, what, what was I saying? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all that. You when you're hungry. He gives I've Hitler a Snickers. I've been a certain candy bar. I'm not allowed to say what kind. It has nougat <laughs> and peanuts. It's covered in chocolate. It's I a like Snickers. <laughs> it's a Snickers. It's a Snickers. God, yeah. It's a Snickers. The comedic timing <laughs> of that moment. <laughs> really funny. Uh, I, like, I like what you did there. That was good. Handing, uh, handing Hitler a Snickers. Yeah. And he like after his whole speech, and then he takes a bite, and he's like, oh, my God. Is that what I've been doing to people? I'm horrible. And then he shoots himself in the head in the bunker. And oh. it's like, you're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> That's actually a really good one, too. Man, He's just we like gotta, angry. We got to approach the Mars Corporation. <laughs> we got a good idea. one. We got okay, some like, ideas. This. Picture this 4K Adolf Hitler. Like, <laughs> no, 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 I will it's not. It's a hologram. <laughs> it's a hologram. <laughs> but, no, no, no. You won't even be able to tell the difference. Bring Adolf in. Bring Adolf in. <laughs> Bring Adolf in. <laughs> <laughs> Found some Argentinian who looks shockingly like him. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Dude, that would be the best. Like, the whole Argentinian thing is funny. Um, like, like not funny. It's uh, it's intriguing. I don't buy that. I don't think Hitler is. I don't buy it either, but it's intriguing. And it's fun to like think, you know, the same way it's fun to think like maybe one of those gigantopithecus is not not to the modern day, but maybe live long enough that our ancestors have myths about them that are based on meeting them. Because like if if our like great, 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 great grandfather keep adding them M's like that mm, yeah. <laughs> earlier, um, you know, if he ran into a fucking Bigfoot and they killed them all. Because they were smart and had spears and shit, but it was hard because they were fucking smart and gigantic. They'd have tales of the giant ape men. And, you know, that Native Americans like were like, yeah, we used to talk about the giant ape men, but nobody's seen one for 10,000 years. Those yeah. things lived here 10,000 years ago. Yeah, like they, the were, they were here. They were real. Wait, do we where have we found like some like a good set of bones of one of the those teeth. guys? I think what they do is they go by the teeth and they just like extrapolate from there. 
that's uh, that seems like that seems like if you hard. find like a human molar or like an ape molar that's like you take like an ape's molar and then you take like the gigantopithecus molar and then you can be like oh all right we'll just do a little math here and we'll figure out how big he was right i don't think so because i mean like they 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 pulled that shit for years they just figured out dinosaurs had feathers like 10 years ago was there a brand new discovery like they were they had all that other stuff to extrapolate from and they got it and, wrong, and now they're now they're big birds. Which I personally, I think they should have kept that under wraps. Keep them lizards. Keep them. Let me lizards. ask you this: When did uh, when did science this you know figure out dinosaurs? When when was the word dinosaur used for the first time? When did humans, for the first time in human history, find a dinosaur bone, a fossil, whatever you want to call it, and say, ah, a dinosaur bone, one of those giant lizards that lived millions of years ago? When do you think that was the happened for the first time? It was the mid to late eighteen hundreds, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was those two Wasn't... guys in their bone wars where they like were constantly at war trying to come up with better discoveries. Isn't that one... weird? Yeah, they would they would sabotage each other's discoveries, and then a dude would be like, "There's this great discovery," and then he'd reveal it, and the other guy would be like, "Actually, I faked the whole thing, and look how stupid he is for falling for it." And they thought they were fucking other. dragons and shit. You know, yeah. like, I mean, like what, what else are you, you going to think? Like, it kind of makes sense. You've, you've heard about dragons throughout like cultures from China to you but, know. See, that's the everywhere. weird thing though, like like, of like the bones. Could it, be. But it has to be more than the. It doesn't. Yeah, but they wouldn't arrive on the same thing. I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's weird that all those cultures across the world uh, have dragons. I've seen like some of those creepy YouTube videos with like, why do all of these cultures across the world have depictions of dragons? Bow, 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 bow. And they show you like carvings of dragons real quick. And you're like, oh, dragons are scary. Could <laughs> it be that dragons of lore live on to modern day? Bow, yes. bow, bow. And it's like fuzzy pictures of like Loch Ness, like a shadow. Shadow that might be a, like a uh, the, the the crook of an umbrella and then a branch <laughs> and you're like shit I don't know maybe where would they be maybe in the deepest part and you're like, this is Discovery Channel no <laughs> it's like you I've know the dragons it. wouldn't live in the sea I've seen yeah that's a wyvern that's yes a wyvern. is it wyvern or wyvern I always thought I it was know. wyvern I thought it was wyvern yeah you yeah. guys might be right I, I, I think it's, from in even Canada saying it's the wyvern. joke. In it's, Canada, it's yeah, women, yeah, and they're only half as big. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. there's no partially, <laughs> only, there's no partially hydrogenated <laughs> soybean oil in it. <laughs> no chocolate coating on the no, no on the wyvern. <laughs> on the, on that All those bitch ass old... Canadian wyverns. <laughs> glad they went extinct. No, the only I'm glad they went extinct. <laughs> the only yeah. good thing in uh about good... Canada, as far as I can tell, other than Harley here, um, and maple yeah. syrup. And uh, and and your assistance during Operation Dare Desert Storm. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Did you Super did fun. you know how, how many Canadians were there just getting friendly fired Six. in uh, in an Operation Desert Storm? No, we they, friendly fired. There's them? a lot of them. They like most of the casualties and damage that we sustained were either friendly fire or accidents. We lost several Abrams. I read I I read today because there was a fire, and like the the soldiers got poisoned. Because when an Abrams burns, guess what its armor's made out of, Taylor? Because um, can... hang on, <laughs> snake. Man. Oh, like, what, oh, um, oh, you wish you... I don't know. oh, you wish. Oh, you wish. <laughs> it you wish. Made out of cyanide. <laughs> worse. Well, oh, it's oh, worse oh, oh, than cyanide. I have an idea. Uranium. Our brand new fentanyl <laughs> tank. <laughs> <laughs> Parts of the Abrams because we need to tank that. Our our tank's fucking armor is made out of depleted uranium because it's it, it's so dense. Uh, <laughs> Not and, depleted and, and, enough. <laughs> well, when it burns or when it it breaks, it's it, it you know it poisons the Gulf War, War syndrome. Nobody knows exactly what it's because they they talk about the burn pits, but there's like eight other things that happened there. Um, there were we air struck the chemical plants, so sarin nerve gas was leaked out of, and they, as well as mustard gas. Over ninety five thousand servicemen were exposed. Just from that. And then you keep in mind that they were burning the oil wells the whole time. And that's what does that make? Dioxin. So they're all just getting soaked in dioxin all day. You see uh, in that movie Jarhead, Jesus. Jake Gyllenhaal's covered in the oil and they're all like, yeah, fuck yeah, sip for fire, whatever those people say. Yeah. They're it's being like, no, poisoned. You're, you're they're going to get cancer. slowly being poisoned. Yeah. The other thing was they thought they were, they were under constant fear of being hit by chemical weapons because George Bush had really pumped that yeah. up. This is, this is OG. Desert Storm for the for the Gen Z guys. This is the mm -hmm. first one. This is you you, you live through part two maybe. <laughs> and he, so they were 
there were reports of like dead goats and livestock, and this stoked the fears among U.S. and Canadian and uh, you know Allied servicemen, we'll call them, that not only was nerve gas being used, going to be used, but it was under current use. Like we're in nerve gas now. It could be drifting on to us now, now, now. Five minutes from now, five five minutes ago, we don't know. So they're uh, they're they're anti nerve gas pills. You can take them for like three days. And then you have to stop for a day and then you can start back again. And there's a very specific dose because this isn't a, like a, like a multivitamin it's to keep nerve gas from killing you. So, you know, if it has some other side effects, that's okay. Cause nerve gas was the alternative. Yeah. Well, these guys are so afraid they're taking them constantly overdosing constantly. And it was a common thing, not just mm. the Ted and Jim, yeah. the whole unit everywhere where they're like, guys, it's coming. It's coming. Look at the goats. They're all dead when, I don't know, maybe the goats just got shot or didn't get fed for a while or whatever. Meanwhile, they're all like poisoning themselves with that. You know, yeah. Nobody knows what causes Gulf War syndrome. Yeah, well, it's got to be one of those things. Well, all, probably all those things, right? Uh, I, 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 I saw that the side effects of um, overdosing on that anti-nerve uh, agent is pretty much analogous to Gulf War syndrome. So you, you might nail that down. But then again, there's the burn pits where they were burning all sorts of like nasty hazardous things and then so the ammunition as well and those in friendly fire incidents you got to keep in mind if like a bradley opened up on i don't know a canadian tank or whatever happened that shit happened occasionally the ammo that's splattering it's depleted uranium too <laughs> like, <laughs> like we spare no expense we're we're so far ahead of the whole you know defense budget spending thing we shoot we shoot bullets that that the other countries can't afford like, like like they wouldn't know what to do with them in some situations right like like even yeah. those things those uh the, that rocket artillery that we're giving ukraine it's like 75 grand a shot each shell boom 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 because they hit within three meters of whatever the fuck they want like 20 kilometers away or something and they and it's not just one big boom oh we made a big hole in the ground and killed anything near it it like air bursts with like uh, tungsten carbide projectiles that are all like shotgun pellets, but they're moving so fast, Taylor. God, Not that's like, like mean spirited. Not like a gun. <laughs> like like they're moving hyper speeds, so they're cutting through. Not tanks. slow like a gun. No, no, I mean, exactly, exactly. We're, we're talking about He's maybe right, 10,000 feet per second, maybe 20,000 oh feet per second. I don't know. Like, like, like we're bordering upon turning science into pure energy. Bro, science has gone too far. God, I got vaccinated thing. five times and I still got COVID. You know what the, <laughs> la the last well. tremendous thing that science did? Okay, well, actually, okay, ZBO is pretty good. Diet Pepsi. It's going to be aspartame as a whole. The artificial sweetener aspartame. They've come up with 15 different Cheers, artificial bro. sweeteners. Cheers. I need to grab Even another though I'm one. Using I'm, a zero, I'm using a zero mod, so it's You're not aspartame. I think it's. I think zero means that it's stevia-based. Diets are aspartame, and I think zero oh, sodas does are stevia. I didn't even know. I didn't know. Because I, I get why that Coke kind zero, of diet root beers. Coke zero tastes different. Yeah, so I have diet root beer. And I, I have that in the fridge right now. I yeah. like the zero sugars. But this is a zero sugar one. I actually like diet root beer better than zero sugar A and W. They're they are different, yeah. but I, I like Coke Zero better than Diet Coke these days. I I did not know that about the stevia thing, but I guess you know it makes crazy? sense why you're I like you're a Pepsi guy, more. right? I like Diet Pepsi, yeah. I did sure. the uh uh Pepsi challenge on this other uh podcast, uh binge eater podcast, my podcast. You guys should come on sometime. Please Happy too. Um and I did the Pepsi challenge. Have you ever done that? I've never tried it, but no, I, I, I think I could get think, it. Right? Don't you think you would do it? Yeah, because Coke I has more I flavors of which. vanilla and Pepsi has more flavors of citrus. Yeah, I lost. I Wait, guess wrong. How do you lose the Pepsi challenge? Well, the Pepsi challenge is just supposed to be like that you don't I care. But I, just, I was trying to guess. <laughs> I drank two unlabeled sodas, a, a Coke and a Pepsi, and I guessed them wrong. And I thought never in a million years would I guess those two wrong. Were they in a cup? That's because I, I would think. want, I'd want. They were both in a blind, glass. I'd want to be blindfolded, and I would have to open the can. I need, I need to taste. No, because you're like, the, I feel like you pick up the can, and you're like, this is a Pepsi. You okay, well then the they way. can. You're like, that's a Pepsi. I have to hear them. <laughs> you know, they can go like that for me, but it has to be freshly opened. I could tell. I know I could. I could win the Pepsi and the Coke challenge. I was just a, humbled. I was humbled by it, by the maybe. whole experience. 
I don't really buy Coke. Whoa, oh, hey. a vanilla oh. Coke Zero. A Kyle, new challenger great, arises. So Kyle, does the back I... of that say that the, uh, it has stevia or aspartame? For the zero. And what was it called? Diet or zero? Is that a zero? zero. zero. So Harley says not... it'll be stevia. I thought they were all aspartame. We'll put it to the test. It's aspartame. Two. The good one, yeah. The, I'm the a creme liar. De la creme. Not on purpose, though. Doesn't it count. also contains phenylalanine. Phenylalanine. And yeah, that, that always but is there. It's like, like contains a or something. Phenylalanine, and it's like yeah. the fact you're telling me that on every can of soda I drink, and I drink fucking uh, nine of these a day, ten of these a day, like that can't be a good amount of phenylalanine to be eating, right? <laughs> what, what is the FDA recommended amount of phenylalanine? Yeah, they don't soda. recommend replacing all of your liquid with it. <laughs> Aside from this like is all two I of drink. these of water a day. Really? And like protein. I and you, have you ever had a kidney <laughs> oh, stone? Saw. That's a thing they say. Never. I that's either. a lie. So anybody does will it, tell you that does it make you hungry? Should... That's a thing they say. I mean, I. how would I... How would I know? It's yeah, all it's hard to do A-B tests. Yeah, yeah. Are your people more hungry because you live on the mountain? No, we are hungry because we work hard. Like, I don't know why I get, you know what I mean? Like, like how am I going to connect yeah. that one? Um, I'll say this. It's all I drink. It's all mm. I've been drinking for years. Um, the Whenever, um, if you see me with a water bottle, it's not even water most of the time. It's unsweet tea. Like, mm. I, I'm drinking just like, I would go to, uh, I still do. I go to Publix, and they, they have... Uh, a gallon of unsweet tea for like a dollar or something. And I just fill that fucking, uh, you know, thermos up with it and put some artificial sweetener and in, in like a half a lemon. And I go through so many of those a day, but I drink at least a 12 pack of this a day. Every single day, this and coffee is all I drink. And no, never had a kidney stone. And I've been drinking soda like that my entire life. Uh, I've never really drank sugar soda, but like in my household, uh, it's probably the most white trash thing about us. We drank nothing but Diet Pepsi. Wa what we didn't drink you, a lot. We didn't have well too. water. My house, my mom's house too. Same what if I'm you glad had you, I'm glad a few you said kidney that. stones and you just have a fucking awesome urethra that passes them without trouble? I mean, I get bloody peas like on Thursdays, but I thought that was just because of all the coffee and the yeah, we all pee this. blood normally. Yeah, um, you know, I, I. I it's just like you get that sleep, you know, in the corner of your eyes. You know, we all get that from our penises, of course, too, all day, every day. Um, so just, just a float. What if I was just peeing like grains of rice my entire life and I just thought that was normal, like crystals? You might want some penicillin. <laughs> so, yeah, look, I'm not recommending the fucking uh, Coke Zero lifestyle per se, but <laughs> it's all I drink. And, and, and anybody who said either I have some special ability to not get kidney stones, mm -hmm. which seems silly. Or soda has nothing to do with kidney stones. You're going to get them if you're genetically predisposed to them. The same way you're going to go bald or you're going to get fat, probably. Like some people, like like calories in, calories at, out. But sometimes you can look at a lady's mother and, and figure out, you know, sometimes you can, you know, the writing's on the wall, genetically speaking, as far as some things go. Not always. And you can will your way out of anything. Uh, what, who's the, the, the super athlete, the endurance athlete? Goggins, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, the black guy, David Goggins. David Goggins, thank you. You think he's a super seen, athlete? Seen... I always thought of him as the mentally ill person. Thank <laughs> you. Sure, sure. He kind of is. You see his feet? Have you seen his feet? No, I don't oh, think no. I have. Zach, Can... Zach, please pull up. You can probably show the like video. It's like his social media, you know what I mean? Like, like, but nobody... they're all, they might I be all can, fucked yeah. up, right? Zach, can yeah. you see David Goggins' feet? They this are the guy that's like, I wake up at 4 a.m. and I run in the rain. And if it's <laughs> snowing even better, <laughs> he's be like, some of y'all was freaking out. Some of y'all's freaking out because you saw my wife, my feet on my wife's TikTok. <laughs> Making fun of Dave's feet. <laughs> you, you, your feet don't look like this, huh? These man's feet. These man's like, like or whatever, like way of defending Good the fact gosh. that he he only has three toenails <laughs> to his name or whatever. Like, <laughs> those like, toenails those are things. not right. Look at those. Where all right? So you've probably gotten that. I love before. how you didn't like the tongue, but this you're like zoom in, enhance that image. <laughs> well, I, I, I so here's what's interesting to me. I, I like kind of analyzing this and sort of sort of deducing what's caused this to happen. And I think it's clear. Like we've probably all gotten that blister on the inside of our big toe there when we've been like hiking too much or run, like that is a wear spot. Like you put weight there when you're trying to keep it off the other side too. And like you can see, he's just built up armor there. 
and, and like on his other toe, he's like, yeah, the toenail fell off and it won't even go back anymore because I'm harder that way. And the other toenail is like, you know what? My toe's so fucking hard that I'm hanging in there because I'm hard as I'm harder than my fucking toe is. Your toe's the bitch toe. And he just I'm turning black. That's how like, hard I am. Like, like, <laughs> I, I look at the same thing. So all right, take the his left foot, which is to the right of the picture. You oh. see the two toes that kind of are damaged on the yeah. fronts. Okay. Um my I think that when you run, maybe he's like like you know the the foot comes down and gets that forward pressure and it's smacking the t- the toe of his shoe. Yeah. That's what I think that is from. The top of his toes though baffles me. Is he crawling it, a lot? Can I is interject? He kicking? Yes. I think what it is I know he's had several itch- Zach says he hasn't grown toenails, but that's a product of what he does to them and and poor maintenance. You can get those taken care of. You go to a, um a pedicure person. Oh. Uh, but a manicure's um <clears throat> He has has ran on broken feet before and just mm-hmm. bound them tightly, and so they've healed in funny ways from breaks, and and not just the standard breaks that we probably all three of us have a broken toe. We just don't realize it because when you break a toe, if you've ever stubbed your toe going around a corner, your pinky, and it hurts so goddamn bad, you almost teared up as a grown man. You probably just broke your toe, and it's gonna heal up and it'll be all right. I've broken my toes. They I dropped look a weird. bowling ball on my toe once. Nothing you can do Oof. for a broken toe. You just like broken, maybe put one of them places. stupid splints yeah, on he it. He like and... pulverized his by dropping a bowling ball, though. I feel like that's Oof. different than, than like hitting. I've stubbed my toe. I must have broke the same toe like three times in one week before mm-hmm. even. Yeah, Ouch. that guy's had his. But you can see he's had broken feet and he's bound them up and then ran 50 miles on them or something. He might have a toenail that we're not giving him credit for. Zach, can you bring it back? Oh, he so... has like the base of it a little bit. Yeah, I. I it's thought weird. I saw an entire toenail on his big toe that I originally well, the, thought was gone. The black one has no. toenail for sure. The black part is, Ooh. but I thought the others like that blackness is toenail. That's like dead blood under there. Like the one so on the right, I'm that's a toenail. At, I'm looking at the left. So that is damaged, but in front of it is an intact toenail, right? No, no. Oh, you think that smooth pink thing in the front is toenail? <laughs> I'm not putting money on it. No, but that's no, what I know. That's what the tip of his toe just looks like now. Can that's you pink. enhance and zoom, Zach? I, I want to. No, see I think that's where a nail used to be. Now, now, now scroll down. Thank oh, you. Oh, this. look at that CSI style, baby. That ain't nail. Now rub your cursor where we're talking about, Zach. It's on that pink part. On the no, 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 no. Lower, lower, lower. That's the culprit. That is not nail. I now agree with you because he has it on the other side. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's just a polished nub on the front of his toe. Oh. Yeah. You don't think that was the old nail location? Like that skin Mm -hmm. still exists and it's ripped and still a... Mm -mm. The nail ends before (laughs) then. Um, That's a man there. He's done some crazy shit. He had the... For a while, he had the chin-up contest, uh, world record, or maybe pull-up, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it does, but he had one of them. And then uh, that, that kid beat him. Uh, and he's, then all of those crazy running uh, feet cities. And then he was a Navy SEAL, and he used to be morbidly obese. Like, like there's so many wild things about that dude. David Coggins, what are you running from? I mean, there's something wrong with you. This level of activity. It's because he was fat, and he went to the to the Navy SEALs, and they turned him away for not passing the physical. So he like went crazy over it, and was like, "How did I fail the physical?" And he, you like, know, what he'd say. I'm not running from anything. It's running from me. And I, <laughs> I got to go. I mean, there, there's something wrong. <laughs> I, I guess maybe there's something wrong with a lot of great people, right? Jeff Bezos, why do you need more money? Why are you still oh. working? What are you doing? You know, Elon Musk, why do you need more money? What do you He's answered that. He wants he wants to go to he wants to, you know, make us okay. a two planet species. Well, maybe he's answered that. Uh eyed David Goggins what you're not just keeping in shape you're not trying to remain fuckable david goggins you're not even like as far as i know competing in anything that it, like people are watching the man's married and he's like a you know social media influencer type star i'm sure he's making tons of money by uh, you know, staying I, relevant by physical feeding his way through the world i Motivated. i don't even get it i don't like why aren't you like Sitting on a park bench telling people about the things that you've already done. That's what you should be doing, David Coggins. That's my advice. He's demonstrating his exceptionalism (laughs) to inspire those who need it. 
You, you have to see he's sick, though, right? Yeah, you have to see that. When you have a broken foot and you run 100 miles on your broken foot, you're sick. You're not finishing your hockey game. You know, you're, you're, this is something different than that. The, I, he's sick. No, he's, you, you're sick. And take a <laughs> cure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a little tip with his gamer tag. Start running. David Goggins, David up too heavy to run. <laughs> if you saw him on social media and he was just like, I'm coming for you right now. I'll give you a little head start. Let you know. I'm coming from Connecticut. <laughs> I'm coming. And he meant it. He was like, <laughs> I'm heading your way right now with what I got on. He starts running. He's on live stream and you know he means it. He happens and to like, have flip flops on. And it's funny at first, <laughs> but the next day he's in like Delaware or whatever's below <laughs> Connecticut. And he's like, <laughs> and, yeah, you're right. like, and you're counting the Eastern Seaboard right. up if you can. Certainly he's in Virginia, and it's like, would honey, we got to go to Georgia. <laughs> would, you live, <laughs> would you live the rest of your life? You get ten million dollars, but wherever David Goggins is right now, he's starting to run to you. And if he touches <laughs> you, you and your family die. Wait, wait, but he can only, only run. run. He can only oh, run. So if easy. you go to the other ocean, he, the other side of the ocean, he's going to run from the ocean. He's going to start oh, running won. along the ocean floor. Yeah, I know he can has that can ability. I, can I tag him? He, he, he was a Navy SEAL. Of course he, he can, can go under yeah, the ocean. Yeah, see, see, no, land, is no he air gonna, You Carly, think the Atlantic Ocean tagged? could stop David fucking? Is he what? Is he tagged? Like, do you know where he is? No, you don't know where he is. That's the thing. He's starting right now. You don't know where oh, he that's is. that's a big problem. I need to know where he is. I need to know. Where no, he is. no, you, you're going to assume that he's not in Australia, probably strategically go to Australia and like literally wait like a month and a half and hope that he's not that fast. You How motivated I is he? I got this one. Me. I got this one. The most right. motivated he's ever been in his life. How much, will he, will will he kick money? my door down? <laughs> How much money? He said 10 million. Okay. Will he need to stop and rest and eat and such? Or is he, or is it just it? Or is it essentially a kill bot with the foot speed of David Goggins? <laughs> it's David Goggins. It's David it has Goggins. To be the mortal man. No, he, it's he the is, man, David Goggins. Yeah, but he's in kill bot mode. So, okay. like, he doesn't really need to eat that much or drink that much. He sleeps four hours a day. I need yeah, to know and, how much he sleeps. Well, that's Not, the thing. Less than you. We don't even know how much he sleeps right now. Yeah, less than you. Yeah. Yeah, less than Shit, all of the us. Same as he does now. David four Goggins hours. hates Takes sleep. A little nap. <laughs> he hates yeah. another pisses David Goggins off like a nap. Uh, <laughs> I could be running. Right. <laughs> oh, like he can I, look like anyone. I, I think oh, I was that's joking. Oh, oh, well, that's too crazy. On. I'm joking about that. Part. <laughs> all, right, all right. So here's how you beat David Goggins. All right. He's got so, him. <laughs> Groucho Marx. Now he's just a thing. <laughs> just a, would you survive yeah. the thing? The answer Fake is no. <laughs> so here's how you, you beat, Here's how you beat scary, you know, infinite running David Goggins, who sleeps three hours a day and never. That's sleeps. just get David Goggins, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, David Goggins, but sub uh, aquatic David Goggins. He with gills. He's Kevin Costner from Waterworld, but David Goggins. He has the boat, and he's coming. Okay, I think that that cool. Is a trimaran? Is that what you I call think it? That? Is. Yeah. Yeah, it's badass. Um, watch that world, water world. Um, I think that you need to get somewhere where you can see for like miles. Like you need to be able to see for like the horizon, and you got to stake out there and wait until David Goggins gets there. You want to pick somewhere yeah. Central America, like wherever you think he is. You want to get as close to that as possible. What is he allergic to? It what doesn't has matter. Most of that, because what you've got to nail down is. Where Sleep. is David Goggins? We got to find him. And once we see mm -hmm. him coming, we can be like, oh, shit, he's here. Obviously, we can get in the car now and drive to the airport. That's dangerous, bro. He has no. eyes on you. That's dangerous. We got to be on a tower with fucking lookouts. We got a team, right? We got thermal imaging. We got we got to be serious about this. Maybe we're in the middle of a lake. It's true. No, you can hide. So you have $10 million. Dollars. You can you can't yeah. start loaning from your 10 we, million. Yeah. You know, you hire five guys, you know, 24 hours a day. Like they got you. They'll spot them coming a mile away. If you pick the right spot, go to the salt flats, right? You know, something like that. And uh, so now we got him nailed down. So now we just go to the airport, fly to fucking Europe. And we got a timer, right? We can do the math. Like, like mm -hmm. oh, we don't know how much he sleeps. All right. Well, let's just assume zero sleep. Multiply David speed, David Goggins speed by, you know, the distance. Do a little math. We're like, all right. You're Dude, going like got... intellectual, like you're on the helicopter, like hovering over him while he's chasing the helicopter. And you're you're timing his steps to see how yeah. long it would take him to get to Australia. Should you? Go well, there. I know well, that he look his he top to speed. Can't, his top speed is no more than twenty two miles per hour. If he's sprinting it at, at like Olympic sprinter speeds, he's around 
low 25 or something. If he's oh. in sprinting distance, you're fucked. Like there's no, you have to get out We're of calculating sprinting. how much time we have. If we go to Amsterdam and have, if a he cool sees you, no, if he I, sees I like you, he's going to turn on some, some juice here. I feel like that's very scary. Oh, If, if he gets like, if, if you're on pavement and you turn around and he know, and you're just both on pavement and he's, half a mile behind you and he uses his navy seal eyes to discern it's you from the shadows <laughs> of the heat refracting off the hot sidewalk here's one. he's gonna here's catch one. you would you take the 10 million dollars but elon musk now wants to ruin your life no no he yeah. Fuck yes that, i would dude, that, he'd, he'd have you killed or something he could ruin my life with a tweet he just yeah but it. that's like he, he, will, he will not break life. a single law he will no, not no, break that, a single that's law. not ruining my life. He kills me. That's like releasing me from my he life. He won't it's break different. a single yeah. law. And now you can he haunt him. Yeah. Uh, no, law. I would do that. I think he. Uh, I think he would um, make if me he look kill me, good. Then yes, I'll do it. Here's what he would do. Here's what he would do. What like, you get your ten million dollars, right? Name where are you going to live after that? In my away. house, my mom's house. Uh, okay. Next door to Elon guess, Musk. Keep uh, guess, keep your enemies close. Guess what? Guess what? Your neighbors are they're all your neighbors' houses. Guess who owns them now? Elon Musk owns your Me, whole neighborhood no. now. You know, you know what the new homeowners association rules are like here? A lot oh. of sirens all you the time. You know what like happens? You, after three, <laughs> after, you know what happens after three infractions of the homeowners association? You get, we can foreclose on your home if you're a member yeah, of the punish, homeowners association. Punishment now by take, caning. <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon Musk will have your mom's house in a in, in, in a fortnight, right? He wouldn't. Yeah. He'll have every house around it, but not my mom. No, I just I just laid out how he takes your house. Yeah, you're gonna no, but that's not, that's, that's not plausible. That's not really? plausible. That's not really absolutely plausible. It's, it, you can I'm, absolutely I'm, do it. I think your mom's mailbox is out of compliance. Yep, right. It doesn't up. matter. Three infractions. He makes that's not how it school. works, bud. Dude, all he not has to do works. He, he just no, needs to doesn't. hire hire a David Goggins level seal. He, to he sneak would into your to. house and put child no pornography crimes. on your computer. No, crime. no crimes. Yeah, he would have He's to. He's not committing the crime. Change. David Goggins. It, he would have it, to change all the rules here. That's a crime. That's conspiracy here. to child por pornograph somebody. He has <laughs> to change all the rules. He has to change all the rules. And I'll tell you, my mom. My mom is not only going to not break yeah. any of the homeowners association rules. The mailbox would never be out of compliance. My mom is not like me at all. She'll keep her shit in order. <laughs> She's a, and like a I, I actually but, think but, that but you creates more. From. You 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 gave an example that would create more problems for Elon Musk. He has to no, sit no, down no. at homeowners board meetings. He doesn't do any of this. My mom. No 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 no. He doesn't. No. He hires a guy. With this one. He, what what Elon Musk do, does is he he, he hires a. You think very he's got? Motivated, you think he's got money he to hires, spend on things like this, right? Yes, I absolutely do. He's, he's <laughs> no, still like he the third richest man on the planet. No, so I don't. I don't he think hires, he's quite. I don't think he's rich like Jeff Bezos is rich. By the way, like not even on the same level. This is this is you are comparing you are comparing like an extremely liquid man with a guy who is not quite as liquid no, as I'm, you would think. I, I agree with you in that like owning Amazon is in no only a retard would be like you can have Tesla or Amazon and be the owner. Which this. one do you want? Like no one let would me, pick Tesla. But, but here's the here's the important question. How much money will it require for Elon to begin ruining your life? Do you think? Just guess. How much is he going to have to give? How money much will he? How much? How much liquid money will he need to pull if together? Smart, if you're smart, if you're smart, fund. If you're smart, like a thousand dollars. If you're yeah. smart, I'm so, sure. So that's someone, what I'm saying. So ruin Elon your life Musk, with a thousand? No, no, no. no well, no, I'm just saying. I'm sure if you're clever enough for a thousand bucks, you might Musk. be able to do some moves. I'm just no, no, saying, no. Elon Musk. The reason why he's a bad choice, uh, as opposed to if you chose someone else. Who has a lot of money, but it's not Elon Musk. Elon Musk will be benefiting you quite a bit if you are his number one target. He's you not make gonna it... promote you. He knows better than that. He's not. Oh gonna... wait, so people will think I'm crazy. I'm like, it's Elon Musk is fucking yeah. my life. Oh, <laughs> he, he would. He would actually start and then he's gang stalking my phone. you. He's like, it is me, bitch. Yeah, he would, he would, he's, <laughs> he's not gonna come you. out and, and twiddle his mustache. And, and no. again, like like the. He okay, I thought he was like, I thought everyone was aware that Elon no, Musk no, hates No, no, you're, you're not you. on Twitter. Uh, yeah, he's not, okay. He comes to you, mano a mano, and he goes, hey, big boy. That's different. I, I was no like thinking what of how takes. I could benefit. I, I was thinking of how I could no. benefit from being his nemesis. No. no. But but now I, his nemesis, he's but now I understand. Gonna, okay, now I, I, might be, gonna, I might be changing my answer then. Yeah, he's I not going to be your foil or anything. He's going to, and he doesn't need to be liquid to ruin you. He His fund could be $3 million. 
do you know what you can do with three million dollars? You can hire a yeah. small art. You can You're invade right. a fucking country with three million dollars. Yeah. You can hire you, a fucking not, not successfully. Yes. <laughs> you could you, just hack. You could just pay a hacker to like to be get really all my soft country. cock pictures on my phone and How about put them those on people my that Twitter don't Christians come. You have Where? soft peak pictures of your penis Where on your they? phone. Long story, but yeah. What? <laughs> what did you say? Just get hard ones. <laughs> Get yeah. <laughs> just do that why yeah, don't keep those time see, bombs where you have to go i was no, trying to look at something on the underside but i yeah, would rather yeah, so, here's, here's the thing <laughs> elon musk is so powerful i would rather literally have a gypsy curse than have him motivated <laughs> to destroy me and because he and i mean motivated in a you haven't seen drag thing. me to hell though I have seen drag me. Have seen that. Didn't my, that fucking if suck my as a gypsy curse? If it's my everlasting ever seen soul thinner? that's at stake. Thinner. That's a curse that would be that at one awesome point. for the first I wanted six that weeks. at one point. I was like, I'll beat yeah. the curse. I'll be there eating yeah. before the curse can get me. That's such a like, shitty movie. <laughs> it was. It was a much better it's in my like mind in the, as a kid. Yeah. It always it's is when you think good. back to it. And then you've rem- it's kind of like Apocalypse Now. But then you get for, through the first half and you're like, oh, shit, there's oh 52 more minutes oh no <laughs> i've never the seen good stuff's already you know, over i had the first I, half at camp lejeune or wherever the fuck marines go is is good um camp charlotteville whatever y'all do um and uh and but, but then they go to vietnam and it's like oh shit it's stanley kubrick's vietnam which is like depressing even when they win the big battle at the end and they get the sniper the sniper's a, a teenage girl who's like fighting for her homeland, right? She's mm-hmm. a little girl dying and like coughing up blood in her last oh. moments. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got her. The one that killed Big Bob and Little Mike or whatever. And it's like, yeah, it was just a little girl like hiding. Yeah, it was just someone fighting. with a with a rifle trying to, you know, fight back. New, yeah, that's pretty it, fucked up. Have uh, you, uh, it reminds me of that movie, uh, or I, doesn't, doesn't, what you're saying reminds me of it because I haven't seen Apocalypse now. Uh, Full Metal Jacket. Oh, no, 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 not, not, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm Oh, you're sorry. saying Full Metal I'm Jacket. Full it, it sounded so much like this happened and I was yeah. wrong. I was Okay, like, so I have seen sure. Full Metal Jacket and there is no movie that in the first half I'm like I'm like when they're at boot camp and everything, I'm so invested, I'm so in, I'm rocking and rolling. It's awesome. It's the amazing. second they go to Vietnam, that movie turns into a dog turd. It's boring I turn it off. shit. I I I remember watching that movie the first time and like well, getting fast three quarters of the blasted. way through and being like what happened? We were we were ro- we were rolling, and now we're doing nothing in Vietnam, and it sucks. And I don't care. They set the yeah. anchor point of what were going to be the concerns early, and then they daddled on, you know, dilly dallied on that too long, and it made it so I was no longer invested in the other plot points that I was supposed to be invested and, and in look, that point in the film. And look, they, I, I've watched some YouTube videos about what Stanley Cooper was going for there, and all the symbolism that's yeah. present. Hmm, I'm going to make a half- shitty movie in this. <laughs> 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 but but what I wanted, especially when I was younger, when I got there, I was like, all right fucking joker and the boys are like i don't remember the the what they said but they're like fire hardened and battle ready or whatever the fuck they said like man born again or whatever mm-hmm. they said and it's like fuck yeah we're gonna go to vietnam and fuck some nips up and get some 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 goop blood on us or whatever they were gonna do yeah. and they get there and it's like all the asian get, words yeah all of them nips and zips and and, and they <laughs> they get over there and it's like man this there's no glory to be found here it's just like gruesome and like i remember right away the the one guy's like posing with the dead um Viet Cong, and it's like oh so off-putting and like there's oh, no glory to yeah. be had even the guy you know the, there's the the guy shooting the the civilians out the the the, mm-hmm. the, the side which one guy is this M60. we're talking about now where are we good it's a um Full metal jacket. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what we've been talking about the whole You're time. You're talking about the second half. Before. The trash. Yeah, the act. second half in Vietnam. He's he's shooting the M60 out the window, and it's women and children in, a, in like the rice paddy fields, just farming. And and the guy, and, and he's like, get some, get some. And, and the guy's like, y- you kill women and children? How can you kill? He goes, sometimes. How can you shoot women and children? They're yelling because they're in a chopper. Yeah. He's like, Da, 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 da. It's easy. You just don't lead him so much. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fuck. And that's like his introduction to he's like flying in, right? Yeah. Like like to the shit. And and it's just like one depressing thing after another. Stanley Cooper wants to completely deflate any idea you had that Vietnam was some heroic cowboy riding in to to serve some justice up to the bad guys. It's like, no, or he's hell like and- fortunate son yeah. wasn't even played once. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. Once. Yeah. What that's a, a real downer. Uh, Ap- Apocalypse now, on the other hand, 
Yes. The is that worth behind- watching? I have not seen it. Apocalypse yeah. Now is what's funny about Apocalypse Now as a movie is like that's a movie where they got Marlon Brando to be in it to be like the main bad guy. And he was like, uh, OK, but I'm not wearing pants the whole time. And they're like, OK, we'll shoot him from the waist up. And he's like, yeah. And uh, you can't light me. And they're like, what? He's like, I have to be in the dark. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he, he so is he, like, he's always the- sitting. Yeah, he's he's not lit up. He's in the dark. So. So is the pants thing like an old like so tale or is that and really- he was like really bad at knowing his lines in other movies so like in godfather and stuff he like looks around as he talks but everywhere he's looking there's copies of his lines pasted behind the camera so he's actually <laughs> so, looking at his lines because so he's not remembering true. them all that's true um so uh, a little a little addendum though on the um on apocalypse now the reason that he's in the shadows and dark oh yeah, yeah. His face. <laughs> taylor the man showed up 50 or 60 pounds overweight. I think it was more like, egregious. I think it was like I think over it 100. Was, I think it was like 100, 150. They, they wanted like, it was supposed to be this handsome young actor and they he was like the biggest, fattest part. monster. So his character, so here's the here's the premise of Apocalypse Now. It's a really good premise. Um, mm-hmm. Martin Sheen um, is is a is a lieutenant or something like that and 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 uh, he's he's been in Nam for a while. He's been the shit. He's battle-hardened. And his superiors are call him into a meeting, and the meeting has uh, a lot of like A list actors later. Yeah, on. I'm looking you'll, right you'll, now. You'll, this is stacked. Lawrence, yeah, a great Martin movie. You're Sheen, actually lucky. Dennis, Dennis, so I'm going to rewatch and, this movie. And, and and they want they hire they tell him in this meeting like this top secret meeting. We want you to go into the shit. This this colonel, he's one off the reservation. He's over in Cambodia. He's doing. He's working with some kind of crazy stuff. He's not obeying orders. He's killing this. He's killing that. He's not he's not listening to reason. And he's like, so you want me to go in and get him, bring him back to you, bring him to the real world, something like that. He's like, no, we want him gone, eliminated. You want they want him to kill him. They're sending him on a seek and destroy mission against Mm -hmm. their own colonel. And so he has to go on this Lord of the Rings esque journey, sort of like because he's like off the grid. Right. He's not regular army. He's not anything. He's a he's a man being sent by the CIA and maybe the mm-hmm. Marine Corps to go take out a colonel. So he's he's like sometimes he's with like the those guys on the boats, you know, that do the 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 river patrol. And then like then he's in they're, they're like one of those shows where the Playboy bunnies came and like put on a show for the soldiers. And like he's making his way through country to get to the colonel. And the colonel, again, is supposed to have been off the reservation badass colonel now he's got like his own cambodian hit squad and he's been living in the jungle on fucking rice beans and fucking hate for the communist party and you get there and my man has put on some mass <laughs> they light him the bad kind right <laughs> they light him with flickering candlelight and he's sweating profusely so much so that they must have been dousing him with water or it's the sweat of a very morbidly obese man yeah. in actual cambodia i think or Vietnam, wherever the fuck they were, they went. Yeah, so it's humid and as shit. It's, it's Southeast Asia. It's pouring off of him when he delivers his lines, but it's still, he's such a good fucking actor. It he kills. It, I can I remember the the horror, the horror. It's so good. Uh, you know it what he used also, to do? Also, oh, it's like three quick, hours he, long. He used to show up on set. There's three different versions. He would show up on set, and his first take, he would uh, purposefully not act that well and if the director was like okay and they were too intimidated to tell him what the fuck he gave that level of shitty acting the rest of the movie but the first day if he did his take and you were like what no can you're gonna have to do better than that he would be like a real director i'm gonna work for you and then he would give 120 percent marlon brando i knew it was gonna be have y'all ever seen the island of Dr. Moreau. I was just going to link no. a picture. What is of All right. Him. All right. I've Thank seen you. a Simpsons episode. Have about. any of you ever read? <laughs> I love that we went down read this novel? hole together. I wonder if we were going down this hole at the exact same time. You and I, wherever we were oh, in the no, world. No, 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 no. I watched that movie. <laughs> I watched the island of Do- um, Dr. Moreau on HBO or Showtime when I was a kid, like 13, 14, 15, somewhere in there. No, it I just meant all these facts about him and these fucked oh, up stories. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I just like memorizing. Like no, this is not highly TV. rated. No, that's it's, who they. But that's the that's the actor they probably got. So that's what that's the, what they got when they when they when they wanted Marlon Brando. Yeah, like that's what they got when realistically they probably like were expecting to get something closer to this guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, it's 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 bad. Um, yeah, who's? I I don't know why he's all white there? like this. I I think it's it's sunscreen. I I know it is. It's sunscreen. So look how huge he is. Like like, and he's so the print. I've read the novel after I watched the movie, but essentially it's a doctor who's making like half animal, half human hybrids on an island. In the novel, he's using like surgical techniques to like modify an animal to become like a human like beast, like like to, to, to be able to like stand upright and speak and stuff. In here, it's more genetic splicing, I believe. And and some of the animal hybrids are very ugly. They're like dog face people. And they're and he and he's he's like trying to break them of their animalistic ways by punishing them, like beating them and shocking them, and they're all afraid. And and they all have the, oh the they have almost like a cult like religion about the master uh-huh. says the master says and like but then there's this other group who are like especially there's this one girl I can't think of the actress who plays her but she's smoking fucking hot but she's got like sharp teeth or something and that's it <laughs> she's like mm-hmm. the cat girl and it's like shit this is a way better way to make animal human hybrids like like, like make more cat girls and less make- dog boys <laughs> <laughs> make more cat girls less dog and, uh, boys. And in the but the premise is this guy shipwrecks onto this island, right? And he's and they don't know what to do with him because all this is like top secret rich guy island secret yeah. shit. And so they're like, "You'll stay with us. You'll come on with us. We'll take care of you. You know, your meals will be." And and it's uh, the novel is very scary because wandering the island at night with the animal human hybrids and ca- he catches one of them eating eating a rabbit. He's killed a rabbit and he's eating it like a. And that's like one. Beast. There's like ten. There's this whole like ten commandments of the master thing about like thou shalt not runneth on four feet like like the animal. Thou shalt not like shed the blood of another animal or consume it's shit like that. And and mm-hmm. and like the master, he goes back and rats him out. He's like, yeah, I saw a fucking dog boy like eating a rabbit, or I thought I did. I don't know what color dog boy. <laughs> it's like, and now the dog boy's got to be fucking disciplined. And it's now like, that's pretty cruel. And he's like, "Wait, there are dog boys for real? What color dog boy?" <laughs> <laughs> he had blue. a spot on his nose. He Alan. was. He was like, blue. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Alan, me. eating rabbits in the forest when I specifically told you not to. Yeah, Th- yeah they have absurd. names like that. It's like Timothy what a douchebag. He made a bunch of like morphing like freaks. Yeah, who are based yeah. on animals who eat animals in the forest, and then he put them on like, you can't eat forest. Grapes. Yeah, like like oh, they're, they're, and I hope big... Marlon Brando's killed at the end by his own creations. Brutally, yeah, I think yeah, he's, that he's seems like by the, the natural man. bit of it. Thank it's you for saying that. Man. I don't want to watch this. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It's I've seen it multiple times. I, You're I better off why. watching uh, Val Kilmer and Marlon Brando and the director's uh, relationship on set that entire time. Apparently yeah, it was I like forgot. Val, Val Kilmer's Kilmer. nightmare role, and he like hated it, but everyone on set had bad takes on him, and it was just like it's like pretty. Fuck there's them. a lot of drama on that because also he came in Marlon Brando, and he was like, I should have a little person with me, a little man, and he's like, and I should man. wear this, yeah, and he started like making yeah. calls, yeah, like about who's with and like changing the story, and everyone's like, okay, let him do it because the director also was like, this was like his second movie, and they gave him like a huge budget. And there was like a, it was just like a lot of stuff about it. And he uh, couldn't control Marlon Brando or Val Kilmer. Do you like Val Kilmer? Like as an actor? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy Batman, uh, Batman Forever. Tombstone. <laughs> but have you ever seen this little known, little Remember Jim? Also with um, Martin Sheen, The Ghost in the Darkness. Oh, was that Nobody a book? The Ghost in the Darkness? Was that a book? No, not me. The I don't Ghost know in the Darkness. The Ghost in the Darkness is the true story of the lions of Savo, Africa. Savo means slaughter in Swahili or whatever made up savage tongue they speak around there. And what the British were doing at this time is colonizing their chunk yeah. of the continent. And they, they needed a they needed a, specifically for the railroad a bridge built over a canyon river, whatever the fuck. And so they hire the first lieutenant, played by Val Kilmer. He shows up very like dapper. He's Val Kilmer. He's so good looking. He shows him. He's like, the guy tells him, your job is to go here and build this fucking bridge and this savage piece of shit. He's the guy super racist who's sending him there. And Val Kilmer is like, I love Africa. I've always wanted to go. Yes. Well, you'll find Africa is very full of one thing. Africans. 
<laughs> and, and so, so he sends him there to, to, to do his nonsense. Well, he gets there, and the workforce to do this thing is made up of a lot of Indians, like from India, and a lot of uh, our native Africans. They are beset upon by a lion. Not just one lion, but two lions. This is a true story, by the way. Yeah. These lions are coming into the camps at night. You got to keep in mind, these railroad, railroad bridge workers, they sleep in camps, in tents, tent camps, if you will, in the open. And these I lions, know this scene that you're talking about now. Wow, I, I've only seen this scene, I think. The, oh, lions the only thing that I remember. Lions will just snatch them up in the night, take them off. Oh, we lost a man tonight. We lost a man tonight. Another but did they show a week. scene where a lion's grabbing a guy, like, and you see the guy, like, ah, and he's, like, getting pulled under Through the, the thorns. Tent. Yeah, through the thorns, and you see his flesh and skin be torn by the thorns because the, the part of like the the location is these thorn bushes of Africa that they use mm -hmm. not only they use them later they weave them into these huge thorn fences so to prevent the lions from coming to places. So essentially, what happens is Val Kilmer is over his head. He, he he's tried traps, he's tried to hunt them, he can't figure it out. He's losing so many men that that workers go on strike. We, They've lost dozens of men mm -hmm. at this point. And so the, uh, the company, the railroad company, bring in a professional hunter play, called Remington, played by Martin Sheen. And he comes in all big game hunter with his crocodile done he, D hat and his magnum fucking rifles. And him and Val Kilmer team up fucking, fucking double ninja style, fucking twin cobra style. And they take on the two lions, the two man killers of Savo. And in the British Museum of Natural History, uh, they have those two lions to this day. So a little bit of a spoiler about how maybe the movie may or not in, but they still have them stuffed. They are not uh, cool to look at. And hmm. the idea was that these were two adult lions who were cast out of their pride. They weren't like alpha males. They were two beta males. You got kicked out by a big, you know, alpha male. And now they had to live like as a duo without any bitches. And this made them real bitter. And they developed a hunger for human flesh. And uh, I don't know what the number is. Uh, and they were exactly. played by they were played by actors Bongo and Caesar, Bongo the same and Caesar. actors that were in George of the Jungle in 1997. These lions know how to motherfucking act. Yeah, and those two lions films. were technically <laughs> Africans. And the guy tried to warn them. Yep, yep. It's a good movie. Um, I I, I watched it many times as a kid. Uh, I think uh, uh, I might check that. that one out. I'm, I don't I think I've seen that one, actually. Even the scene I'm remembering, I don't know if it's in that movie, but I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> There's this one. Like, There's <laughs> a part early on. I life, Harley. That joke. Let me tell you my favorite. No, I like that. That was a dad joke. <laughs> it's such a dad joke. I'm like, he is pushing 50. <laughs> pushing the lions 50, were which African. Be, which could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Woody, you're going to be the opposite. Where you're gonna want Pete because you take such good care of yourself and you look so I good try. for your age that when you're like 62, it's gonna be the opposite. You'll be one of those people who are like, "How old?" and they'll be like, eh, "51," and you'll be like, "No, 62." Like that. That's right. That's the trick. Pushing 65. Push, no, and then you can like lie it. in the other way and be like, "91." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 91 years. <old. laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you, Kyle, because I was watching. I was about to start this show last night. Because I was looking for something on HBO because I just rebought HBO to watch The Last of Us, which we can get to yes, in a yes, sec because yes. I thought that was super good. And I was looking that? through the uh, the sci-fi section on there gotcha. to see what series they had. Yes. Uh, Babylon 5. Is that a good series? Is it stupid? Is that's it because I, I just I just I, I scrolled past it and it was like a deep space opera that's dramatic. And I'm like, OK, that that's kind of enticing to me. So maybe try it. So I. I I don't want to offend the one Babylon Five fan out there. Oh, so it's bad. Uh, so, oh. No, 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 no. I think it's excellent, but it's outdated because of what it's shot on and because of some of the special effects. And uh, it, it, it's, it's gonna. It was really good for its time, and I'll tell you how it's best enjoyed. It's best enjoyed through YouTube snippets of a couple of the more conniving characters being devious to one another. Like, like, like. There's a lot of Game of Thrones s. You know those scenes in Game of Thrones where like. Viserys and Littlefinger would be yeah. in some fucking boardroom like trading barbs. Yeah, I love There's that. some great scenes like that in there. Like if but but then like I don't know, there might there's some spaceship policing and 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 then they show the exterior of the ship and it's like, man, I, this I can't I can't watch this show. I'm sorry. It doesn't look good enough anymore. But again, there are some YouTube clips of like one I don't know the character's names, but there's this one guy who has this ridiculous, he's an alien. He has this silly haircut with like 
two different stripes of hair on either side of his head that go like from front to back. And, uh, and he's like telling this guy how this guy, you're going to do this and you're going to do that and you're going to do this. And he's like, why would I do any of that? He's like, well, for one thing, that thing you just drank, well, that's a bomb. There was a there's a tiny bomb in that drink you just drank. And anytime I want, I can detonate. It's the size of eight molecules, or whatever he says, you know, I can yeah. blow you up anytime. And you know what the best part? If you ever try to take it out, I get a notification and then I'll kill you then. And it's something like that. And I just remember like the way he delivered it, like like so maniacally, it's it just I was like, oh man. This could be a good show. Yeah, right you should now. watch yeah. Battlestar Galactica. Can't do it. Have you like I followed Battlestar up Galactica? Is the show. All right, all right. I followed up that drink with some frosted mini wheats, and that shit will be out by lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, I just had. I'm gonna drink 40 ounces of coffee, and then you're gonna be looking for your little valuable piece of equipment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the toilet. Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a thumbs up as a good series with great writing mm-hmm. and an amazing story and it's groundbreaking 5. in many ways. Yeah, 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 okay. for sure. But it's a thumbs down as far as should but you Battle watch Battlestar Galactica, you say. Five, that's, ten on ten. That's Love ten Battle out of ten. Star. Especially Love like Battle the first Star. couple of three Even seasons. better than Star Trek, right? Yeah. Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica yeah. is going to end. It's going to give you a conclusion, which you would never get from the Star, Star Trek universe. And I, mm-hmm. without spoiling it all, that ending was really good, and I liked it. And it was okay. Like, I saw what they did. Oh, okay. Oh, I no, I, I, I vibe with Woody on that. I was kind of like... I am an idiot. Oh, you like the whole full <laughs> circle thing? Like like that I'm fine with. I just thought without getting too spoily about Battlestar Galactica, there was a point where it was like is everyone a Cylon? Like who isn't? Who here's a still a who he- show me the real humans? Cuz for a while it was like oh, Have shit. you ever played that There's board one game? Of them amongst the us. Battlestar and by Galactica. The end, it's like no, of course not. No. So if you, the Battlestar Galactica board game is so sick because everyone you I choose your is. character, whoever you want to be, and then everyone gets a card that says you're not a Cylon. Uh, but someone will get a card, most likely at least one person will get a card that says you are a Cylon. If yeah. you're the character Gaius, who you want to play as, there are some pros and cons for every character. Gaius, Gaius gets two shots at maybe being a Cylon. So whoever's playing Ooh. Gaius, you're like, they're probably a Cylon. He has two fucking cards, uh-huh. which it goes well with the show. And, and if he's really not cool, one, then it really is great what's really, for the, exactly, the actual two Cylons. And what's really crazy Ooh. is you start to like uh, politic with one another and you're like, I should be the president for whatever reason or someone will I be like, I Gaius. should be leading the military <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> and you like, you vote who is the most trustworthy. And sometimes the most trustworthy person has proven themselves by doing these missions and you're like he's definitely not a Cylon so you vote him yeah. as president maybe you vote him as had his military too he- and then halfway through the point there's a certain moment where Cylon cards are given out again so now you find out that you are a Cylon and you have oh, been the double whole my time, like the show <laughs> and maybe you were the president uh, or someone and you're like yeah. and you start Taylor, looking at each other the, this seems like the, fun do you know the lore of Battlestar Galactica because I can lay it out in like eight I seconds know no, pretend I don't know a thing <laughs> um, pretend that I know nothing. Uh, you've about. got okay. You've got a space-faring human society okay. that's colonized many worlds of a single star system, and uh, they can bounce around between them. They have these war vessels called battle stars that are kind of outclassed. They're essentially space uh, aircraft carriers, and they mm-hmm. were the real hammer of like human might during the Cylon Wars, which is when they fought their robot slaves that went rogue. Which for the longest time were like walking toasters. They even call them as such. And every like, I don't know, 10 years since the war, they, they maybe one every year, maybe like a human rep shows up in case the Cylons want to talk at a designated location and they wait on them to show up and talk. It hasn't mm-hmm. happened for like, I don't know, 180 years, 90 years. We haven't even seen them since the war and the peace was declared. All of a sudden, you know, the, the human shows up. He's like some like military bureaucrat sitting there at the table waiting on nobody to show up like they have every other day of his career. And a spaceship docks, and he he's like, "Wait, what? Who, who who's who, what? What?" And they dock, and the the doors slide open, and in walk these two imposing warrior bots. They do the best they can, and uh, then walks the sexiest blonde mm-hmm. woman you've ever seen in a red fucking dress. Maybe she will be later on if she's not already wearing it. And she walks up to this motherfucker and like grabs his cheek and kisses him. And then you zoom out to the whole fucking spaceship exploding. All of it explodes. And the war has begun. 
and the Cylons are back and they look like us, but nobody knows that. And they've been what she, oh. a version of her has been as inner worked into the humans entire defense network. So there's a judgment day that comes sort of a, where, where 95% of all nice. of humanity at least is just killed nuclear war. It rains down there are our own weapons used against us in some cases and everything is gone. And the only humans left for the most part are running and gunning on like military vessels and civilian vessels that have formed a, a fleet. But the Cylons aren't just starting a war. They're exterminating humanity. They, in their machine minds, they decided they all have to go. That's the only way. So they're continuously chasing the human fleet. And the way they're faster than light travel works, it's, it's these jumps. Mm -hmm. They have to pro, uh, like do their math and then choof, instantly sort of appear a few light years away, whatever it is. They, every time they jump, they start a clock. This is episode like three. Mm -hmm. there, you can see nobody has slept in days. Everybody circles under their eyes. The clock has begun. It's ticking down. Like every 25 minutes, they have to jump again because the Cylons are jumping right behind them. And every time they, they can only jump so fast. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. They got to recharge and go again. And the Cylons are catching up on them. Every time that, that every time they uh, reset and jump again, the Cylons have caught them and been fighting them a little bit longer, a couple seconds longer. They, they, they shoot their missiles off and the missiles are coming for them and they jump. It's, that's mm. how close they are behind them. Just it's the it's the it's the remnants remnants of humanity running and they're trying to establish a government between the civilians and the military. It's a very like and weird, they're pointing at everyone on the ship being like you're a fucking Cylon or someone does something weird and they're like, yeah. why are you lying? Are you a Cylon? And like everyone's like, bro, this and guy's you, like, I literally would call my, whenever a friend fucked up the night or <laughs> did something like drop the joint. We'd all be like, you fucking Cylon. We should throw you in the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> they have Someone to figure out who the joint. <laughs> they have to figure fucking out who the Cylon. president is. They, they have to figure out who the president of the colonies is because they had like a, a structure like that. The I education secretary is. happens to be the last remaining in the line of secession, and she's aboard the school ship. And they're like, Madam President. And she's like, oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, and uh, the 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 uh, Adama Admiral is Admiral Adama played James by Olmos. Edward James Olmos. Yeah, the man, that a look, he lost the battle against Acne, but he never lost against the Cylons. <laughs> God damn it, he took a tooth and nail, and that man somehow made himself look fit for those boxing scenes later mm. on in season three. I got, I got. It uh, sounds good. It sounds, it sounds like a very a interesting. Premise. Before so I like, forget, I did want to. I wanted to ask you guys something, like a, mm. a, a, an opinion question, uh, completely different. But I'd like to hear each of your takes on it. Oh yeah. Um, how do you feel? Let's just say if uh, us four, like, pulled up to uh, the mall or a movie theater, we got a time to catch, uh, and we're at the pull up to the movie theater, and we're driving down this row. And it's just like, you know, if we just go two more cars, turn right and then right, we'll be on the other row. But there's people looking for cars. How do you feel about one of us getting out of the vehicle and taking up the spot? No, no, no. Not only that, like, like <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to retell the story, but like in fast forward is what he would say. Taylor Taylor's dad sent him to get a man who was a boy, a kid, teenager out of the spot. The guy was standing, taking a spot. Taylor grabbed the guy, picked him up, got him out of the fucking way. And Taylor's dad rolled into the spot. And I'm not talking about 20 years ago. I'm talking about like five years ago. This was like yes. a, well, five yes. years ago. <laughs> I'm no. on the other side of this. Uh, I think that if we're on this mission, and we have the parking lot champion with us. We take advantage of <laughs> that. Put him in the spot. I didn't know. I didn't know. I dare you to move. Taylor, him. we've wait, seen wait. your defense. How's your defense? Wait, wait, wait. No, oh. I didn't know we had a parking Straight lot up. champion. That's a like, phenomenal story. Going into the, into the into the movie theater, putting a mouth guard in. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor gets down in a three point <laughs> stance. Wait, wait, wait. Taylor's <laughs> not with us now. O line. Would yeah, you go stand in the spot? No, no. I I removed that guy. From the spot as a way to restore order to parking. Oh, you and didn't lines. take the spot yourself. I, we no, we took it because he was oh. attempting to reserve under false pretenses. He didn't have a car. So you, you he was went just to, you standing removed, there. But you removed him on false. I pretenses. removed him no, no, no. physically he because he was foot. not in a car. He was on foot. He was standing in a spot reserving it for it's someone. Not a and then I, not a I moved him. This is the best. I this restored the best. order, and I would never <laughs> use my powers to to 
to reserve seats. I'm not about that. Get there early if you want to reserve seats. Let's be respectful to everyone else. It's selfish to just have one person there reserving seats. Seinfeld figured this out 25 years ago. It's it's. I don't care for it. Don't like it. What you, Wait, so if you got into the theater, I wasn't even talking about that. Spot right here, and I'm gonna have a picnic in a parking spot. I'll put t- I'll put a quarter in the meter. Yeah. No, Wait, hold on. Uh, what I do is See, I go in and I go, up, everyone. <coughs> when, you up when you brought up something <laughs> that I, I felt about it was like I was having this debate with my friends and I was like, I wouldn't do that. Mm. I wouldn't go stand in the spot. But if I were driving down the spot and someone used the buddy system to take the spot, I'd be like, huh, and I would keep going. All right, so, I wouldn't so say I shit. Wanted- I wouldn't do shit. I, I, I sure as hell it. would go if my dad told me to pick that fucking kid up and move him. I would be like, yes, father. Uh, but, <laughs> but other than that, like, I'm like, fair play. Like, this is the Wild West it out depends. here. It depends. Yeah, it depends on the situation, right? Like, like, I'll say this. If I saw that now, I would just move along because I am a felon. And 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 the law is probably going to side with whoever I get into the scuffle with in the parking lot. And it is just a parking spot. However, I can imagine a time when I was younger and maybe my boys were with me when we would not have put up with that sort of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I could totally see an ass. Are thing. you allowed to do that? No, like, like I'll say this. If I did it, I would know that I was doing wrong. I, all jokes aside, I am actually on the other side of this, or at least I was. Where I really am is if I saw someone do it, I would just try by. It's a parking spot. I don't give a fuck. Yes, exactly. But mm-hmm. having it just on ethically, I don't see why standing in a parking spot is any different than holding the movie theater seat. Next you can't to do me. that either. Oh, my friend's getting popcorn. You know, these are the two. These are the seats oh, for he oh. and I. Okay, okay well, that's different. the getting, seat right up, next to yeah. me. Like, what do you want to sit next to me, Woody? Like, 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 there's a young lady, and you don't think she, you're like, you sitting down next to a le- young lady, and she's like, This is actually my boyfriend's chair. And he's like, Hey, where's he? <laughs> like, 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 you, <laughs> you know, are that's wrong. Technically like, you know, that's wrong. Down, but you it, but in my like, mind, I know that they're both like ways to reserve things. I, I don't see here's why. How you, reserve- here's how you work. Here's how I work it out when I want to do one of these moral quandaries. I think I put my loved one or myself in like the quasi victim situation. I'm like, Oh, okay. So my mother's at the movie theater and she's watching a, a film with my sister. And no, wait, go to the parking. A, a grown ass parking forty, a fifty year old man comes in because he wants to watch Star Wars alone in the middle Almost of the day. Almost fifty. Almost pushing fifty. <laughs> pushing and and, pushing and he, hard. Sit, he flicks the the seat thing down next to my mother, the armrest, and plops down next to her and starts starts eating and muting his phone. And she goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. This my daughter's sitting here." And. I don't hear so well out of the right side anymore. So I like to lean to the left, you know, when we whisper and you're like, lady, silly bitch. I'm sounds like here. it was you pretty, I'm your daughter. Sounds, sounds like he's allowed pretty to important say that. That, you, that this seat get filled by your daughter. Where <laughs> is she? I, I, I think she needed to relieve herself. Oh, ho, 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 can't handle her water. Eh? <laughs> can't handle her <laughs> like a woman. <laughs> no, Woody's allowed like, to sit I there. Mean, and if she's like, that's my daughter's seat, he's allowed to be like, no, I'm sitting here. Like, I mean, that honest, is. I, I honestly see reserving a seat as a fair and normal thing to do. Like, look, I we do got as here well. first. I, I think, do as well. And I, I think you I could sit in the movie parking theater. spot as a parallel. If you were no. sitting in that spot, I don't know why. They're not even. Available I, I think for, we're, for we're for muddying traffic. the water a little too much because, like, we need to remember. Like the initial thing was like someone dropping someone else off at the theater to have them run in and be like, four seats. These are ours. That's unacceptable. If Woody, you're going into a theater and you're with Jackie and you go in first because she has to pee, that's not reserving a seat. You're there. It's like this no. is where my wife and I are. Body sitting. system can, works. I can, think can I, 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 I would it. do the movie it. theater seat. I'm the person of, the amongst difference. my friends that would sit in the theater and I would drape my jacket across six. And I'd be like, oh, oh, you, <laughs> you, you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> no. No. What do you mean? You, We're you six people. Four. We're six people. Six, so here's your coat choice, pal. Six here's then your why choice, are pal. No, let me help you out. Let me do it your way. My <laughs> six friends will sit here. We'll wait for the movie to start. And then one by one, we'll go in the middle of the fucking movie for you and go get snacks. Is that a better experience, I mister? See what you're doing. Do you yeah, want to yeah. do that? Because let's do it that way. Then guys, come. No, we have to sit. We have to wait for the movie to start. And then we'll disrupt it for everyone else. 
So but we're all saying here. is we're all here and, though. So what you're saying is you and your friends would conspire against the other uh, don't patrons. say me and my friends sort would of conspire. You can't say well that. no, you'd get together us. and you'd <laughs> have this sort of plot, if you will, a plan. <laughs> and you'd, start, second, but, uh, you'd uh, figure you out think? a way to manipulate the system <laughs> where if they didn't do exactly what you wanted to do, then it would be so <laughs> look, look, you're not breaking is he doing one also right now, but you're it's gonna be so inconvenient for you to do business in our world, the chosen <laughs> world, the, for these six seats, chosen for these six seats. Who Carly. made the movie? What <laughs> made the movie? <laughs> That's true. Jews should get first choice in every movie you know, where the Jew directed it. explain that he Connor bought forever. the ticket. He's opening the exit door for his five friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're not there already. Yeah. I mean, you'd get in first in line Wait, everywhere. Because... I was, I was, I was thinking the parking lot thing because the parking lot is like now we're dealing with the law, but this but the movie different. theater's more. We're not. No, no, wild no, 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 no. It's not the law. Okay. So first of all, parking lots are private property. the The laws of the road don't pertain to them. You fuck those stop signs. Roll right. But what about but, but what, impeding traffic? Can you tell me what a, to do here. J C Penny. You what? What the J C Penny can tell me yield or not yield? Fuck you. No, no, no. You're not the D M V. So if. <laughs> If you um, oh, remind, remind me three seconds. I'm real stoned. Uh, we were saying we were in the theater reserving six seats across. Oh, so but, in a theater, we're paying money, right? And a lot, right? Like, like twenty, twenty five dollars, depending where you are. The parking space is a little bit more like a park bench in some ways. Like I, I wouldn't sit on a park bench and then give somebody guff if they wanted to sit down next to me and eat their lunch. Like, like it's a park bench. If I don't like doubling up with somebody, I need to get my ass up. Cause, cause what if you're lying down bench. on the park bench? We're back in the Wild West. Then you're a now, fucking no bum. Sure, you lie, but, but you're allowed to, no? Lie on the no, park bench? No, bums get, bums get animal rules. You shoo them away and you <laughs> sprint them with what water. If it's Woody? What if it's not a bum? It's Woody. He just hurt his leg and he needs to lie down and rest. And he's lying you on the park bench. You know how expensive bench. Woody's shoes are? I'd spot him right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd but be would like, you come up and be, be like, hey, Buddy, sit up. I mean, look, it's, a, it's a fellow white. We have a <laughs> we have a thing. Uh, like, 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 you think y'all have a thing? Like, I see a fellow good white out there, and I'm like all about like. I, I'll see them. I'll mm. see their like their special ring while they're like pushing their car on the side of the road. I'll cut. I'll cut off three Mexicans and a black guy just to get over there and help him push mm. that car. I had a real racist joke the other day. I don't know if it's racist or not. You tell you? me. Um, nah. But I thought it was funny nonetheless. So I had, uh, and I told Taylor this. I think maybe off. the Sure. Maybe I said it anyway, but I hold on. You know, wait, let me up. prepare to not laugh in case this gets clear. okay. All right, try hard. Up. Clear your mind. Not funny, not funny. The Holocaust, <laughs> Holocaust. It was real. It was real. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never forget. I, we had a book in my house Never growing up called We had a book in my house growing up called And God Cried. And on the back of it was a pile of the bodies. Like, like, like jokes aside, like, like yeah. It's not funny stuff. I mean, hundreds of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> it's who's to say god damn it rewind me just a little bit i've got this you were, uh, you were, you were dabbling joke. you got a racist joke a couple of days ago yeah oh so so i i had to get the water line worked on in my in my yard right and uh they said it's the third crew in a row it's a true story it's third crew take in a care row icarus after. yeah it's third <laughs> 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 You've heard the joke. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> no, All right, so it's third, it's third crew in the row, in, the, in a row, right? Two white guys have tried to fix this before. Just to be fair, like I'm, you know, across the board, the two white guys fucked up both times. They they dug the hole, they worked on the line, they fixed it supposedly, and it leaked again. While I look out the window, who's out there working on it? Mexican and a black guy. And at first, I'm I'm like, hmm, this this might work out. This might work out, but no, it's exactly like you'd think it would be. They worked hard, then quit early. There's still a big fucking hole out there. Deep as shit. They worked hard digging that hole. Then they just <laughs> fucking quit early, as they would. And the, now I've just got a big koi pond in my yard. That it looks more like a meteor struck, and then it rained in it. With no koi. So you don't even have a nice uh, Japanese artistic chic to your home. No, no, it's all. You just have a mud hole. Uh, did I, I tell you guys uh, my... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, that's a uh, city uh, utility workers. Yeah, uh, you need to. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the the plumbers. 
plumbers. plumbers. Those fucking plumbers with their, <laughs> with All their of affirmative them. actions and they're like just trying to like dog whistle as plumbers. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, I tell you I had a that. bad luck thing with my uh so uh, I had a bunch of trees in my yard removed because they were dying and like rotting. And these people destroyed my yard. It's as though I paid for a tree removal and lawn destruction service. Like, <laughs> I. <laughs> So like, <laughs> yeah, and they're the best in the fucking biz. Let me tell you, <laughs> because they uh, basically in my backyard, I live in a wooded area, tons of trees. We really focus and mostly on the yard destruction. <laughs> we, we focus your, mostly on ruining your fucking yard. Is and your backyard nice? Uh, my backyard <laughs> is still is way less nice than it was after they wrecked it. It's my uh, front yard. Let me that ask I'm you this: about. the grass. Is it grass or weeds cut to the same height? No, it's it was, it was grass. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you I say grass. I said was grass. Yeah. So basically, it was six trees that I needed removed in my backyard because they were all either dying or rotted or just like looming over my house and making me anxious. And so I figured, you know, just let's rip the bandaid off because trees are expensive. All six of them down. You know, oh. I'll, I'll either have to do how much. It. Yes, you can, and I'll surprise you with it. All right, Do and you want uh, me to guess now or yes, guess now. Six trees. Yep. Uh, like 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 big trees. Like the, uh, the, the, the smallest of them were probably that big around. Did the he go? Did, he, did he have to go up and climb the trees with a chainsaw? Oh yeah, on all six of them. Dude, did that cost you three thousand dollars? Cost me forty nine hundred. Okay. That's and. Rough. And I guess it's more expensive sometimes. Like oh. they charge you more depending on how much it's like, how close it is to your house or whatever. It's so a couple of them were like right. It was eight hundred for me for one. So I, I was I was hoping you got the like bulk discount. <laughs> that that dude that was the bulk discount. <laughs> that's <just cute. laughs> Holy because shit! I, that's the math. Forty eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the that was the big because the guy oh. like this is the one part that was decent is when I was calling around about it in my head I'm like fuck it Inflation. it's gonna be ten grand and when I called him in December the dude was like. Yeah, nobody gets trees removed in December, so I'm just trying to keep my crews working, you know, because no, you know, I, so here, you'll get a super cheap price. And I was like, all right, that, that works for me. And they come and they start removing the trees. He tells me it's going to be a one-day process. I'm no genius, but I was even in the moment, like, what are you, bring in like 50 people to my house to like, just like all at once, like, you're, like no, this is going to take longer than that. And so he comes on a on like a Thursday a few weeks ago, and they start doing their their shit. And the next day was obviously Friday. They come back to start again. And all they did the first time was really kind of get set up and like tie stuff around the trees, like to kind of like look at the leverage points and whatnot. Then nothing had started. And that Friday I was leaving town to go to my grandparents. And so as I'm leaving, there's like getting a bunch of work done, like sawing the trees and everything. And I'm already noticing like my yard looks like shit, like they drove through it with the uh so my yard you could you know how there's a straight line from the road through your side yard for every house in existence you know how you could if you want to walk from the the front left portion to the backyard of a house you would walk straight past the left back left side of the house just straight you know if you wanted to walk past the right back side of a house what they did is they set up their machine and drove across my yard. Their machine started on the left side of my house and then ambled up next to my goddamn mailbox. And this is like a private then, company. It's not like from the city or no, anything like no. that. This is a this nah, is supposedly a decent right, company. Bro. They drove across my entire yard in wet weather. And then I guess they didn't like that route. And in that route, they destroyed a swath eight feet by the entire length of the entire yard that's mud destroyed and then that's i guess like, that approach wasn't working because while i was while, i know and while i was out of town i guess they didn't like that route on day two for saturday because the next day they took it right to the right side of my house and they drove a whole new path through my yard and they didn't put boards down and it was Aww. wet and i got home sunday and <laughs> i i laughed when i saw my house i went that's what i <laughs> because it's 
They've done. <clears throat> they've destroyed my yard. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Destroyed. That's a it's crazy, raining all the crazy time. thing There's to do. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you and this. And let me let me real quick. When I got back on Sunday. I'm getting back from my grandparents' house. I just wanted to relax and play oh, Age of Empires 2 all day. I'm full of steak. I've got some some other steaks she sent me home with. I just want to play Age of Empires <laughs> 2 and get stoned and eat more steak. And I try and log on to the internet. I have no internet. These no, guys dug got so deep into my yard without the board, with the tracks on their machine, that they physically severed my internet line. It didn't unplug it. It didn't misalign it. They drove so deep through my yard, they severed my fucking internet That's line. That's fucking crazy. And Honestly, these fucking I would fucking, hunts, I would fucking eat their children. Oh, praise be dude, to Allah. They, this, this guy, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> praise be to Allah. Fuck it, dude, love guys, me. Fuck. They, they came back yesterday because <laughs> The guy told I knew something was amiss because on the Friday after I left, the the, a lady from the company called me and was like, like, "Something's amiss." Hey, uh, (laughs) I there's a bunch of stuff with your yard. We're gonna take care of it. And I was like, at my grandparents, I'm like, okay, so it's even worse than it was when I left. They came back yesterday. the The owner or manager of the company. He wasn't there yesterday. I wonder fucking why. I wonder why he didn't want to fucking talk to me. And he sends his like goons, the workers, and they throw down some straw haphazardly. And then they come to my front door and he's like wanting me to inspect it and like pay him $5,000. And I was like, I get it. Like you guys are just doing your job, but this is in like, and I'm, I'm I always keep it like calm. Like I'm not someone to like freak sure. out. And, you can't, yeah, I'm yeah, always you very calm do. about that uh, stuff. Yeah. And I was like, honestly, like this is unacceptable. Uh, I know all the, all the four of you guys here. If you guys, uh, if you at your home hired someone to remove a tree and they did this to your yard, I can't imagine what you guys would be thinking. And that's what I'm thinking right now. So Bro, if you need to tell your boss, you know, I'm, and I told him, I'm like, I'm not going to give you guys a dime until my yard is returned to the way it was before, because this is absurd. I'm going to be getting fines for my HOA. Oh, no. Like, do you have any idea how horrid this is? What like, you Elon guys Musk done? is trying to ruin my life. Oh, my Elon God. Musk is trying to ruin my he life. He will fucking yeah. kill me. And so my yard. I can send you a photo after the show. My yard is fucking destroyed. Ruined. Yeah. It took me so oh, long no. to get grass growing well in my yard I because know, the previous yeah. owners treated the yard like shit. And so I had to like reseed so many times and I took Bro, the aerator out now there. Now that so I have a times. house, I oh, understand the this. Yo, no, this is years ago I when I had to originally oh, get the grass? yard going. Oh, yeah. Now that I, I have hard. a house, like I understand. I had a water ban Fuck this past pissed. summer. So we a couldn't what? Wa- you couldn't water. You a can't band. use water. And like, so I would stand out there and like literally be like, this is money. The grass is money. I know that now because I bought yeah. it. <laughs> and this is money. And I need to use my sprinklers, but I can't. Yeah. And like my neighbor across the street didn't give a fuck about the water <laughs> ban. And I did sit there like looking through the blinds and I was like, if I was a little bit angrier with my life, I would snitch on you. I Let understand why some neighbors do shit like that. I'm like looking out the window. I'm like, he's not allowed to be watering the lawn right now. Dude, <laughs> he's why, why don't you doing it? Down. Why, why don't like what would they do if you just had a tank of water? And if anyone asked, you'd be like, oh no, that's that's from that tank of water. Well, where do you get the water that goes in there? No, I I truck that in. It's rainwater. Mm. That's rain. Could do yeah. that. I understand. This is like an advanced, uh, an but, but, advanced <laughs> lie. Like uh, I understand. I kind of like that strategy. You don't use there. that water to water your lawn. <laughs> no, no, I understand. I understand. You just it's have a tank of water. <laughs> that yeah. always stays. You're like I have a tank of water. Not half full. Evaporational. Like no, 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 you're care right. Of. But you, you know what you're right about is that you could pay. Like if if you were like really didn't give a fuck about money, you could pay. To have a, uh, like a water company come and literally yeah. do it because they're allowed because they're bringing water from elsewhere. Water oh, is heavy, no, 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 all no. that. My water- but if I paid, instead of paying that, if I just paid a truck to come by every day and refill my water That's and it was like just my does. buddy in a truck. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my company does. We have a water truck. That's fucking empty. Right? <laughs> we drive it around and charge you half of what the actual water truck costs. Oh, we don't good. do fuck all. And then you just hook your hose up to your spigot and let her have it, boy. What did you just say? You heard me. Hook your hose spigot. up to the spigot. Oh. Y'all Is have spigot, spigot not a canoe? Yeah, we don't, I don't uh-huh. think you're allowed uh-huh. to say that word. Spigot? What? It sounds spigot. weird when you say it. I don't like Does that. it? I, mean, I don't know if you're allowed to say like I don't know if you're allowed to say it like that. 
Spigot. S P I G O T, right? S P I either G O T or double G O T. I don't like, think you yeah, can even say G O T. I haven't G-O-T. read it since. You can't like, say G O T, the... by the way. I, <laughs> I can't say G O T. You're being no, a real G G O T right now. <laughs> I don't think I've read that since like Little House on the Prairie, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one G. Damn, the double thing. It's like one G. Holy one shit! G. I've never, ever, ever in my entire life found a word Taylor can't spell till just now. He just did. No, he he had it right from the beginning. I was the he one who thought he had G-G-O-T. Oh, I said one G. The tape. I said I think Taylor... one G. I did get that one until I, I thought Kyle was right with the two Gs, but that was I was asking. Well, I was thinking like, I of Spriggins. I think Skyrim. I think of myself as a very good speller, and I actually wasn't sure about Spigot how to spell it. So yeah. yeah, I haven't read it since. Some like, people if, say if it makes you feel good, Woody, like I fucked up on spigot. Yeah. So people often say oh, spigot. So everyone else sound like a G me. sound. Yeah, no, I, a spigot. I just something else. Ask Taylor for help. But some people say spigot about spigot. No, You're right. Spigot, it is a, a, a spigot. What do you call? Word. What do you call something that's spelled C A Y? So a spigot is where you get the water. Yeah. A spigot. Is a half price ticket that they sell to Mexicans at sporting events. I knew it. Oh. I knew it. 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 Yeah, you, Carly knew that too. It's a big thing in Canada as well. <laughs> no, no, no. That's how I knew <laughs> what he was doing. I knew and they it. say, hey, if you're down with us kind of being shitty to you right now, you get half price. <laughs> and they're like, okay. <laughs> Wait, how do you spell, how do you pronounce C A Y? How would you guys do that? Like, a, like, a, like an island. Like Cayman Island? Like K? Kay. C A Y. I guess I'd say K. Yeah. Is that not right? Well, I mean, Spy? it's it's acceptable, but I think it is key. Keyman. Uh, there was a book called Timothy of the Key when I was a kid, and the C looked a lot like a G, and we were always like Timothy the Gay, and we thought it was the funniest <laughs> book because it was like a black man on the cover, and it was like Timothy the Gay. Um, we we're like, we gotta read that when we learn how to read. <laughs> when we learn how to read words other than gay, uh, yeah, exactly. Wait, 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 no, just this word that says <laughs> it's key. It's the proper pronunciation. We all got. Yeah, read. and you know what do you call the uh, 4K? Oh, GC adds that later. <laughs> yeah, they say we accept that, uh, but also like people call it the foyer, and I've been heard. I've been hearing lately that it's called the foyer. It's a. It's, always, we, yeah. we pronounce it French for no reason. Same with valet. How hard Except do you hit I would song? never be able to tell someone valet is like yeah, the way to say weird. it, but I think I could sell a foyer. Now, if I'm now like, no, I know, I know, I know if we were having here. breakfast, if we were having breakfast together, you would offer me a croissant. But if you were in like some some Frenchy part yeah. of uh, uh, a Burger the, King, would be a croissant. Great, do, do you do you hit the croissant? Do you, do you, do you hit them? Do you, do you go full? Bo- There's board? always been something bothersome to me uh, about someone who switches accents real quick like that because of a word. Yeah. Like, nah, Taylor's bro. I heard right how here. you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> I heard how you were talking the whole time. Then you were like, croissant. Yeah. And I'm like, no, bro. Croissant. You were literally like a croissant vibe a second ago. <laughs> don't just don't let this word fucking dictate you. Don't simp for language. I hate like it when that, people bro. do that yeah, with don't... countries. Right. Yeah, like, oh like, my God. When guitar, like, uh, right? We all know how Ibiza. to pronounce guitar. Yeah. I don't know how it's actually pronounced natively, but it's nothing like that. I, I pronounce guitar. guitar. I pronounce guitar like a you know my guitar. It's actually a series of <laughs> clicks and hums. <laughs> <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like an old radio being thumped. <laughs> That's uh, Mexico. Oh, yeah, whenever one. people were like Ibiza. I'm like, shut up, fuck. No, I kind of <laughs> like it. I, I like when um when when like a politician does it, like like to let you know, like yes, it was. A, they just had the straight like white girl accent, and then they hit the, they start rolling their fucking R's anytime they hit. They, they're talking about uh, anything south of the border. In yeah. Juarez, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. New Mac. Also, we need to work on inflation this year because it, it's it's absurd. Yeah. I've seen uh, AOC do There's it. There's a huge crime wave taking place in Argentina. Guadalajara. Guadalajara. <laughs> 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 it's like, does he have Moroccan? Alan, is there any, <laughs> Alan, is there any signs that this, this violence is coming Simbles? to an end? I, 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 Tom. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> what are the fucking little tiny symbols called for your fingers? Little thumb symbols. That's what they gave the the retarded kid in our English or in our music class. That's he would, he would have been ha- truly retarded if that's what they gave him in the English class. Matthew <laughs> <laughs> Simmons just couldn't sit still. He was, he was <laughs> the original oh. fidget. All right, you guys oh, want to call you ever, 
Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? I want to... I'll tell you. I'll take a joke before we go. Is that what you were? No, thinking? I was going to talk about uh, playing handbells as a child. So I, I, I maybe maybe it wasn't a good. <laughs> that sounds like a great photo. subject for the, the next to... guest. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Finster, so they're gonna love it. Yeah, get Finn. Well, here. next episode we're gonna hit up the handbells, but uh, Harley, <laughs> Harley, gonna, Harley's gonna be fighting soon. Um, tell us, tell us yeah. where and when to people need to look for your your next uh, combat. Exploit. It'll be uh, announced by uh, people far more powerful than I. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, Harley plays all that. And, uh, yeah, I actually just post my podcast on your subreddit these days. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I worked yeah. Hard check out the PKA to... subreddit. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so check it out. You can find Harley's podcast on the PKA. Subreddit. Harley, man, that fight coming up is very interesting to me. I worked hard not to give away any hints on your opponent might be, but yeah, that's cool. Good luck. I feel the same way. People are always mm -hmm. like, did you give it thought? And I was like, yeah, yeah while on ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a good idea on ketamine. Harley's next, fighting next a big podcast. muscular man. Yeah, and he's yes. very athletic. He could like backflip and front flip. He does like lots of athletic feats. I've seen uh, very scary footage of him. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go out there and get my Who has better That's hair? Okay. Mm, him, I think. Shit. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm not going to lie. This guy's. Uh, Woody, you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out right now, okay? You're freaking me out. <sighs> you should be freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> you should be very freaked out right now. <sighs> okay. Good luck. Good Thank luck. you. All right, oh, PKA 631.